modern renaissance, a cross-category sale which will be taking place here at Sotheby's London on the 25th of March. It's a sale dominated by artists who radically reinvented painting and sculpture over the last 500 years. Artists of different times and places who, when brought together, as they are here, have much more in common than we might think. Now I'm going to take you on a tour of the highlights of the sale and I'll be meeting some of Sotheby's specialists along the way. One of the first things you see when you enter the sale is this bewitching picture made at the crucible of the Italian Renaissance in 15th century Florence. And thank you, Alex Bell, for joining me. Okay, it's nice to see you. This is a ravishing painting, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. No, it's fantastic. It is, it is quintessentially quattrocento, it seems to me. Yeah, I mean, it's painted about 550 years ago in Florence. And I mean, what, what I think is fascinating about this picture is you know, we look at a portrait the idea is very familiar to us today, a person looking out at us. But you have to remember when this was painted, this idea was radically new. Portraits as an independent genre were, were something that was, were proliferating, and Florence was really a hub of where this new art form was taking hold. And this is a, an extraordinary example, incredibly rare. It's known as Portrait of a Youth. I presume we know nothing about the sitter. We don't know who he is. We can obviously tell that he's of high social standing. He's wearing this extremely expensive, wonderful, elaborate costume with um, a very beautiful doublet with brocade, red brocade, and this wonderful velvet tabard uh, set against this lovely blue sky. Yeah, he must be, what, I guess, early teens, 13, 14 years old. The, the details are just exquisite here, aren't they? He's painted every... Absolutely. Well, this is, very much, uh, this is very much something that the Polaiola brothers did. I mean, uh, they designed tapestry and, and, and costume designs and so on. Um, and they, they are, as you say, defining every single feature of this picture, from the eyelashes to the hair to the details, the brocade and so on. They were one of the leading workshops in France at the time, absolute innovators, coming up with all these new ideas working for the Florentine elite. Um, and the portrait form was something that was particularly their thing. Um, they're known, I think, principally for the profile portraits mm. of uh, Florentine ladies, which you can see in a number of museums throughout Europe. But this is particularly interesting because it's, it's a full frontal picture. Mm. There's nothing about it which gets in the way of seeing this young man looking out at you. It's, it's a real very, encounter, isn't it's it? It's incredibly direct, isn't it? And you look at it now and you feel that you could have been there. It's a kind of selfie from 550 <laughs> years ago. I mean, how unusual is it for something like this to come to the market nowadays? Well, I can't think of one like this that has in my time. And in fact, we're not aware of another portrait by the artist in private hands. They're that right. rare. They really are. Well, we, we, we talk about rarities, but, but at the same time, in January, another 15th century Italian portrait came on the market by Botticelli. It did. It sold for $92 million exactly. or something like that. They are in some ways companion pieces, aren't they? Well, not only were they painted in Florence about less than 10 years apart, but the picture sold in New York belonged to the same owner who owned this picture in the middle of the last right. century. An absolutely fascinating man. Thomas Merton was a scientist, a physicist. He was the first scientist employed by the Secret Service during the right. First World War. He came up with lots of interesting uh, uh, techniques and, and, and devices which were useful in the war effort. But he was, you know, I think drawn to this picture um, because of its technique, because of its colour. He was a spectroscopist, as I said. And uh, was also served on the scientific board of the National Gallery towards the end of his life. So, absolutely, uh, I can see why this appealed to him. I mean, we're very lucky to be custodians of it for a short while well, now. What an exquisite object. Thank you so much for sharing Thank your you. expertise, Alex. Thank you. Now, turning from a portrait by an old master to a portrait by a modern master, perhaps the greatest modern master of them all, Pablo Picasso, Helena Newman. It's quite interesting to, to move from this picture to that one because in some ways, this Picasso, modern as it looks, is quite a traditional format for a picture. Well, he's used his tried and tested and much loved format of a seated woman in an armchair. It's one of a group of portraits from the early 40s, uh, painted by Picasso in Paris um, of his muse and lover, the surrealist photographer Dora Maar. And she's often depicted enclosed in quite an upright, very distinctive 
armchair, uh, as seen here, um, quite cropped in the composition, very intense. I mean, she was a very, very different woman from Marie-Thérèse, who was mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, the muse and model of the early 30s. She's the one who is often depicted in somnolent and um, very lyrical mm. poses. Dora Maar, there's much, much more intensity. And, you know, as always the case with Picasso, his portraits of women are also kind of self-portraits yeah. because there's so much kind of of himself that he puts in to his model. There's a wonderful story about when Picasso first met Dora Maar. She was at a restaurant, she had her hand in a glove on yeah. a table and she was using this pen knife to stab between her fingers. Yeah. And Picasso kept it as a keepsake. Yeah. But that spikiness runs through all of his pictures of her, doesn't yes, it? Yes, I mean, she is the, the weeping woman, uh, as we know here in London from the great picture of the Tate. Uh, she's the one with this sort of incredible emotional intensity. And mm. Picasso was very seduced by, uh, by her personality. She was a very striking woman, with incredible jet black hair, very intense, highly intellectual, very creative. And I think, you know, she brought something to Picasso also in those war years that mm. was, was particularly, you know, in tune with his mood, in tune with the times. Uh, you know, they, they were together, kind of locked down in a way in Paris, <laughs> weren't they? And, you know, this yeah. was 1941, it was in the depths of the occupation. It was somehow reflected in the palette, which is quite austere, quite dark. Oh and in the composition which harkens back to the sort of intensity of cubism. And yes, and there was this very intense sort of symbiotic relationship and Dora Maar was at the centre of that. Can you put this painting into some kind of stylistic context in terms of Picasso's career? Mm. Yes, well, I mean, if you think of the decades of Picasso's career, they very often defy, you know, you think of the cubism of the teens and then, and then the classical period of the 20s and then moving in, as I said, to Marie-Thérèse when you get the very voluptuous curse. Mm. And then in this period in the early 40s, they're very much hearkening back to what was going on in the cubists. Yeah. But it's also making a shift that will herald what comes with the 50s François Gillot and then the great monumental paintings of the 60s. Oh, what a treat to look at yeah. it. Thank you very much, Helen. Yeah. Well, let's now turn to another totemic artist of the modern period, one who worked not in France, but in Norway. He is, of course, Edvard Munch. And we're lucky here to not just have one great Munch, but two. Thomas, let's start with this self-portrait. Munch was a very prolific self-portraitist, wasn't he? He was. I mean, it was the subject that probably fascinated him more than anything else, um, his own self-image. He painted himself from right at the very beginning of his career, right until the very final years. And throughout, um, you see both the change in his style, but also his uh, mental state and how he perceived himself as much as the world outside came to perceive him. Um, and in a painting like this, you have him absolutely proclaim himself as an artist. He is mm -hmm. Munch as painter. So many of his portraits are quite neurotic, even quite dark. This one is very different. It really exudes a sense of confidence, doesn't it? It does. I mean, painted in 1926, it's a, it's a painting where he has uh, achieved you know, full recognition as an artist, not just from um, you know, his fellow countrymen, but also has great success in Europe, particularly in Germany, and latterly in France as well. And he's bought himself this country state at Eccoli, much like Monet Giverny. It becomes the sort of locus of all of his thoughts and artistic ideas. And he paints himself also in bright sunshine. And mm. he's an artist, we must remember, <laughs> he's Norwegian. Um, and so he's, he's used to uh, you know, grabbing the sun um, at every opportunity, and so he stands here you know, in the full glare of the sun. I presume that this is Eccles' studio in the background, is that yes, correct? Yes, that is, yeah. And it's somewhere that he, he, he played um, uh, a lot as, a, as an artist with all of the different themes and, and ideas that had captivated him, but it's also the setting for a period of sustained happiness. Mm. Um, after um, his great crises of 1908, he gains confidence in his own work, gains confidence in his powers of expression, and the scale of his works continues to kind of increase and, and embolden him. And I think perhaps it's very telling that this is a self-portrait. It's quite rare to see self-portraits at this stage outside of the mm. studio. He doesn't exhibit them, um, but it is um, exhibited first at Mannheim, which, um, at the Kunsthalle in Mannheim, which eventually acquires it. 
Well, then there's a very interesting provenance from that point for up to the 19, through the 1930s and 40s. Can you tell me a little bit more about what happened in that period to the picture? Well, um, the, as the Nazi Party came to power, they were very keen to um, propagate their own idea of what art um, and ideals should, and cultural ideas should be. Um, and they deemed certain artists, and Monk was one of them, as degenerate, mm. um, not fit for public consumption, although they hilariously did have probably one of the most successful exhibitions um, on that name <laughs> in Munich. Um, and uh, Monk, like most of um, the avant-garde artists that were de termed degenerate, um, found all of their music, all their pictures being removed from museums, actually, you know, voluntarily deaccessioned by the museums mm -hmm. that owned them. This picture uh, ends up in the hands of uh, a dealer, a Norwegian dealer called Halverson, who mm. sets out to essentially save Munch's art from <laughs> the deaccessioning programs in Germany. And with Thomas Olsen um, as backer, manages to bring most of these pictures back to Norway, where um, paintings like this, or indeed the next picture we're about to see now, um, uh, were reintegrated either into the national collections or Munk himself reacquired them or great patrons like Olsen built their own collections. Thomas, let's now turn to this other picture which is a very different kind of painting, isn't it? It is. I mean, it's, it's painted on an enormous scale um, and it's a painting that Munk has poured all of his various ideas and themes those that bubbled along and, and became irrepressible by this point um, in 1904. It's intellectually and thematically very ambitious, isn't it? It is, and it's a painting that it, it epitomises what he's trying to cope with in 1904, which mm. is um, a period of, of growing international reputation, mm. um, artistic freedom afforded by great patronage by this point, especially in Germany, but also personal crises. He has an alcohol problem, um, and um, which is in total contrast to the uh, commission that he was given by his friend and patron, Dr. Max Linder, um, who asked for a series of paintings that could adorn um, his children's nursery. Um, Munk rose to this task, um, <laughs> probably with a slightly more adult sense of fun, filling his pictures with um, courting couples and embracing um, figures, as well as um, the slight uncertainties and anxieties caused by perhaps you know a group of nervously sort of chattering schoolgirls whispering about the painter behind their closed hands. I've got to say, if I had to find an artist to paint my son's room, I probably wouldn't go for Munch. Not because he's not a great artist; he's a great artist, but because he's a very adult and often quite melancholy artist. How did the commission go down? Sadly for Munch, although probably in retrospect um, rather better for us, Linda was a little horrified um, <laughs> by what he had created, which was essentially a series celebrating life, but the very difficult themes of, of um, love and jealousy, anxiety, all these key central themes to Munch, but that's what Munch felt was important mm. to express. Linda, though his great patron and great supporter, had commissioned him um, Sadly, in 1904, later, uh, after receiving the pictures, returned them to Monk in his studio. One of the most interesting parts of this picture is this area, this motif. Some years later, after finishing the picture, Monk somehow got it back and added these figures. Why do you think he did that, and, and what do they mean? Well, that's the fascinating thing about this picture is that we know the underlying composition was that of the Linda Fries um, for the child's nursery, where we've got these rather sort of sunny um, motifs like the boat and the canoe and you know, the girls um, in conference. But these two haunting figures, these mm. spectral um, motifs at the very, very front of the composition um, were added at a later time Presumably, um, we know certainly by 1911, but presumably before the final moment of crisis um, in 1908 when he has a real breakdown and is actually um, taken to a sanatorium to recover. And it's this haunting, um, beseeching quality of the female mm -hmm. figure that we have on the right, um, wrapped in embrace. The man turned, his back turned to us, so he's very much in support of her, but she reaches out to the viewer. Mm -hmm. Whether or not this is a personal reference, a biographical reference um, to an earlier failed relationship um, for Monk, or one of his extraordinarily universal expressions of the human mm. condition. It's for us to speculate and enjoy. Such a mysterious painting. Thank you very much, Thomas.
Well, one of the great influences on Munch was Vincent van Gogh, and we're now going to cross the channel to look at an important work by that artist with Aurélie van der Voorde, who will be the auctioneer of the Impressionist and Modern Art Sale taking place in Paris on the 25th of March. Thank you, and welcome to the Paris Galleries now. I would like to start our Paris tour with this exceptional painting by Vincent van Gogh, Seine de Rue à Montmartre. It is one of the highlights of the Paris auction, and it will be sold in association with the Parisian auction house Mirabeau Mercier. This work was painted when Vincent van Gogh was living in Paris, in Montmartre, Rue Le Pic, with his brother Théo, in 1887. This was a crucial period for Vincent van Gogh because at this moment he met other artists from the Parisian avant-garde, such as Signac, Émile Bernard, or Toulouse-Lautrec, and this had a great influence on his art. For instance, he introduced light and color in his art, as you can see in the present painting. In this work, Vincent van Gogh depicted one of the most famous places in Paris, the Montmartre windmill, uh, also called Moulin de la Galette. Uh, and it was one of the favorite subjects of Vincent van Gogh when he was living in Paris, probably echoing his childhood in the Netherlands. Here, you can see one of the smaller mills of the Moulin de la Galette, the paper mill. And it is very interesting to have this work today because this mill was destroyed in 1911. So it's very moving to see it in this painting. Uh, it's really a great privilege for Sotheby's to present this work at auction today uh, because it has remained in the same French families for one century. And it is the very first time it is presented at auction. Uh, so we are very proud to show it to the public now. Vincent van Gogh had a huge influence on later artists and one of his greatest living fans is David Hockney. And we're very lucky in this sale to have a major work by Hockney that actively engages with the history of Dutch art. Alex Branchik, where does this picture fit into Hockney's career? Tall Dutch Trees after Hobbema, useful knowledge from 2017, was the centrepiece of one of David Hockney's later exhibitions exhibited at Pace Gallery in New York in 2018. Arguably it's the most famous of, of the group of works which look back at his earlier period of painting um, and famously was uh, illustrated on the front cover of the New Yorker that month. It's a painting that is inspired by another painting as the title suggests. Can you tell me a little bit more about the picture that inspired it and what Hockney is doing in relation to that picture? The painting is called, is, is titled after Hobbema, referring to Meindert Hobbema's Dutch Golden Age masterpiece in the National Gallery here in London. And it's a painting which struck the young 18-year-old David Hockney when he first came to London as a precocious Bradford Art School student way back then. And I think what's fascinating here is that you've got an artist in his 80th year, 62 years later, but still fascinated by this single image which captured him as a, as a young art student. And I think what it was in particular that grabbed him about the Hobbema is this, this dual perspective that he identified. So on the one hand, you've got the traditional vanishing point on the horizon line at the end of the road, these tall trees leading your eyes towards this vanishing point. But at the same time, he not identifies another one of this rush upwards because of these alder trees. So you're always looking up at the sky. And I think to have an artist in his 80th year, but still so radical in the way that he's shaped the canvas like this, just demonstrates what an incredible painter he is and how important he is for, for future generations of artists. Exactly. It's a picture that, that replicates many of the features of the Hobbema, although there are some, some significant differences. One, I think, is that is the use of colour. This is filled with extremely shrill, synthetic acrylic paint, isn't it? It feels very much like a Hockney. I think that's it. I mean, for me, this is much more Sunset Boulevard than it is the <laughs> Avenue Middle Harness. It's, it's got this very heightened California colour, which I think is, is, is true of all the paintings in that show at Pace Gallery, which look back at his earlier works of Yorkshire landscapes, etc., but always with this heightened colour key, this incredible cerulean blue and this coral mm. colours. Um, and it's much more schematic as well. That you know, these, these, these gardens in the foreground are sort of reduced into much more schematic forms. The rooftops become almost like pyramids. But nonetheless, it is undeniably and quintessentially based on that Hoppema painting. One of the most distinctive things about this painting is the fact that Hockney has chopped it up or presented it as several different strangely shaped canvases, one of them. Why did he do that? And, and what do you think the effect is? He is an incredibly experimental artist and has been throughout his career. I think what he's doing here is really analysing perspective and particularly single point perspective. Rather than just standing here in a single spot looking at a painting of a landscape, 
what he's doing is actually rips out the center foreground. Mm. So this, the, the road which leads you towards the horizon has gone and it actually puts us in the picture frame and actually the vanishing point itself actually vanishes and all the attention comes to everything around us, this peripheral vision that we see. And it's much more like we're moving in time. This is like sitting in a car driving down the road between, between these alder trees. It is a thrilling work. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you. Let's now zoom back in time to post-Second World War Paris, when art was being reimagined yet again. That important period in the history of art is very well represented in this sale. There are works by Jean Fautrier, by Vols, but perhaps the most important figure in this very important period was Jean de Buffet. Emma Baker, what makes de Buffet such an important artist? He was a real original. He has been incredibly influential for artists, contemporary artists, artists in the late 20th century, for David Hockney, for example, mm. especially in the 1960s. Um, and also Jean-Michel Basquiat. These mm. artists have taken a lot from de Buffet. And like I said, he was an original. He really broke the rules. He broke down conventions of what it is to be a painter after the Second World War. Now, this work comes from a decisive early period in his mm -hmm. career. Can you tell me a little bit more about the circumstances of that? Sure. Um, he came to art pretty late in life. He was 41 when he started to make work as, a, as an artist. And this particular painting was included in de Buffet's second only solo show. Mm. It was at Gallery René Drouin. Uh, it was in 1946. Um, and it was only a matter of months, really, until, you know, after the Second World War ended in September 45, that this work was created and exhibited. And it caused a real stir. It was controversial. I think the way that he paints very sort of materials that he's using, very kind of cheap materials mixed in with oil paint. He's using sand and gravel and shards of glass that you can see mm. in this work. And it's very sort of breaking with tradition. It was very controversial. The critics didn't like it, but the general public loved it. <laughs> and this show really, it sold out within a few days. What are we looking at? What is the subject matter here? So we've got two people, they're in an embrace, they're dancing, um, and it really is a painting full of joy. Mm. Uh, I think that really does kind of juxtapose against the way that he paints, which is very brutal. It's very sort of, it's very kind of violent the way that he uses paint and texture, but at the same time, this picture is full of hopefulness after the Second World War. Like I said, it was created in February 1946, a matter of months after the end of the Second World War. So it's full of hope for a new sort of life and getting back to normal and doing things that make you happy, like dancing, going out for, <laughs> for fun and, and leisure activities. We all feel like that. Now, we do, we? we do. We know how that feels right now because of the pandemic. So, you know, we can really relate to what, what de Buffet is trying to convey in this painting. You've talked about this extremely unconventional violent technique. What do you think he was trying to achieve with that? What was he trying to say? I think he was trying to just break away from everything that had come before. So the way that figurative painting had been treated by artists, the way that we look, he wanted to break it down and insert something of our reality and authenticity, the authenticity of our reality, the gritty reality, coming after the destruction of the Second World War, you see that in de Buffet's application and the medium that he's using. So he really is kind of responding to the trauma of, of war, but really mixing that in with, with a message of hopefulness, really. Well, thank you, Emma. Let's now move from one revolutionary to another. Mm -hmm. Now, Banksy and de Buffet, not natural bedfellows, but in some ways they were both using crude techniques to try to make their point. And while that painting came from a crucial early period in de Buffet's career, this came from a crucial early period in Banksy's career. Can you tell me a little bit about the origins of this work? Sure. This painting was made on the occasion of Banksy's 2006 exhibition in LA called Barely Legal. It completely chimes with the title of that show um, and also what that show brought up in terms of its questioning of power structures and asymmetric power structures taking place in LA. You've got sort of the height of celebrity, the movie industry, the A-list movie stars, but then you also have a lot of homelessness, a lot of poverty, mm. a lot of crime. So was this the moment when Banksy really broke the United States for the first time? Totally. This is when he really broke through on a global level. His standout show, even now, this is considered his most important exhibition. 
barely legal, um, and this painting really is the symbol for that exhibition. Now, this painting was based on a very famous and indeed slightly controversial photograph by Annie Leibovitz. Can you tell me a little bit more about that photo? Sure. I mean, everybody knows that photograph. It was really iconic um, when it came out in 1990. Of Demi Moore, heavily pregnant, sort of covering herself demur demurely, but it was seen as pretty much obscene at the Just images of female, pregnant female embodiment weren't that sort of common even then. So it was sort of treated like a top shelf porno mag by news agents. It was really hidden away. And I think what Banksy's doing there is just really reflecting on that moment, reflecting mm. on that controversy and adding his own sort of little poke there at the establishment. Well, let's look at those pokes. First of all, he takes Demi Moore's face. He places a monkey uh, face on top of her. The monkey is smoking a cigarette. Why? Was he doing that? And, and what do you think he was trying to say? So the monkey is totally synonymous with him mm. and his identity. Famously, he's anonymous. He can't reveal his own identity because of the illegal nature of his street work. So he uses this monkey mask as almost a cipher for his own representation, his own likeness. And you see it in photographs from the mid-2000s onwards, where as his fame grows, he's really using it for photo shoots in pub publicity shots, especially mm. for his documentary Exit Through the Gift Shop, which, which was a few years later than this. And it's really completely identifiable with Banksy himself. So I like to look at this, look at this painting really as Banksy in drag. It's sort of, <laughs> it's, it's a funny self-portrait in a way. It's how I like to see it. Thank you, Emma. Well, let's turn to another female new, this time by the British sculptor Frank Dobson. I'm joined by Francis Christie. It's quite nice to see these two works together, isn't it? Because there's a lot of similarity there. Even the pose is very similar. I think what's amazing, actually, is that they were probably about 100 years apart in terms of creation date, because the Dobson was carved around 1926. Mm. But seeing her in front of the Banksy, I think it just reiterates actually quite what an amazing piece of carving this was for 1926. Now, I've seen very few Dobsons like this come onto the market. Is there a reason for that? Dobson carvings are incredibly rare. Mm. Carve in the early 30s because he hurt his shoulder. Right. And then he just couldn't carve properly after that. And so the objects that he created in the sort of the teens and the 1920s form a very small but highly important body of work. And most of them are in public collections. It really is, as we walk around it, it really is exquisite from every single angle, isn't it? I think there are several things at play here. Um, on the first, he clearly understood the human body, mm -hmm. the female figure rather, the female body, and how to look at her and um, recreate her from every side. And what I think is also amazing about it is his complete knowledge and understanding of the material. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if she's got... Um, what you see in a Titian, that sort of beautiful, kind of slightly blurry outline. Mm. I think the stone here gives it a very warm contour mm. to her body. I, I particularly love the arms. I think they're some of the best carving I've ever seen. And what these arms do is they, they literally sort of pull you around the sculpture, mm. don't they? They drag you around. They twi there's a lovely twist to that piece. I think it's interesting you mentioned the arms because the way that he's reduced the detail of her mm. fingers just to a very fine line, to me that really shows um, the influence of someone like Picasso. Yes. Um, I mean, Dobson first went to France, to Paris in the early 20s and sort of immersed himself in everything that was going on there. And the way that he's sort of brought her body out, her curves in this very sort of minimal outline mm. speaks to me of the influence of you know, Picasso's yeah classicised nudes from the 20s. It, it's a traditional work, it sort of draws on the, the history of the, the female nude, but it's very modern as well, in a, in a subtle way. No, absolutely. I think for its time, it was at the very forefront of what British artists were doing. Well, it's such a treat to spend time with her. Thank you very much, Francis. One of the most important developments in modern art, as important as perspective was to the Italian Renaissance, was the emergence of abstraction. And together with Helena Newman, I'm going to look at three paintings that each engage with abstraction in different ways. Helena, let's begin with this Kandinsky. Kandinsky was one of the early pioneers of abstraction, but those early abstractions were much more gestural and expressive 
and organic. This is a very different visual vocabulary here, isn't it? Well, exactly. I mean, by the time he gets to 1927, which is the year of this painting, he's already teaching at the Bauhaus with artists like Clay. So his early kind of pre-First World War moves into abstraction with those organic forms has uh, developed into what is almost entirely geometrical mm. forms. Geometrical forms combined with colour. And Kandinsky was obsessed with colour yes. and how the rhythm of combinations of complementary colours, and in here also with these monochrome elements, um, creates a kind of visual harmony. Mm. And that's amazingly epitomised in this composition. Where you've got this kind of sense of movement in and out and this dynamic form. Yes, he, he described it, didn't he, to almost being trapped in a, in a harmonium or an accordion. Exactly. The painting does go back and forth, doesn't incredible. it? Incredible. No, it's an incredible effect. I mean, it's, it's, it's reduced down, but the energy and the dynamic is absolutely in line with the compositions of the teens, but now abstracted fully. Well, let's turn to another abstraction, but a very different abstraction by the French artist Yves Tanguy. What is going on here? This is a very, very different visual vocabulary to what we are seeing with Kandinsky. Well, this is a masterpiece of Yves Tanguy's surrealism. I mean, an absolutely fantastic example, completely exquisite. And, and Tanguy developed his own visual language mm. and the forms, these kind of uh, biomorphic forms, um, draw on all sorts of aspects of his own uh, biography, uh, the sort of Breton um, uh, seascapes and mm. sand and water, and then the sort of North African landscapes. So, I mean, this is very much his visual uh, language uh, with this incredible gradation of colour and almost abstract forms, which is a quintessential surrealist mm. work. And, in that sense, heralds the journey towards abstraction. He was a master of the landscape without a horizon, wasn't he? Absolutely, yes. It's almost Fantastic. like a horizon on, on planet Jupiter, it's, you know, a landscape where it's just a kind of gaseous yeah, cloud. Yeah, it's magnificent because that gradation is just exquisite. And how, how important was, is nostalgia and memory to this work and to Tongi's work in general? Well, I think, you know, he's built up over many years this sort of language which combines these um, kind of motifs that he associates with uh, landscapes of his childhood and his and his life. So it, it's kind of it's a it's a personal vocabulary and um, incredibly evocative. Well, while we're on the subject of landscapes of childhood, we must go to the Gorky over here because this is explicitly about that, isn't it? Yes. Well, this is a fantastic painting about Ashil Gorky. I mean, it's, it's a masterpiece. Mm. It's incredibly rare for us to handle a painting by Gorky. Really? I and mean, they virtually, I mean, it's so rare. Um, most of the major works in museums, this comes from an important series known as The Garden at Sochi. Mm. Um, a closely related work is in MoMA. Mm. Um, they're, they're very, very um, hard to come by, and this comes from a, a, a private collection where it's been for many, many years. And he's looking back um, at, uh, well, I mean, it's kind of play on words, really, because he, he didn't come from Sochi, he actually mm. came from Armenia. Mm. But, I mean, he, I, we think that the, the, the symbolism of this is drawing on the garden of his childhood, and particularly um, a, a garden that had very strong symbolic meaning for the mm. community there. And so there was sort of uh, the symbolism of trees and nature. But in the end, that's just the start of what is essentially a composition that is, you know, totally moving towards the abstract and expressionist mm. art. Um, and, you know, if you sit this with, uh, you know, de Kooning or you think of what Miro was doing already, um, it's absolutely a masterpiece of American art of the mid 20th century. So it's actually very exciting to see these all together because you can see that journey from Europe to America. And, and Gorky, who was an American artist, but born in Armenia, is in a way an epitome of that. And he, mm. and he knew the work of Miro, um, he knew Tongi, um, and it all sort of comes together in this sort of moment at the early 40s. Thank you very much. Well, now let's head over to Paris once again and to Thomas Bompard. In the modern section of our Paris cell, we are immensely proud to have two striking paintings by Francis Picabia. The first example is this monumental transparency created by Picabia in the early 30s. He reproduced a sculpture located in the Museum Archeologico in Naples. And all around 
and all over he has painted several layers uh, of imagery in order to create a new organical one mixing uh, biblical or antique art with a modern technique. Picabia was fascinated by Adam et Eve, and the creator of Adam et Eve is God. So there is some kind of a playful um, and very humoristic um, conversation uh, between Picabia and God himself. You can see that he chose to superimpose all over the, the, the couple, a face that looks like more Gertrude Stein than Mona Lisa, and the, 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 the bigger than life energy of this composition is particularly striking. So let me introduce you to the Matador dans la Reine. Among the late paintings created by Picabia, this is undoubtedly one of the most exhibited, published, illustrated work of this late period. In all sense, this is such a brilliant technique. But what am I looking at? I'm not even sure it is a painting, much more like a movie or an opera, because there are so many different things happening here. I admire the composition and the, the virtuosity with which Picabia comes from one thing to its opposite. For example, you have the, the fixity and the, the statuesque uh, position of this character, this one of course, is here. Balanced with the dynamism of the whole composition, um, of course you have the circularity of the arena, reinforced by those rounded um, shadows that creates a very theatrical stage for the, the, the art of, uh, of Picabia. Is it a self-portrait? I don't know. Picabia has decided to keep hidden the face of the most uh, obvious character. This painting was in the same private collection since the early 1970s. So it is a real honor for us to offer such a masterpiece, uh, not only to the Picabia uh, many admirers, but I would say to any uh, any collector, any art lover. One of the great things about a cross-category sale is you can travel all over the world. And this next work by Bachman Mohassas takes us to post-war Iran. I'm joined by Ashkan Baghastani. Now, most people, Ashkan, probably wouldn't have heard of Bachman Mohassas, and yet he's known as the Picasso of Iran. Can you introduce us to him? Yes, of course, James. Uh, Bahman Moasses was born in Iran in 1931. He is celebrated and considered one of the most radical avant-garde and um, ahead of his time artists uh, from that generation of modernists in Iran. Um, in 1953, he left Iran to Italy after the coup uh, of Mossadegh. He there discovered the rich heritage of Europe from Greek and Roman mythology to the uh, avant-gardes of the post-war era. And um, he, he went uh, back and forth between Iran and Italy. And obviously, 1970 comes. Iran is buoyant in terms of culture mm -hmm. and, and its uh, festivals and, and its museum building, the Timoka in that case. The Empress was very fond of him. She commissioned a lot of public works. Uh, he was part of an art uh, community that respected him, even though his style was very different from what was done at the time in Iran. And then the revolution happened in 1979. A lot of his works were destroyed, and therefore he left. He exiled himself into Italy, um, recluse for a few years until he started painting again and exhibiting again in Italy. And this is probably the best example of the 70s by Bahman Moasis um, because of its scale and, and importance. Is it unusually large for him? It is unusually large. We've sold mostly small works by the artist. He doesn't paint in this scale. This is about 200 centimeters. Uh, so it is considered monumental for the artist. There is uh, the idea that he ne couldn't necessarily afford large canvases, couldn't necessarily uh, keep them uh, in, his, uh, in his flat. So therefore, he's always painted in small format. So when we discovered this painting, we were, we were quite impressed by its scale. Um, it's and one, intensity. It's one of those paintings, you say intensity, it's one of those paintings that even from a hundred meters it, it takes you by the jugular, it grabs doesn't you, it? Yes, definitely, it really grabs you, it, it, it captures the attention. And it's funny, a lot of his minotaurs that I've seen in the past from the 60s and earlier period, they actually look at 
the, um, the seascape, they don't look at the viewer, mm -hmm. and this is one of the rare ones that is actually looking at the viewer with an intense gaze. Well, it's also got that blood red paint that's yes. used in the mouth and in the eyes that yes. gives it this ferocious intensity. Exactly, and, and talking a bit more actually about the painting, um, this subject of the Minotaur was Moasis' most celebrated subject, iconic, I would say. His highest prices are for Minotaurs. Usually we've sold Minotaurs from the 60s, rarely from the 70s, actually never from the 70s. And, and here you have a, a sort of seated Minotaur, very masculine, extremely, uh, extremely strong. He's dangerously um, powerful, but also strangely impotent. He's feetless, he's sitting on the beach, he's quite static, he can't move. And then, like you said before, he has these uh, bloody eyes, like he's hungry for blood or for human flesh. And, and I don't want to draw direct comparison to Moasis' life and character, but he was a strange um, um, character, um, figure. And, uh, but I think it's really rooted in his fascination for Greek and Roman mythology, and, and, um, and he takes a lot from that. So he's painted these mythological subjects throughout his whole life, especially the Minotaur. He's named the Picasso of Iran. It's not necessarily for his style, but more about what the Minotaur represents for him. Picasso, um, you know, his alter ego was the Minotaur, yeah. sort of powerful, uh, masculine, uh, potent man. And, and I think for uh, Moasis it was something quite different, something a bit more uh, rooted in exist existentialism and, um, and the human condition. The, the Minotaur subject um, in Greek mythology is quite, uh, you know, a perverse, um, uh, the perversity of the human nature. Mm. And Moasis was very uh, affected by the many wars throughout the 60s, 70s, by the revolution, and by what was going on in the Middle East back then. Um, so well, it's a, it's a stunning painting. Thank you so much. Thank you, James. Thank you. Well, from a painting inspired by a huge beast to a sculpture inspired by a small one, this is Alexander Calder's Moths. And I'm joined by Ollie Barker, chairman of Sotheby's Europe and auctioneer of the Modern Renaissance sale on the 25th of March. Ollie, what can you tell me about this beautiful work? Well, James, the, this is the first of three iterations of the moth sculptures, this one being Moths number one, and obviously followed up by Moths two and three. Number two, in fact, being in the collection of the San Francisco Museum of Art. And, and this is really a critical period for Alexander Calder. Made in 1947, in fact, exhibited in December 1947 at the Buchholz Gallery in New York in an exhibition that was actually joined by a catalogue uh, written by Jean-Paul Sartre, no less, as well. And um, interestingly, this particular work in that show was joined by about 28 or so sculptures, was later exhibited in 1964 at the Artist Retrospective at the Guggenheim, and then was first acquired in 1951 from the Kurt Valentin Gallery uh, by Paul Lester Wiener, who was a really interesting architect, polymath, uh, lived in New York, and actually was the man responsible in 1958 for the architectural design and implementation of uh, New York's Washington Square Park as well. Uh, and he, with his wife, Ingeborg, who was an artist, were great collectors, great intellectuals at the time, uh, and probably met Calder through Le Corbusier. <laughs> so you've got this rather wonderful sort of uh, link between the artistic worlds of New York, the architectural worlds of the New York, all conflicting together, but really the avant-garde, and looking at artists like Alexander Calder in his prime with something really phenomenal like the Moss One sculpture here. Well, I've got to say, after a long, hard London lockdown, this work, and indeed all the works in the, in the sale, remind me how wonderful it is to be surrounded by great works of art. Well, I think viewers have had more than enough of me, so I'm going to pass over to Ollie for some concluding remarks. Thank you very much indeed, James. And thank you so much for having taken us through this absolutely riveting look at over 500 years of art history represented in the cells. And of course, the first of them will be the Art Impressioniste Moderne, taking place from our Paris cells room and beginning at 4 p.m. Central European time on the 25th of March. And then hastily followed up after that, starting at 5 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time in London with the Modern Renaissance sale as well. But in the meantime, please feel free to look at the catalogues that are on our website. There's some wonderful material available with videos and all sorts of insightful essays and images of the paintings and works of art that we'll be selling next week. So please feel free to reach out to our experts. We'd be delighted to help out with any questions. And then finally, we look forward to welcoming you to the live stream sales as well. They'll be live from Sotheby's.com, as I mentioned, starting in Paris. And uh, please tune in to watch the action. Thank you so much.
Mesdames et messieurs, bonjour et bienvenue chez Sotheby's à Paris, quel que soit le pays depuis lequel vous nous suivez dans le monde. Nous sommes ravis de, ravis de vous accueillir aujourd'hui. Je suis Aurélie Vandevorde et j'aurai le privilège de diriger aujourd'hui la vente parisienne Art Impressionniste et Moderne. Parmi les lots présentés ce soir, scène de rue à Montmartre de Vincent Van Gogh, mise en vente avec la maison Mirabeau Mercier, danseuse de tutu vert de la collection de Marie-Blanche de Polignac, la récolte des pois de Camille Pissarro, ou encore plusieurs peintures emblématiques du mouvement surréaliste. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to Sotheby's in Paris. I am Aurélie Vandevorde and I'm delighted to be your auctioneer for the sale Art Impressionniste et Moderne. The auction includes Scène de rue à Montmartre by Vincent Van Gogh, presented in association with the auction host Mirabeau Mercier, Danseuse au tutu vert from the collection of Marie-Blanche de Polignac, La récolte des pois by Camille Pissarro, and many other iconic surrealist masterworks. Cette vente sera suivie par la vente Modern Renaissance, a cross-category sale, conduite par Oliver Barker depuis Londres. This auction will be followed by our Modern Renaissance Across Category Sale conducted by Oliver Bakker in London. Aujourd'hui, la vente à Paris est en live stream. Autrement dit, je prendrai en temps réel les enchères prix émises par mes collègues à Paris, à New York, Londres et Hong Kong. Et bienvenue à vous aussi qui participez en ligne et à ceux bien sûr qui sont venus assister à la vente en personne à Paris dans notre salle des ventes. Today, the Paris sale is live streamed from three continents. I will take live bids from my colleagues in Paris, New York, London, and Hong Kong. And I would like to welcome all those bidding online, as well as those attending in person in Paris. Je dois maintenant vous faire quelques annonces légales. La vente d'art impressionniste et moderne de Sotheby's France est régie par l'agrément numéro 2001002 du 25 octobre 2001. Elle va démarrer dans quelques instants à 16h et ira du lot 1 au lot 33. A few legal announcements now. The sale Impressionist and Modern Art of Sotheby's France is based on the license number 2001002 of the 25th of October 2001. It will start shortly at 4 p.m. from lot 1 to lot 33. Nous vous prions de prendre connaissance de conditions de vente et informations importantes destinées aux acheteurs qui sont publiées dans le catalogue et sur notre site internet, ainsi que sur les avis affichés en salle. Veuillez noter qu'une commission de frais généraux, facturée à tous les acheteurs correspondant à 1% du prix d'adjudication hors taxe, sera due. Les commissions sont majorées de la TVA applicable ou de toute autre taxe similaire au taux en vigueur. We draw your attention to our conditions of sale and information for buyers, which are displayed in the catalogue and in our website. Please note that overhead premium, a fee payable by all auction buyers, will be charged at 1% of the hammer price plus any applicable local taxes. The premiums are exclusive of any applicable VAT or similar taxes. La personne habilitée à diriger la vente commencera et poursuivra les enchères au niveau qu'elle juge approprié et peut enchérir de manière successive ou enchérir en réponse à d'autres enchères et ce au nom et pour le compte du vendeur à concurrence du prix de réserve. The auctioneer may commence and advance the bidding at levels and in increments she considers appropriate and is entitled to place successive bids or bid in response to other bids on behalf of the seller up to the reserve of the lot. Veuillez noter enfin que les vendeurs des lots 15, 18, 20 et 21 se sont vus garantir un prix d'adjudication minimal et que Sotheby's a reçu pour chacun de ces lots un ordre d'achat irrévocable d'un montant de donné qui sera exécuté pendant la vente. Please note that the following lots each have a guarantee and irrevocable bid on them, 15, 18, 20 and 21. Enfin, les lots suivants ont été retirés de la vente, lots 34 et 35, the following lots have been withdrawn from the sale, Lot 34 and 35. Et à présent, passons à la première vente de cette journée. La vente se déroulera en euros. The sale will be conducted in euros, so let us begin now. Et nous débutons la vente avec cinq œuvres provenant de la prestigieuse collection de Marie-Blanche de Polignac, la fille de Jeanne Lanvin. The five first lots of the sale come from, from the collection of Marie-Blanche de Polignac, the daughter of Jeanne Lanvin. And the first lot of this section is lot one. Nous commençons la vente avec Pierre-Auguste Renoir et le lot numéro 1, une superbe composition de 1872, la belle saison. Et je démarre les enchères à 320 000 euros. À 320 000 euros, nous démarrons les enchères. 350 000 euros, nous sommes déjà à 380 000 euros, 400 000 euros sur ordre avec moi à la tribune. 400 000 euros with a commission bid. À 400 000 euros, nous sommes à 400 000, 420 000 euros sur Internet, 450 000 euros sur ordre. 450 000 euros. 450 000 euros with me, with a commission bid. 480 000 euros 
80 000 euros, s'il vous plaît, avec vous, Pierre Motte. À 500 000 euros, c'est avec moi. À 500 000 euros, it's with the commission bid in Paris. 550 000 euros avec Marc Baltimore in London. 550 000 euros with Marc Baltimore in London. And now back to Paris at 600 000 euros. At 600 000 euros, it's with my commission bid in Paris. À 600 000 euros, nous sommes toujours à Paris. À 600 000 euros, nous sommes à Paris, sur ordre, à la tribune. 650 000 sur Internet. 650 000 euros online. 700 000 euros with Hong Kong. La enchère est maintenant à Hong Kong. À 700 000 euros, avec vous à Hong Kong. 700 000 euros, c'est avec vous à Hong Kong. À ce... uh, no, it's 650 000 à 750 000 euros, maintenant c'est sur Internet. 750 000 euros with an online bidder. At 750 000 euros, we are with an online bidder. It's not, it's not you, Yuki. It's with the Internet. At 750 000 euros, are we all done? Nous sommes à 750 000 euros, c'est sur Internet, par une enchère en ligne, à 750 000 euros. Que dit-on au-delà de 750 000 euros Ce n'est plus avec moi à la tribune. It's not my bid. It's not you, Yuki. It's not you, Claudia. Next one is 800 000 euros. À 800 000 euros avec vous Non, ce n'est pas une enchère, monsieur Nous sommes donc à 750 000 euros sur Internet, toujours. À 750 000 euros, c'est sur Internet. 750 000 euros with an online bidder. I will hold on. Stefano, Pierre, do you want to bid Alina, last chance. We are at 750 000 euros. It's against you, Alina, against you, Yuki. It's not with you, Stefano, and I will, I will sell it at 750,000 euros online. Okay. Est-ce que c'est bien vu À 750 000 euros et je vends à 750 000 euros. Last chance, fair warning, at 750,000 euros. Okay. I'm selling, adjugé à 750 000 euros au numéro 46. Next, we have lot number two by Jean-François Raffaelli, Les courses à Jersey. It is also from the Jeanne Lorvin collection and it depicts the atmosphere of the horse races at the beginning of the 20th century during the Belle Époque. Je dois vous annoncer que les lots 2 et 4 ont été inversés dans le catalogue imprimé. Veuillez donc vous référer à la numérotation du catalogue digital. Please note that lot 2 and 4 have been inverted in the printed catalog, so please refer to the numbering in the digital catalog. Et pour ce lot, nous allons débuter les enchères à. 38 000 euros, 38 000 euros, we start at 38 000 euros, 40 000 euros, 42 000 euros. À 42 000 euros, nous sommes, 45 000 euros, 48 000 euros. At 48 000 euros, we are 50. against you, Ben. At 50 000 euros with Ben Dollar in New York. À 50 000 euros, c'est avec Ben Dollar qui tient l'enchère à New York. Merci beaucoup, Ben. 55 000 euros by a new bidder. 60. À 55, 60 000 euros with Ben Dollar. À 60 000 euros, nous sommes avec vous, Ben. À 60 000 euros, nous oui. sommes toujours. 65,000 euros, 70,000 70, euros with Bouak Lamplay in New York, back to New York. At 70,000 euros, it's with New York, it's with New York and Bouak. 75,000 euros with Stefano, back to Paris. At 75,000 euros, nous sommes avec vous, Stefano, à Paris. 80,000 euros with Bouak. 80,000 euros, 80,000 euros is with Bouak, Ben, I'm sorry. 85,000 euros, 85 is already in Paris with Stefano Moreni. 85,000 90, euros with Bouak. 90 000 euros, c'est avec vous, Brooke. 90 000 euros avec Brooke. 95 000 euros with Stefano Moreni in Paris. 95 000 euros, it's with Stefano. 100 000 euros avec Brooke. 100 000 euros with Brooke against you, Stefano. Do you want to bid? À 100 000 euros, 110 000 euros. 110 against you, Brooke. Uh, 110 is it with Stefano already. À 110 000 euros, nous sommes. À 110 000 euros, c'est Stefano qui tient l'enchère. 120 000 with Brooke Lampley. À 120 000 euros, c'est avec vous, Brooke. 120,000 euros with Brooke Lampley, 130 with Stefano in Paris. À 130 000 euros nous sommes. À 130 000 euros, 140,000 euros with Brooke. Back to New York at 140,000 euros, 150 with Stefano in Paris. À 150 000 euros nous sommes avec Stefano Moreni. 150,000 euros with Stefano Moreni in Paris against you, Brooke, against you, Ben. Est-ce que c'est bien vu 160,000 euros with Brooke Lampley. À 160 000 euros, c'est contre vous, Stefano. 160,000 euros, it, the bid is in New York. 170,000 euros, 170 000 euros, back to Paris. Et nous sommes à Paris avec Stefano Moreni à 170 000 euros. L'enchère n'est plus à New York, elle n'est pas à Londres, elle est avec nous à Paris avec Stefano Moreni. 170,000 euros. Do you want to bid, Brooke We are 180. at 170. 
you are out 180,000 euros with Ben Dollar. À 180 000 euros, c'est contre vous, Stefano. Voulez-vous enchérir Non À 180 000 euros, 180,000 euros, it's with Ben Dollar in New York. It's not with you, Stefano. It's not in Paris. 185,000 euros with Stefano Morini in Paris. Do you want 190, Ben Let's hope. 185 000 euros. 190. Thank you very much, Ben. Uh, 190,000 euros. 200,000 euros with Brooke. Oh. At 200 000 euros, nous sommes avec vous, Brooke. 200 is with you, Brooke. It's against you, Ben. It's against you, Stefano. We will be bid. At 200 000 euros, l'enchère est avec Brooke Lampley à New York. Contre vous, Stefano, à Paris. 210,000 euros with you, Ben, in New York. Stefano, do you want 220? At 210 with Ben Dollar, Brooke, do we want to bid? Who will place the next bid? I'm waiting for you, don't worry. At 210, we are in New York with Ben Dollar, against you, Brooke, against you, Stefano. The hammer will fall soon. I'm waiting, Stefano. 215,000 euros with Stefano Morini in Paris. I'm sorry, it was before you, Brooke. Do you want to round up at 220? 220. 220, thank you, Brooke. And 220 with Brooke Lampley. 220. Brooke, Ben, do you want 230? We are at 220,000 euros. 225 with Ben Dollar. At 225 with Ben Dollar. Against you, Stefano. Against you, Brooke. 230. The, ben, the, the bid is now with Ben Dollar in New York at 225,000 euros. It's against you, Brooke. Do you want to bid? 225,000 euros. Je peux vendre à 225,000 euros. Last chance. The last chance. Huh? Fair warning. We are at 230. Thank you, Brooke. At 230,000 euros with Brooke. Ben, what do we do? We are now at 230,000 euros with Brooke. 235 with you, Ben. At 235,000 euros against you, Brooke. Do you want to bid? At 235,000 euros, I can sell it with Ben Dollar on the phone in New York. Last chance at 235,000 euros, and I will sell it. I need an answer. We are only at the second flight of the cell. You're out. You are sure? At 235,000 euros, I will sell it. No regrets, Stefano. At 235,000 euros, I need an answer, Brooke. Is it a yes or no? At 235,000 euros. 240? 40, at 240,000 euros. It's with you, Brooke, now. The bid, Brooks bid now at 240,000 euros. Ben, do you want one more? No? Thanks so much for your bid. And I'm selling with Brooke on the phone at 240,000 euros. 240 000 euros, et je vais être jugé. Last chance, at 240 000 euros. Sold, paddle number 36. Thank you. Congratulations, Brooke, and thank you. And now we move on to lot three, which is a wonderful pastel by Edgar Degas, Danseuse au Tutu Vert. It is an exceptional work with, which captures extremely well the grace of the dressing rooms of the Opéra Garnier. Le lot 3 est un exceptionnel pastel d'Edgar Degas, Danseuse au Tutu Vert, qui reflète à merveille l'atmosphère de l'Opéra Garnier. Et nous allons débuter les enchères à 1 million 500 000 euros. 1 million 500 000 euros, nous débutons les enchères. 1 million 600 000 euros déjà. 1 million 600 000, 1 million 700 000 euros. Nous sommes à 1 million 700 000 euros. 1 million 800 000 euros avec Alexandra Rossi. 1 million 900 000 euros contre vous. 1 million 9 against you, Alejandra. À 1 million 900 000 euros, nous sommes. It's against you, Alejandra. À 1 million 900 000 euros, nous sommes. Que dit-on 2 millions, 2 million euros with Alina Dave in London. 2 million euros, it's your bid, Alina, in London. Thank you. À 2 millions, nous sommes. 2 million, 200,000 euros with Elena Newman, new bidder, in London still. At 2 million, 2, we are in London. À 2 millions, 200,000 euros, nous sommes. 
avec Elena Newman contre vous, Alina. À 2 millions 200 000 euros, nous sommes. À 2 millions 200 000 euros. 2 millions 2 is against you, Alina. Do you want to bid? We are at 2 million 2 million 200,000 euros with Elena Newman on the phone. It's against you, Alina. Next bid is to four. At 2 million 200,000 euros, I can sell it. The bid is still with Elena Newman. Thank you, Elena. And we are now waiting for the answer of Alina. At 2 million two, we are waiting, Alina, don't worry. At 2 million 200,000 euros, at 2 million 200 000 euros, nous sommes. L'enchère est toujours avec Elena Newman. Vous n'y êtes plus. Nous sommes donc à 200, 2 millions 200 000 euros avec vous, Elena. Et je vais être jugée à 2 millions 200 000 euros. Que dit-on à Paris À 2 millions 200 000 euros. L'enchère n'est plus à New York. It's not your bid, Alejandra. À 2 millions 200 000 euros. Je vais vendre à 2 millions 200 000 euros. I'm selling. À juger. Paddle, 67. Thank you, Elena. Congratulations. Nous restons avec deux gars pour le lot 4 et cette autre pastel qui représente Mademoiselle Salé. Là encore, je dois vous rappeler donc que les lots 2 et 4 ont été inversés dans le catalogue imprimé et qu'il faut donc se référer à la numérotation du catalogue digital. Please note that lot 2 and 4 have been inverted in the printed catalogue, so please refer to the numbering in the digital catalogue. And for this second pastel by Edgar Degas, I'm starting the bidding at 190,000 euros. À 190 000 euros, je débute les enchères. À 190 000 euros. Que dit-on au-delà de 190 000 euros 190 000 euros, 200 000 euros, nous sommes à 200 000 euros, 220 000 euros, à 220 000 euros. Que dit-on au-delà de 220 000 euros 220 000 euros. À 220 000 euros, que dit-on We are at 220 000 euros. 250 000 euros with Jeanne Calment in Paris. The bid is with Jeanne in Paris at 250 000 euros. Marc, do you want to play the next one We are with Jeanne Calment against you at 250 000 euros. L'enchère est avec Jeanne Calment, 280,000 euros, with Marc Poltimore in London. Thank you, Marc. À 280 000 euros, nous sommes, c'est contre vous, Jeanne, voulez-vous enchérir À 280 000 euros, ce n'est plus votre enchère, c'est l'enchère de Marc à Londres. À 280 000 euros, nous sommes, 300 000 euros, 300,000 euros, with Jeanne Calment in Paris. À 300 000 euros, nous sommes, 300,000 euros, against you, Marc. 320,000 euros, with Marc Poltimore in London. À 320 000 euros, l'enchère est avec vous, Marc, à Londres. 320,000 euros, with Marc Poltimore in London. Jeanne, do you want to bid at 350? 350,000 euros, with Jeanne Calment in Paris. Est-ce que c'est bien vu, Marc Nous sommes à 350 000 euros, c'est contre vous, et c'est à Paris avec Jeanne. 380 000 euros avec vous, Marc. 380,000 euros, thank you, Marc. À Londres, toujours, contre vous, à Paris. À 380 000 euros, nous sommes. Next one is 400. Do you want to be Jeanne 400,000 euros with Jeanne Calment À 400 000 euros, c'est maintenant Jeanne Calment qui tient l'enchère à Paris. 400,000 euros against you, Marc. À 400 000 euros, nous sommes. L'enchère est avec vous, Jeanne. Et je peux vendre, bien sûr, à 400 000 euros. Nous sommes à 400 000 euros. Do you want to bid, Marc No. Thanks for your bidding, anyway. Et nous restons à 400 000 euros avec vous, Jeanne. Ah, un regret. 420 000 euros. 420,000 euros. À 420 000 euros, désormais, c'est contre vous, Jeanne. Nous sommes avec Londres, à Londres, avec Marc. Do you want 450 440 000 euros avec Jeanne Calment. 440 000 euros against you, Marc. Do you want 460? Nous sommes à 440 000 euros avec Jeanne à Paris. No, no regret. We are at 440 000 euros with you, Jeanne, in Paris. And I will sell it in Paris with Jeanne Calment at 440 000 euros. Are we all done? No regrets at 440 OK. At 400. 40 000. À 440 000 euros, nous sommes. C'est bien vu. C'est votre enchère, Jeanne. Personne ne va au-delà de 440 000 euros. Et j'adjuge. Merci beaucoup, Marc, de vos enchères. Adjugé au paddle 34. Merci beaucoup. Et nous enchaînons avec le lot 5 de cette vente. The last lot of this section coming from the collection of Marie-Blanche de Polignac is lot 5. A very sweet work by Camille Pissarro, deux jeunes filles dans un jardin devant un perron. Et pour cette œuvre de Pissarro, je propose de démarrer les enchères à 80 000 euros. 80 000 euros, nous sommes 85 000, 90 000, 95 000, j'ai déjà. 95 000 euros with a commission bid in Paris. 
à 95 000 euros nous sommes. 100 000 euros avec Elena, in London. Thank you, Elena. Nous sommes maintenant à 100 000 euros avec Elena Newman et ce n'est plus avec moi sur ordre. À 100 000 euros nous sommes au téléphone avec Elena Newman. 100 000 euros avec Elena in London. Que dit-on au-delà de 100 000 euros 110 000 euros sur Internet. 110 000 with an online bidder. À 110 000 euros, c'est sur Internet, contre vous, Elena. 110 is on Internet. 120 with Elena Newman. 120 000 euros avec vous, Elena. Thank you. À 120 000 euros, nous sommes avec Elena Newman au téléphone à Londres. À 120 000 euros, que dit-on 130 000 sur Internet. 130 against you, Elena. Do you want to bid ah, très bien. We are at 140, thank you. 140 000 euros avec Elena Newman à Londres toujours. 140 000 euros, it's Elena's bid. À 140 000 euros, nous sommes. The next one is 150. Do you want to bid online? Nous sommes à 140 000 euros. C'est Elena Newman qui tient l'enchère. Ce n'est pas en salle, ce n'est pas au téléphone à Paris, c'est à Londres avec Elena Newman. Are we all done at 140 000 euros? Last chance, I will sell it with you, Elena, 150 against you, with an online bidder. Do you want 160? 160. Thank you. 160,000 euros with Elena Newman in London. À 160 000 euros, nous sommes toujours à Londres avec Elena Newman. The next one is 170. À 160 000 euros, c'est toujours votre enchère, Elena. I can sell it at 160,000 euros. Last chance for the internet. Et je vais vendre à 160 000 euros avec vous, Elena. It's not your bid, Simon. It's with Elena Newman at 160,000 euros. I'm selling. Last chance. Sold 160,000 euros. Paddle 69. Thank you. Et nous arrivons maintenant au lot 6 de cette vacation. Scène de rue. Scène de rue à Montmartre de Vincent Van Gogh. Cet exceptionnel tableau est vendu en association avec la maison de vente Mirabeau Mercier. Il a été peint par Vincent Van Gogh en 1887, alors qu'il vivait chez son frère à Montmartre, et il représente le célèbre moulin de la Galette. And now we have arrived at lot 6, scène de rue à Montmartre, by Vincent Van Gogh, which was painted in 1887, when Van Gogh was living in Montmartre. It depicts the famous Montmartre windmills, and it has remained in the same French collection for more than one century, and was never exhibited to the public. For this exceptional and very rare painting, I will start the bidding at 4 million euros. À 4 millions d'euros, je débarre les enchères. À 4 millions d'euros, nous sommes déjà. À 4 millions, 4 millions 200 000 euros avec Patty Wong. 4, milliards, 4 millions 500 000 euros contre vous, Patty. 4 millions 5, 5 4 millions 8. 5 millions with Liz Sterling. It's at 5 millions euros, it's your bid, Liz. 5 millions 5 with Patty Wong five in two. Hong Kong. Five million five is already taken by Patty. At five million five, six million with Liz Sterling, six million euros with Liz Sterling in New York. At six million euros, nous sommes six million five with Patty Wong in Hong Kong. At six million five, nous sommes avec Patty à Hong Kong. Six million five, nous sommes seven million, seven million with Liz. Liz bid at seven million against you, Patty. At seven million, nous sommes. It's Liz Sterling who takes the price since New York. At seven million, nous sommes. Do you want seven five? Seven five with seven five with Patty Wong. It was the first one. At seven five, we are with Patty Wong from Hong Kong. At seven million five hundred thousand, we are with Patty at New York, at Hong Kong, pardon. Please, do you want to bid? Eight million with Nicolas Cho. Thank you. Eight million euros with Nicolas Cho. At eight million, we are. It's Nicolas Cho who takes the price now. At eight million euros with Nicolas from Hong Kong. We are at eight million euros with Nicolas Cho. Liz, Patty, do you want to bid? I'm waiting for the next bid. Eight million one with Liz Sterling in New York. At eight million one hundred thousand euros, we are. At eight million one hundred thousand. 8 millions, 8 millions 500 000 euros en, avec, avec vous, Sam. À 8 millions 500 000 euros avec Sam Valette. 1, 1, 8 millions 5. À 8 millions 500 000 euros, c'est votre enchère, Sam. 9 millions sur Internet. 9 millions with an online bidder. À 9 millions d'euros, nous sommes sur Internet. Against you in Hong Kong, London and New York. 9,250, please. 9 million two with Sam Vallet in London at 9 million two, 9 million five with Nicholas Cho, 9 five with Nicholas. At 9 million five we are now with Nicholas Cho in Hong Kong. At 9 million 500 mille euros nous sommes et c'est Nicolas. 9 million eight with Sam Vallet. At 9 million 800 mille euros nous sommes avec Sam Vallet depuis Londres. 9 million eight against you, Nicholas. Do you want to bid? 
Nous sommes à 9 800 000 euros avec Sam Vallet depuis Londres. Contre vous, 10 million euros with Nicolas Cho in Hong Kong. Thank you, Nicolas. And we are now at 10 million euros for this exceptional painting by Van Gogh. 10.2. 10 million two with Sam Vallette, 10 millions 200 000 euros avec Sam. À Londres, Sam's bid at 10 million two. At 10 million two, it's Sam's bid, it's not you, Nicolas. 10 million two. At 10 million two. Nicolas, do you want to bid? 10 million four. 10 million four. 10 million four with Nicolas Cho. At 10 million four, we are with Nicolas. Nicolas bid at 10 million four. Against you, Sam. Against you, Liz. Bidding. 10 million six, 10 million six with Sam. At 10 million six, we are with Sam Vallet from London. At 10 six? We are waiting for Nicholas in Hong Kong. please. 10 million eight, thank you, Nicholas. And we are now at 10 million eight with Nicholas in Hong Kong. 10 million eight with Nicolas. Do you want 11, Sam? The bid is still with Nicolas in Hong Kong at 10 million eight. Sam, Liz. 11 million euros with Sam in London. Sam's bid at 11 million euros. 11 million d'euros nous sommes avec Sam Vallet à Londres maintenant. Nicolas, voulez-vous enchérir Nous sommes à 11 millions contre vous depuis Londres. Et nous sommes toujours à Londres avec Sam Valette à 11 millions d'euros pour ce tableau de Van Gogh représentant le moulin de la Galette. 11 millions d'eux avec, avec Nicolas Cho à Hong Kong. 11, 11 millions d'eux. It's with you, Nicolas, at, one million, uh, at 11 million two. Oh, right, right. 11.3, please. 11 millions 300 000 euros avec Sam Vallette depuis Thank Londres. You. À 11 millions 300 000 euros, nous sommes. C'est désormais Sam à Londres qui tient l'enchère. 11 millions 300 000 euros against you. Nicolas, do you want to bid? Okay. Eleven four, back to Hong Kong. Thank you, Nicholas. Eleven four against you, Sam. What do yeah. you decide? We are at eleven million for five four hundred thousand euros with Nicholas in Hong Kong. The bid is not in London. It's not in New York. It is in Hong Kong now. Que fait-on à Londres ou à New York? Au-delà de 11 millions, 400 000 euros. À 11 millions, nous sommes. Sam, I need an answer. 12 millions on the internet. À 12 millions against you. À 12 millions d'euros, nous sommes sur internet. Contre vous, Nicolas. Contre vous, Sam. 12 millions one with Sam in London. À 12 millions 100 000 euros, nous sommes avec Sam Vallet. Back to London. <rire> 12 millions 100 000 euros, c'est contre vous sur Internet, c'est contre vous à Hong Kong. L'enchère est maintenant à Londres avec Sam. 13 millions sur Internet, 13 millions d'euros, with an online bidder, against you all on the phone. À 13 millions d'euros, nous sommes, et c'est sur Internet qu'est l'enchère, à 13 millions d'euros. 13 millions d'euros, against you all. À 13 millions, que fait-on Nous sommes à 13 millions d'euros. Against you, Nicolas, against you, Sam, against you, Liz. Je vous laisse le temps de réfléchir. À 13 millions d'euros, nous sommes. And have 1350. <laughs> it's only because it's you. 13 millions 50 000 euros. 13 millions 50 000 euros. Against you online.
Nicholas, what do you want to do? À 13 millions 50 000 euros, nous sommes avec vous, Sam, à Londres. Ce n'est plus sur Internet. À 13 millions 50 000 euros. <rire> Nicholas, a reaction, please. <laughs> Do you stop here? Thanks, you, thanks for your bidding. So we are with Sam Vallette at 13 million 50,000 euros. Liz, do you want to bid? No? We are still with Sam. It's not on the internet. We will wait just a few seconds for the internet, of course. À 13 millions 50 000 euros, nous sommes. Est-ce que c'est bien vu? C'est avec Sam Vallette. I can sell it at 13 million 50,000 euros. Last chance, fair warning. Je vais bientôt être jugé. À 13 millions 50 000 euros, est-ce que c'est bien vu? Nicolas Cho? Last chance, no? It's a no. So we stay with Sam in London for this exceptional painting by Vincent Van Gogh at 13 million 50,000 euros. Last chance, and I'm selling, je vends ce tableau exceptionnel à 13 millions 50 000 euros. C'est bien vu, last chance. A jugé, ah, oh, on the hammer, sorry. 14 million euros with an online bidder. At 14, just on time, at 14,000, 14 million euros. À 14 millions d'euros, nous sommes. C'est contre vous, Sam. I know. À 14 millions, nous sommes. À 14 millions, que fait-on, Sam 14 millions d'euros sur l'Internet. C'est contre vous, à London et à Hong Kong. Est-ce que c'est bien vu À 14 millions d'euros. Je vais le vendre. À 14 millions d'euros, nous sommes. Right. You stop here, Sam. Thanks Thank you so much for your bid. And no, so we stay at 14 million euros on the internet. Et nous allons adjuger à 14 millions d'euros. Est-ce que c'est bien vu À Londres, à Hong Kong, New York et Paris, à 14 millions d'euros. Je vais vendre 14 millions d'euros. I'm selling. Et je vends à 14 millions d'euros. Adjugé au paddle numéro 73. Et nous, et nous poursuivons maintenant la vente avec le lot 7 de Camille Claudel, l'implorante, une œuvre créée lors de la rupture entre Claudel et Rodin et qui est restée depuis plus de 50 ans dans la même collection. Commençons les enchères pour cette sculpture à 75 000 euros, 75 000 euros, à 75 000 euros, à 75 000 euros, nous sommes 80 000 euros, 85 000 euros, à 85 000 euros, nous sommes 90 000 euros, nous sommes déjà, à 90 000 euros, 95 000 euros, à 95 000 euros, nous sommes contre vous, à 80, 100 000 euros sur Internet, 100 000 euros, with an online bidder, à 100 000 euros, nous sommes, j'ai preneur sur Internet à 100 000 euros, à 100 000 euros, nous sommes. 110 000 euros with Elena Newman, 110 with Helena Newman. À 110 000 euros, nous sommes avec Elena à Londres. 120 000 sur Internet, 120 against you, Elena, with Internet. À 120 000 euros, nous sommes against you. 130 with Thomas Boyd Bowman. À 130 000 euros, toujours depuis Londres avec Thomas, nouvel enchérisseur. 140 000, Elena, 140 with Helena Newman. À 140 000 euros, nous sommes contre vous sur Internet et contre vous, Thomas. À 140 000 euros, 140 with you. À 140 000 euros, nous sommes avec Elena Newman. Est-ce que c'est bien vu à 140 000 euros 150 with the Internet. À 150 000 euros with online bidder. À 150 000 euros, c'est contre vous. 150 against you all in London. À 150 000 euros, nous sommes. Que fait-on À 150 000 euros. It's against you, Elena. Merci. Do you want 160 160, thank you. 160 000 euros with Helena Newman in London. 160, the bid is with Elena, not Internet. À 160 000 euros, c'est votre enchère, Elena. À 160 000 euros, que dit-on À 160 000 euros, nous sommes. 160 000 euros with Helena Newman in London. The next bid is 170. Thomas, do you want to bid? No? So we are with Elena Newman at 160,000 euros. Last chance, it's not with you on the internet. 170,000 sur internet. 170 now with the online bidder. 
170 against you, Elena. Do you want 180? Thank you, Elena. 180,000 euros with Helena in London. 180 000 euros, nous sommes maintenant avec vous, Elena Newman, à Londres. C'est contre vous sur Internet. It's not your bid online. À 180 000 euros, je vais être jugé à Londres avec Elena. 180,000 euros, Elena's bid. I will sell it at 180,000 euros. Last chance. Fair warning, at 180,000 euros. It's not you online. À 180 000 euros, j'adjuge donc, ce n'est pas vous non plus à Paris, et je vends à 180 000 euros. Adjugez 180 000 euros au paddle. I cannot say it. Le paddle. Six. Thank you. The next lot of the sale is lot 8. This exceptional gouache by Camille Pissarro, La Récolte des Pois, was commissioned to the artist by Theo Van Gogh and belonged to the great French collector Simon Boer. The work was confiscated during the war and was restituted to the family of Simon Boer recently. C'est aujourd'hui un grand privilège de pouvoir présenter cette œuvre en vente et nous nous boutons les enchères à 850 000 euros, 850,000 euros. À 850 000 euros, nous débutons les enchères. 900 000 euros, nous sommes déjà à 950 000 euros. À 950 000 euros, 950 000 euros, 1 million, nous sommes déjà à 1 million sur Internet. 1 million, 1 against you. À 1 million, 100 000 euros sur, contre vous sur Internet. 1 million, 100 000 euros, nous sommes. 1 million, 2 in London, thank you. À 1 million, 200 000 euros, nous sommes. With a London. 1 million, 200. 1 million, 3 online. At 1 million, 3 online. À 1 million 300 000 euros, it's online, I'm sorry. À 1 million 300 000 euros, against you in London. 1 million 4 with Claudia Dweck. 1 million 4 with you, Claudia. À 1 million 400 000 euros avec Claudia. 1 million 5 with an online bidder. 1 million 5. 1 million 6 in New York. At 1 million 600 000 euros, à New York, with Alejandra. It's your bid, Alejandra. At 1 million 6. 1 million 600 000 euros, nous sommes. 1 million 7 in New York. 1 million 7. Okay. One million seven one. with Jill and those. Thank you. One million eight with Alejandra. Hi. Alejandra at one million eight. Thank you, Alejandra. Hi. At one million eight hundred thousand euros, we are with Alejandra. One nine with an online bidder. At one nine, it's online. One million eight hundred thousand euros against you all in New York and London. Two million, two million with Alejandra, who was the first one. At two million euros, we are with Alejandra Rossetti, New York. Two million two online. Two million two against you. Do you want two four? At 2 million, two, it's with an online bidder against you in New York and against you in London. At 2 million, two, we are. Yeah. Thank you, Alejandra. Really? Claudia, do you want to bid? We are at 2-2 two, two, with an online bidder. 2 million, four in London, thank you. At 2 million, four, we are. At 2 million, four with Julian. At 2 million, four. 2 million, four, the bid is in London, thank you. And I can sell it, it's not your bid online. À 2 400 000 euros, l'enchère est à Londres et je vais adjuger. À 2 400 000 euros, est-ce que c'est bien vu À 2 400 000, it's not your bid, Alejandra. À 2 400 000 euros, Julian, do you want to bid The bid is in London, at 2 400 000. No, you're out, thank you. 2 600 000 online, 2 600 000 against you. Then you're lost. Do you want to wait It's 2 six against you. 2 eight, thank you. 2 800 000 euros, nous sommes maintenant. Mm. Toujours à Londres. It's against you, sir, online. À 2 800 000 euros, nous sommes au téléphone à Londres. Ce n'est plus sur Internet, ce n'est plus à Paris. Et nous sommes à 2 800 000 euros. And I can sell it at 2 800 000 euros. Last chance. Uh, I mean, I'm Are we all done at 2 800 000 euros? It's no reaction from the internet, so I will sell it in London at 2 800,000 euros. Last chance, fair warning, okay. at 2 800,000 euros. J'ai juge, c'est bien vu. Sold, paddle 16, 2 800,000 euros. Merci, au paddle 16. Et nous passons maintenant au lot 9 de Gustave Moreau. Next, we have lot 9 by Gustave Moreau. Femme sur un griffon, which has belonged to the same family since 1935. Uh, pour cette œuvre d'un raffinement inouï, nous allons débuter les enchères à 300 000 euros. À 300 000 euros, nous sommes. À 300 000 euros, nous débutons les enchères. 300,000 euros. À 300 000 euros, nous sommes. 320 000 euros, nous sommes déjà. À 340 000 euros. 340,000 euros. À 340 000 euros, nous sommes. À 340 000 euros. Que dit-on à 340 000 euros À 340 000 euros, nous sommes. À 340 000 euros. 
360 000 euros. Merci beaucoup, Thomas. À 360 000 euros, nous sommes. À 360 000 euros. With Thomas Bompard, the bid is with Thomas in Paris at 360,000 euros. Que dit-on au-delà de 360 000 euros L'enchère est désormais avec Thomas à Paris, au téléphone. Est-ce que c'est bien vu à 360 000 euros À 360 000 euros, last chance. À 360 000 euros, que dit-on au-delà de 360 000 euros Est-ce que c'est bien vu à 360 000 euros Julian, do you want to bid We are at 360,000 euros. À 360 000 euros, nous sommes donc là à Paris avec Thomas et je vends à 360 000 euros. Last chance, fair warning at 360,000 euros. I'm selling. Adjugé à 360 000 euros au paddle 77. Merci Thomas. Lot 10 by Henri Le Sidaner, Trianon sous bois. And for this superb work painted when the artist was living in Versailles, we will start at 70,000 euros. Et j'ai déjà preneur à 75 000, 80 000 euros. Nous sommes 90 000 euros. Nous sommes déjà sur plusieurs ordres. 90 000 euros with several commission bids. And I can sell it at 90 000 euros. What is the next bid? À 90 000 euros. 100 000 euros contre vous, Elena. À 100 000 euros. 100 000 euros with you, Elena, in London. À 100 000 euros, c'est votre enchère, Elena. 110 with Pierre Mott. 120 with a commission bid. 120 000 euros with a commission bid in Paris. À 120 000 euros, nous sommes. 130 000 avec Elena. 130 with you, Elena. 130 000 euros with Elena Newman in London. The bid is in, with Elena in London. 140 000, 140 with Pierre Mott in Paris. 140 against you, Elena. Do you want to bid? 150 with Jeanne Calmont in Paris, sorry. À 150 000 euros, c'est votre enchère, Jeanne. Jeanne's bid at 150. 160 with Aurélie Massou. 160 with Aurélie Massou in Paris. 160 000 euros. À 160 000 euros, nous sommes. 170 000 avec Jeanne. 170 000 euros, nous sommes. 170 now with Jeanne Calmont in Paris. It's not your bid. 180 with Aurélie Massou. 180 000 euros, nous sommes. Avec vous, Aurélie. À 180 000 euros, que dit-on au-delà de 180 000 euros 190 000 euros avec Pierre Mott. 190 with Pierre Mott. À 190 000 euros, nous sommes. À 190 000 euros, it's your bid, Pierre. 200 000 euros, 200 000 euros with Aurélie Massou. Aurélie's bid à 200 000 euros against you, Elena, against you, Pierre and Jeanne. À 200 000 euros, je peux vendre à 200 000 euros. Est-ce que c'est bien vu à 200 000 euros Jeanne, do you want to bid 220 000 euros with Tania in London. Thank you, Tania. New bidder in London. À 220 000 euros. Next bid is 240. 240, back to Paris. With Aurélie Massou at 240 000 euros. À 240 000 euros, l'enchère est maintenant à Paris, contre vous à Londres. Et nous sommes donc avec Aurélie Massou à Paris à 240 000 euros. Tania, do you want to bid? À 240 000 euros, thank you for your bid. À 240 000 euros, nous restons donc avec Aurélie Massou. Jeanne, voulez-vous en chérir? Vous vous arrêtez là? Nous, sommes, nous restons donc à 240 000 euros. Est-ce que c'est bien vu? To 60 with Tania in London. À 260, it's Tania's bid. À 260 000 euros, c'est votre enchère, Tania? Que faites-vous, Aurélie? Je vous attends. À 260 000 euros, nous sommes. À 260 000 euros, que dit-on À 260 Est-ce que c'est bien vu À 280 000 euros. 280 000 euros with Aurélie Massou in Paris. Tania, voulez-vous une dernière enchère No, you're sure Thank you anyway. And we are still so in Paris with Aurélie Massou at 280 000 euros. À 280 000 euros, est-ce que c'est bien vu Je vais être jugé. Pas d'enchère à Londres ou à New York. I'm selling in Paris with Aurélie à 280 000 euros. C'est bien vu. Adjugé 280 000 euros au lot 18. Le lot 12 de cette vente et chien de mer de Henri Matisse. Il a été peint lors d'un séjour au cours de l'été 1920 à Etretat et est resté dans la même collection depuis 60 ans. 
for this work, painted in Normandy in Etretat, and which has remained in the same collection for 60 years, we will start the bidding at 300,000 euros. At 300 000 euros, nous avons débuté les enchères. At 300 000 euros, at 300 000 euros, nous sommes 320 000 euros. Nous sommes déjà à 320 000, 340 000 euros. 340,000 euros. 360 000 euros. 360,000 euros. Que dit-on au-delà de 360 000 euros? At 360,000 euros. À 360 000 euros, que fait-on À 360 000 euros, que dit-on À 360 000 euros, est-ce que c'est bien vu Last chance. Any advance At 360 000 euros. Julian, do you want to bid At 360 000 euros. À 360 000 euros, nous sommes. Est-ce que c'est bien vu À 360 000 euros. À 360 000 euros. Passe. Les deux lots suivants sont des dessins de Modigliani qui proviennent de la collection de Paul Alexandre, le premier mécène de l'artiste. Euh, a... Oui, il y a eu une inversion de lot, je suis désolée, nous, nous, avons, nous devons passer au lot 11, c'est ça Sorry, so, I'm sorry, we, um, we need to go to lot 11. Exactement. Nous allons donc maintenant passer au lot 11, lot 11, by Camille Pissarro, les Sarcleurs. And for, pour cette œuvre exécutée à Pontoise au début des années 1880, nous commençons les enchères à 65 000 euros, à 65 000 euros pour cette œuvre que vous voyez là maintenant, à 65 000 euros, 65 000 euros, à 65 000 euros, 70 000, 75 000 euros nous sommes, à 75 000 euros nous sommes, 80 000 euros with Elena Newman, thank you Elena, at, with, at 80 000 euros it's Elena's bid, à 80 000 euros nous sommes, 85 000 euros nous sommes maintenant, à 85 000 euros, à 85 000 euros que dit-on au-delà de 85 000 euros, 90 000 euros nous sommes, 100 000 euros avec vous Elena, 100 000 euros with 90,000 yes, 90, 90, 90, euros. À 90 000 euros, nous sommes avec Elena Newman. À 90 000 euros, it's Elena's bid. 95,000 euros against you. At 95,000 euros. À 95 000 euros, c'est contre vous, Elena. À 95 000 euros, que dit-on Au-delà de 95 000 euros. À 95 000 euros, 95,000 euros. À 95 000 euros. 95,000 euros. Against you, Elena. À 95 000 euros, que fait-on À 95 000 euros, nous sommes. À 95 000 euros, que dit-on 95 000 euros, are you sure At 95 000 euros. À 95 000 euros, nous sommes. Est-ce que c'est bien vu À 95 000 euros. 95 000 euros, we are. And we pass at 95 000 euros. Thank you. Lot 12, donc maintenant nous arrivons au lot 12 de la vente, chien de mer de Henri Matisse, peint lors d'un séjour dans l'été 1920 à Etretat et resté dans la même collection. Et nous commençons les enchères à 300 000 euros, 300,000 euros. À 300 000 euros, nous commençons les enchères à 300 000 euros. À 300 000 euros, nous sommes 320 000 euros, 350 000 euros, nous sommes à 350 000 euros, 350,000 euros. À 350 000 euros, nous sommes, que dit-on, au-delà de 350 000 euros pour ce tableau que vous voyez ici sur l'écran. À 350 000 euros, que dit-on 350,000 euros. À 350 000 euros, est-ce que c'est bien vu À 350, nous sommes toujours. À 350, ce n'est plus vous sur Internet, à 350 000 euros. À 350 000 euros, last chance, à 350 000 euros, 350,000 euros, in advance, à 350 000 euros. Passe. Et nous arrivons maintenant au lot 13 et 14 de cette vente. Les deux lots suivants sont des dessins de Modigliani qui proviennent de la collection de Paul Alexandre, qui fut le premier mécène de l'artiste. And next, we have two drawings coming from the collection of Paul Alexandre, the first patron of Modigliani. And uh, we will start the bidding at 150,000 euros. À 150 000 euros, nous commençons les enchères. À 150 000 euros, nous sommes à 150 000, 160 000. À 160 000 euros, nous sommes déjà à 170 000. À 170 000 euros. 170,000 euros. À 170 000 euros, que dit-on À 170 000 euros. À 170 000 euros. 170,000 euros. À 170 000 euros. 180 000 euros. Avec vous, Stéphano. 180,000 euros. Oui, Stéphano Morini. À 180 000 euros, nous sommes. Avec vous, Stéphano, depuis Paris. À 180 000 euros. Last chance, I can sell it. At 180,000 euros. Oui, Stéphano Morini, in Paris. Any advance at, eight, at 180,000 euros. Je vais vendre à 180 000 euros avec vous, Stéphano. C'est bien vu, à 180 000 euros. À juger au, au 78, merci beaucoup, 180 000 euros.
Le dessin qui représente Maud Abrantes est le lot 14 de cette vente. Il, euh, Maud Abrantes était la maîtresse de Bonigliani lors de son arrivée à Paris. Et pour ce dessin qui est signé et dédicacé à Paul Alexandre, nous commençons les enchères à 55 000 euros, 55 000 euros, et nous sommes déjà à 60 65 000, 70 000 euros with a commission bid. À 70 000 euros, nous sommes pour ce dessin de Modigliani sur ordre et je peux vendre à 70 000 euros. Est-ce que c'est bien vu à 70 000 euros 70 000 euros, 75 000 euros avec vous, Stefano. 75 000 euros with Stefano Morini in Paris. À 75 000 euros, nous sommes à 60. 15 000 euros, 80 000 euros sur Internet. 80 000 euros against you. Do you want 85 85 000, 85 000 euros with Stefano in Paris. À 85 000 euros, nous sommes. Que dit-on sur Internet It's not your bid online. À 85 000 euros, at 85 000 euros, the bid is in Paris with Stefano. À 85 000 euros, est-ce que c'est bien vu Je vais vendre avec vous, Stefano, au téléphone à 90 000 sur Internet. 90 000 euros against you. 95, thank you. 95 000 euros with Stefano in Paris. Est-ce que c'est bien vu à 95 000 euros 95 000 euros against you online. À 95 000 euros, l'enchère est à Paris et je vais être jugé avec Stefano. We are just waiting a few seconds the internet. À 95 000 euros, c'est bien vu. À 95 000 euros, I'm selling at 95 000 euros against internet. Oui. À juger à 95 000 au 78. Merci. Et nous commençons les enchères maintenant du lot 15 par René Magritte, la couseuse. For this painting from 1922, inspired by cubism and futurism, I will start the bidding at uh, 150,000 euros, at 150,000 euros, 160,000 euros, at 165 000 avec Fergus à Londres, 165 with Fergus in London, 165, and we are already at 180 with my commission bid, I'm sorry, it's not your bid online, 190 online, à 190 000 euros, ce n'est plus sur ordre, c'est sur internet, 200 000 euros avec Stefano, 200 000 euros with Stefano Morini, 200 with Stefano, 2-2. In online, à 220 000 euros contre vous, Stefano. 220 000 euros. Do you want to bid, Stefano? At 220 000 euros, it's online. It's not your bid. The bid is online at 220 000 euros, and I can sell it at 220 000 euros. Are we all done in Paris, in London? À 220 000 euros, l'enchère est sur Internet. Est-ce que c'est bien vu? Fergus, do you want to bid at 220? No? Aurélie, I'm waiting for you. L'enchère est à 220 000, toujours sur Internet. Est-ce que c'est bien vu À 220 000 euros, nous sommes. Je sais, 225. 230, s'il vous plaît. C'est déjà une moitié d'enchère. À 220 000 euros, nous sommes sur Internet. No. Aurélie, do you want to bid I'm waiting. À 220 000 euros, nous sommes. À 220, à 220 000 euros, I will say, 230 000, merci beaucoup Aurélie, à 230 000 euros, with Aurélie Massou on the phone, 230 euros and 30 000 euros is Aurélie's bid okay. in Paris, it's not your bid online, do you want to bid Nous attendons quelques instants internet pour ah. voir si nous avons une enchère de plus, à 230 000 euros l'enchère est maintenant avec vous Aurélie à Paris, est-ce que c'est bien vu À 230 000 euros nous sommes I will sell it at 230,000 euros with Aurélie Massou in Paris. Last chance. At 230,000 euros, I'm selling 240. À 240 000 euros, c'est contre vous, Aurélie. 240,000 euros, you're out. À 240 000 euros, nous restons donc sur Internet avec vous. Merci beaucoup de vos enchères. À 240 000 euros, nous sommes. Last chance. At 240,000 euros, I'm selling. À juger à 240 000 au 53. Et nous passons maintenant au lot 16 de Paul Klee, Blue Men in Der Vaz. This magnificent watercolor was made during the last year of Paul Klee at the Bauhaus, and I'm going to start the bidding at 290,000 euros. À 290 000, nous débutons les enchères. À 290 000, nous commençons les enchères. 290 000, 300 000 euros, nous sommes déjà. À 300 000 euros, 320 000 euros, 320,000 euros. À 320 000 euros, nous sommes déjà dans les enchères. À 320 000 euros, 320,000 euros. À 320,000 euros. Last chance, at 320,000 euros, what is the next bid? 
à 320 000 euros nous sommes. Que dit-on à 320 000 euros nous sommes À 320 000 euros l'enchère est maintenant à 320 000 euros contre vous. À 320 000 euros, que fait-on À 350 000 euros avec Félix à Hong Kong. À 350 000 euros avec vous, Félix, à Hong Kong. Merci. À 350 000 euros, l'enchère est avec Félix à Hong Kong. Are we all done? At 350,000 euros, I can sell it. At 350,000 euros, we are just waiting for New York and London. Are we all done in, in New York? At 350,000 euros, I will sell it. In Hong Kong, it's against you. At 350,000 euros, it's with you, Felix. And I'm selling at 350,000 euros with Felix. Sold 350, paddle 24. Et nous passons maintenant au lot 17 de Hans Harp, avant ma naissance, réalisé en 1914. Il s'agit du plus ancien collège de l'artiste, made in 1914. It is the first collage by the artist. Et nous débutons les enchères à 55 000 euros, 55 000 euros. We start the bidding at 55 000 euros, 55. And we are already at 60 000 euros, 65 000 euros. À 65 000 euros, nous sommes à 65 000 euros. Que dit-on au-delà de 65 000 euros, 65 000 euros, with this very rare and historic collage by Hans Harp. À 65 000 euros, nous sommes toujours. Que dit-on au-delà de 65 000 euros À 65 000 euros, Thomas. Est-ce que c'est bien vu À 65 000 euros. À 65 000 euros, last chance. À 65 000 euros, it's not your bid. À 65 000 euros. Est-ce que c'est bien vu À 65 000 euros, nous sommes toujours. 65. You know. Passe. And we now arrive to lot 18, a superb and monumental transparency by Francis Picabia, Adam et Eve. Et pour cette œuvre immense et monumentale de Picabia, emblématique de la série des transparences, nous allons commencer les enchères à 1 million. À 1 million, nous débutons les enchères. Nous sommes déjà à 1 million 100, 1 million 200, nous sommes déjà à 1 million 300, 1 million 300, 1 million 400, 1 million 4, 1 million 5 with you, Etienne. In Paris, 1 million 5 is taken by Etienne Elman in Paris. What is the next bid? At 1 million 5, we are with Etienne Elman. À 1 million 500 000 c'est Étienne qui tient l'enchère à 1 million 500 000 euros. Nous sommes 1 million 5 against you all in London, in New York. À 1 million 5, 1 6 with Ben Dollar à 1 million 600 000 euros. It's Ben's, Ben's bid at 1 million 6. Étienne, do you want to bid? At 1 million 6, we are with Ben Dollar. At 1 million 6, it's your bid, Ben, at 1 million 600 000 euros. Que dit-on au-delà de 1 million 500 000 euros Est-ce que c'est bien vu à 1 million 500 000 euros Etienne, do you want to bid? No, you stop here. So we are at 1,600,000 euros with Ben Dollar in New York. Are we all done? Last chance at 1,600,000 euros. I will sell it at 1,600,000 euros. 1,600,000 euros. Et je peux vendre à 1,600,000 euros. Fair warning. À juger 1,600,000 euros au paddle 26. 26, merci beaucoup. Congratulations, Ben. And now we move to this splendid plaster by Alberto Giacometti, lot 19, quatre figurines, créé, created in 1950. And for this work, I'm starting the bidding at 800,000 euros. À 800 000 euros, nous débutons les enchères. À 800 000 euros. À 800 000 euros, nous débutons les enchères. À 800 000 euros, que dit-on 850 000 euros, nous sommes déjà. 850 000 euros, 900 000 euros, 900,000 euros. À 900 000 euros. À 900 000 euros, nous sommes. À 900 000 euros, nous sommes. 900,000 euros. 950 000 euros. 950,000 euros with Simon Show in New York. 1 million with Yuki in Hong Kong. 1 million against you, Simon. At 1 million, the bid is with Yuki in Hong Kong. À 1 million d'euros, nous sommes. 1 million one with Simon Show. 1 million one against you. À 1 million one, it is Simon's bid. 1 million 100 000 euros, nous sommes. Avec Simon Show à New York. 1 million one against you, Yuki. À 1 million 2 avec Yuki in Hong Kong, 1 million 200 000 euros against you, Simon. À 1 million 200 000 euros, l'enchère est à Hong Kong maintenant. Do you want to bid 1 million, million 3? 1 million 3 avec Simon Show. À 1 million 3, le bid est avec Simon Show in, in New York. Yuki, do you want to bid? Nous sommes à 1 million 300 000 euros avec Simon Show depuis New York. À 1 million 300 000 euros, l'enchère n'est plus avec vous, Yuki. À 1 million 300 000 euros, nous sommes 1 million 350. 1 million 350. 
Ah, 1 million 500 000 euros directement. 1 million 5 directly. 1 million 5 with Yuki. 1 million 5 is against you. Simon, do you want to bid? No? So we are at 1 million 500,000 euros with you, Yuki, in Hong Kong. Are we all done? Simon Shaw, Simon Stock in London. At 1 million 5, we are with Hong Kong. Thank you, Yuki. 1 million 55. 1 million 55 with you, Simon. 1 million 55 against you, Yuki. Next bid is 1 6, Yuki. Do you want to bid? À 1 550 000, l'enchère est avec Simon maintenant, à New York. It, it is Simon's bid. Thank you very much, Yuki, for your bidding. So we stay with Simon Show in New York at 1 million 550,000 euros with you, Simon. And I can sell it à 1 550 000. Last chance. Is there any other bids? À 1 550 000 euros, I'm selling. Fair warning, at 1 550. Sold, paddle 25 à 1 550 000. À la fin. Alors je dois vous annoncer que nous devrons rouvrir les enchères sur le tableau de Van Gogh, le lot 6, à la fin de la vente. Donc n'hésitez pas à rester jusqu'à la fin de la vente. I must announce that we will have to reopen lot 6 by Vincent Van Gogh at the end of the sale. So please stay until the end of the sale. And now we move on to lot 20 uh, by Vandongen, uh, a 1913 composition, La Sirène, The Mermaid. Pour cette œuvre de Vandongen, nous allons débuter les enchères à 750 000 euros. Nous débutons les enchères 750 000 euros. À 750 000 euros, nous débutons les enchères 800 000 euros. Nous sommes déjà à 850 000 euros. À 850 000 euros, nous sommes à 850 000 euros. 900 000 euros, nous sommes à 900 000 euros. 950 000 euros. 950 000 euros. À 950 000 euros, que dit-on à 950 000 euros. Bidding from Hong Kong. 1 million in Hong Kong. À 1 million, 1 million d'euros avec Nicolas Cho à Hong Kong. À 1 million, nous sommes avec Nicolas Cho à Hong Kong. À 1 million d'euros, nous sommes. 1 million with Nicolas in Hong Kong. At 1 million, it's a Nicolas bid in Hong Kong at 1 million. 1 million d'euros nous sommes avec vous Nicolas, merci. 1 million 1 with Fergus in London. 1 million 1 against you Nicolas. 1 million 100 000 euros nous sommes contre vous Nicolas. À 1 million 100 000, it's, bid, it's Fergus bid at 1 million 1. 1 2 with uh, Julian Dawes in New York. Thank you Julian. À 1 million 200 000 euros l'enchère est avec Julian maintenant à New York. Contre vous à Hong Kong et contre vous à Londres. 1 million 200 000 euros nous sommes, que dit-on 1 million 5. 1 million 250. 1 million 250 000 avec Nicolas Cho. 1 million 250. Julian, do you want 1 million 3? 1 million 3. Thank you, Julian. We are now at 1 million 3 with Julian Dawes in New York. À 1 million 300 000 euros, nous sommes contre vous, Nicolas. L'enchère est avec Julian. 1 million 3 with Julian. 1 million 350 000. 1 million 350 à 1 million 350 000 euros avec Nicolas Cho. 1 35. Vous voulez 1 4. L'enchère est maintenant avec vous, Nicolas, à Hong Kong. Le bid est avec Nicolas à Hong Kong à 1 million 350 000 euros. Next one is 1 4. Julian, do you want to bid? 1 4, thank you. At 1 million 400,000 euros. L'enchère est avec Julian Dawes à New York à 1 million 400 000 euros. 1 4 is against you, Nicolas. Do you want to bid? À 1 million 400 000 euros, nous sommes. Je peux vendre avec Julian à New York. I can sell it with Julian in New York at 1 million 4. 5, please. 1 million 450 000. 1 million 45 against you, Julian. Do you want 1.5? Oui. 1 450,000 euros, we are with Nicolas in Hong Kong. Julian, do you want to bid? I need an answer, Julian. 
at 1,450,015, thank you. 1,500,000 euros with you, Julian. 1,500,000 euros, l'enchère est now at New York. 1,500,000 against you, Nicholas. At 1,500, it's Julian's bid in New York. It's not yours in Hong Kong. À 1 million 500 000 euros, je peux vendre. No? Yeah. I'm waiting for you, Nicolas. Yes, 155, please. 1 million 550 000 ou 1 million 55. 1 million 550 000 contre vous. Do you want 16, Julian? No? You're sure? So we stay in Hong Kong with Nicolas? Last chance, Julian? No? Thank you. So we stay with you, Nicolas, in Hong Kong at 1,550,000 euros. Et je vais vendre ce tableau de Vendongen à 1,550,000. Okay. Adjugé au paddle 14. Merci beaucoup. This leads us to lot 21, Francis Picabia La Corrida. This is one of the masterpieces by Picabia painted in 1941 during the war. It has remained in the same collection for almost 50 years. And so let's start the bidding at 1 million three. À 1 million 300 000 euros, nous débutons les enchères. 1 million 300 000 euros, 1 million 400 000 euros, nous sommes déjà. 1 million 500 000 euros, à 1 million 500 000 euros, nous sommes. À 1 million, 1 million 600 000, merci Thomas. 1 million 6 with Thomas Bompard in Paris. At 1 million 600 000 euros, we are with Thomas Bompard in Paris. À 1 million 600 000 euros, je peux vendre à 1 million 600 000 euros. Est-ce que c'est bien vu à 1 million 600 000 euros À 1 million 600 000 euros, nous sommes. 1 million 700 000 euros, 1 million 7 with Oli Barker, thank you. 1 million 8. 1 million 8 with Oli Barker, thank you, Oli. 1 million 8 with you, Oli. À 1 million 800 000 euros, nous sommes avec Oliver Barker à Londres. 1 million 8. We, will, we want to bid against Oli. At 1 million 8, we are with Oli Barker in New York. Thomas, do you want to bid? We are at 1 million 8 with Oli Barker in London. I'm waiting. I see many people hesitating. <laughs> At 1 million eight, it is all his bid, still in London. 1 million eight, the hammer will fall down. Bidding 1 million nine. Please. Thank you, Etienne. 1 million nine with Etienne Elman in Paris. Oli, do you want 2 million? At 1 million nine, I have a bid in Paris with Etienne Elman. 2 million euros, please, early. Thanks so much. Two Merci. million euros with Oli Barker in London. At two million euros, the bid is with Oli in London. It's against you, Etienne. Do you want to bid? I will need an answer. At two million euros, we are still in London with Oli Barker. At two million. Bidding 2.1, please. 2.1. 2 million 100 000 euros contre vous, Oli. 2 million one. At 2-1, we are. À 2 millions 100 000 euros, l'enchère est contre vous, Oliver. À 2 millions 100 000 euros. 2.2, 2 millions 200 000 euros with Oli Barker. 2-2 two, two against you, Etienne. À 2 millions 200 000 euros, l'enchère est maintenant avec Oli Barker à Londres, contre vous. 2 millions 200 000 euros. We're going to three. À 2 millions 200 000 euros, nous sommes toujours à Londres, ce n'est plus à Paris. 2 millions 300 000 euros, 2 3 against you. À 2 millions 300 000 euros, l'enchère est contre vous, Oli. 2 millions 3 with you, Etienne. À 2 millions 300 000 euros, nous sommes. À 2 millions 300 000 euros, que dit-on À 2 millions 300 000 euros. 2 millions 4, please. 2 millions 4. 2 millions 4. 2 millions 400 000 euros avec Oli Barker. 2 million 400 000 euros with Oli Barker in London. À 2 million 400 000 euros, l'enchère n'est plus avec vous, Étienne. Voulez-vous enchérir À 2 million 400 000 euros, I can sell it at 2 million 400 000 euros with Oli Barker for this exceptional painting by Picabia. Are we all done? À 2 millions 400 000 euros, nous sommes. Last, last Please let me know. À 2 millions 400 000 euros, je vais vendre avec vous, Oli. Etienne, I need an answer. On read. Quick, quick, 
no, no. Please let me know. I'm wait, waiting, but I can't. I cannot, wa I cannot wait anymore. Oh, wait. À 2 millions 400 000 euros. 2 millions 500 000, merci. 2 millions 500. <laughs> At 2 millions 500, it is back in Paris with Etienne Elman. After a long discussion. At 2 million five, we are early. It's against you. Do you want to six? At 2 million five, the bid is with Etienne in Paris. It's not anymore. 2 million six, merci beaucoup. 2 million six against you, Etienne. At 2 million six, the bid is with Oli Barker in London now. Do you want to seven? At 2 million six, the bid is with Ali Barker in London. I can sell it, and I will sell it if you don't give me answer. Yeah. At 2 million six. At 2 million six hundred thousand euros. Still in London, not in Paris. For La Corrida by Francis Picabia. At 2 million six hundred thousand euros. Fair warning. Fair warning, exactly. <laughs> I really need to have an answer, Etienne. We cannot wait anymore. At 2 million 600,000 euros, I'm selling with Oli Barker, except if you give me an answer just now. At 2 million 600 000 euros, je vais être jugé with Oli. Last chance, fair warning. Look at me. Yes or no? At 2 million 600,000 euros, I'm selling. I'm sorry. Etienne, please. Yes or no? She's going to knock it down. I, uh, the hammer will fall down. I'm selling with you, Ali Barker, at 200, 2 million 600,000 euros. I'm selling, last chance. Sold, 2 million 6, paddle 52. Thanks so much for your patience. <laughs> Et nous restons dans l'univers surréaliste avec le lot 22 de Victor Bronner. Le Codex du Poète, peint en 1947, la même année où Bronner participe à l'exposition internationale du surréalisme à Paris. And now let's start lot 22 by Bronner, a work painted in 1947. And I'm starting the bidding at 180,000 euros. 180 000 euros, nous débutons les enchères à 180 000 euros. 180 000, 190 000 euros, nous sommes déjà à 200 000 euros, 200,000 euros. À 200 000 euros, nous sommes, que dit-on, 220 000 sur Internet, 220 with an online bidder. À 220 000 euros, nous sommes. À 220 000 euros, c'est sur Internet, que dit-on 230. 230 000 euros, si vous voulez, Thomas. 230 000 euros. À 230 000 euros, c'est avec Thomas Bompard à Paris. 240 000 against you. À 240 000 euros sur Internet. 50. À 240 000 euros, l'enchère est sur Internet. 250 with you, Julian, in New York. Julian's bid, 280 against you. 280 with an online bidder. À 280 000 euros, c'est contre vous, Julian. À 280 000 euros. 100. 300,000 euros with Thomas Bompard in Paris. 300 is already taken in Paris with Thomas. 320 000 sur Internet. 320 with an online bidder. At 320 online. At 320 000 euros against you all. Que dit-on at 320 000 euros? 350 000, merci beaucoup. 340 000 euros. 340,000 euros with Thomas Bompard. At 340 000 euros nous sommes. At 340 000 euros nous sommes avec Thomas à Paris. Que dit-on au-delà de 340 000 euros? It's not your bid, Julian. À 340 000 euros, l'enchère est à Paris. The bid is in Paris at 340. It's not online. It's not you, Julian. I can sell it. 350 000 euros sur Internet. 350 with an online bidder at 350 online. À 350 000 euros, que dit-on À 350 000 euros. Est-ce que c'est bien vu 360. 360 000 euros with Thomas. À 360 000 euros. À 360, que dit-on 360 000 euros with Thomas Bompard. At 360 we are, 380 against you online, at 380 against you. At 380 000 euros, nous sommes, que dit-on Thomas At 380 000 euros, do you want to bid 380 000 euros, c'est une enchère sur Internet, est-ce que c'est bien vu At 380 000 euros, que dit-on 380 000 euros, last chance, at 380 000 euros, Julian, do you want to bid No, mm -hmm. so we stay online at 380,000 euros and I'm selling with an online bidder at 380,000 euros. Et je vends, last chance, 
adjugé 380 000 au 97. Et maintenant, nous passons au lot 23 de Roberto Mata, Prince of Blood, painted in 1943, just after Mata discovered the large glass by Marcel Duchamp. And for this triptych, let's start the bidding at 800,000 euros. À 800 000 euros, nous débutons les enchères. À 800 000 euros, nous sommes. À 800 000 euros, 850 000 euros, nous sommes déjà. À 850 000 euros, 900 000 euros, 900,000 euros. À 900 000 euros, nous sommes. Que dit-on à 900 000 euros pour ce superbe triptyque de Mata À 900 000 euros, nous sommes. Que fait-on au-delà de 900 000 euros 900,000 euros. At 900,000 euros, we are. À 900 000 euros, ce triptyque inspiré par le grand verre de Marcel Duchamp. 950,000 euros with Marc Poltimor, who was the first. 950,000 euros, the first bid was with Marc in London. You, one million with Yuki, thank you, Yuki. One million euros with Yuki in Hong Kong, it's against you, Marc. At one million we are with you, Yuki. One million one, is it a bid, Marc? 150 with Marc Poltimor in London. 150 with Marc Poltimor. 150. Yoni, do you want one one? At 150, the bid is in London with you, Mark. It's against you, Yoni. At 1,050,000 euros, I can sell it in London with Mark Baltimore. Last chance. We are waiting for Hong Kong answer at 1,050,000 million euros. At 1,050,000 million euros, 1,050,000 million euros for ce très beau triptyque de Mata. Yoni, do you want to bid? We are all waiting. One million one, thank you. Un million cent mille euros depuis Hong Kong. À un million cent mille euros. Un million cent mille euros nous sommes. In Hong Kong, it's your bid. In Hong Kong, yes. In Hong Kong, one million one. Mark, do you want to bid? At one million one, the bid is in Hong Kong now. Not anymore in London. Okay. Ah. One million one against you. At one million one. Okay. No? You're out. Thank you very much, Mark. So we stay in Hong Kong at one million one hundred thousand euros, and I will sell it at one million one with you, Yoni. At one million one, je vends ce tableau. Uh, we're just waiting for you, Mark. A regret? Okay. No? At one million one, so I'm selling, et je vends à un million cent mille euros ce tableau. Adjugé 1,1 million au 70. Merci beaucoup. Toujours de Roberto Mata, nous vendons maintenant cette composition de 1958. Il s'agit du lot 24, lot 24, and for his second work by Mata, painted in 1958, I will start the bidding at 85,000 euros. À 85 000 euros, nous commençons les enchères. 85 000 euros. 85 000, 90 000 euros, nous sommes déjà. À 90 000, 80, 100 000 euros avec vous, Alex. Alex Crystal at 100,000 euros. At 100,000 euros with Alex Crystal. Sorry. Sorry. You don't, you don't bid? No, not 100. Okay, so we, okay, so we are now at 95,000 euros. 100 000 euros avec Guillaume Maleco. À 100 000 euros avec Guillaume Maleco. 100,000 euros, it is taken with Guillaume Maleco in Paris. Thank you, Guillaume. At 100,000 euros, we are with Guillaume in Paris. Alex, do you want to bid? I will sell it in Paris with Guillaume Maleco, who is on the phone. 110 with an online bidder against you, Guillaume. At 110, we are. 110, I have. Do you want to bid? Nous sommes à 110 000 euros sur Internet contre vous. Guillaume, que fait-on? À 110 000 euros, je peux vendre à 110 000 euros sur Internet. 110 against you. 115 000. 115 000. 115 000 euros, nous sommes maintenant. À 115 000 euros, nous sommes. 115 000 euros against you online. À 115 000 euros, que dit-on? À 115 000 euros, est-ce que c'est bien vu Ce n'est plus votre enchère sur Internet. It's not your bid online at 115,000 euros. Last chance at 115,000 euros. Any advance at 115. I'm selling with Guillaume Maleco in Paris 
et je vends donc à 115 000 euros. Est-ce que c'est bien vu À 115 000, je vais vendre avec vous, Guillaume. À juger, 115 000 au paddle, 72, merci. And now moving to lot 25 by Leonard Fujita. Pour ce tableau de Fujita, la poupée japonaise sur une chaise, nous débutons les enchères à 150 000 euros. 150,000 euros. Et nous débutons les enchères à 150 000 euros. 150 000 euros, nous sommes. 160, 170, we are. At 170, at 170 000 euros, nous sommes déjà à 170 000 euros. Que dit-on au-delà de 170 000 euros 180 000 avec Nicolas. 180 with Nicolas Cho in Hong Kong, thank you. À 180 000 euros, Nicolas Bid in Hong Kong. À 180 000 euros, nous sommes. À 180 000 euros, nous sommes. And I can sell it at 180,000 euros. À 180 000 euros, je peux vendre à Hong Kong avec vous, Nicolas. Merci de vos enchères. À 180 000 euros, que dit-on au-delà de 180 000 euros Est-ce que c'est bien vu Pas d'autres enchères au-delà de 190,000 euros, still in Hong Kong. À 190 000 euros, nous sommes. Merci beaucoup de vos enchères. À 190 000 euros, against you, Nicolas. 200,000 200. euros with Nicolas à 200 000 euros avec Nicolas Shaw à Hong Kong. 200,000 euros with you, Nicolas. Nicolas bid à 200. Any advance at 200,000 euros for this Fujita painting À 200 000 euros, nous sommes contre okay. vous, avec, avec 200, vous, Nicolas. 200,000, please. 200, 200, with Patty Wong. Thank you. 210 with Patty Wong. Thank you very much. À 210 000 euros, nous sommes maintenant avec Patty Wong in Hong Kong. À 210 000 euros, Nicolas, do you want 220 À 210 000 20. euros, 220, thank you. 220, 220 with Nicolas Cho. Thank you very much. À 220 000 euros, nous sommes avec vous, Nicolas. 220 with Nicolas Cho. Patty, do you want to bid À 220 000 euros, je peux vendre avec Nicolas. No, thank you very much. So we stay with Nicolas Cho at 220 000 euros, and I will sell it with Nicolas in Hong Kong. Last chance. Are we all done in London, New York, and Paris? So I'm selling with you, Nicolas. Thank you. Adjugé au paddle 31 pour 220 000 euros. Thank you. Toujours de Fujita. Passons maintenant à cette œuvre de 1917, la cueillette des pommes. Et nous allons commencer les enchères à 30 000 euros. Et j'ai déjà preneur à 35 000 euros. 35,000 euros, I have a commission bid. À 35 000 euros. J'ai preneur à 38 000 euros, 38,000 euros, with an online bidder, 40,000 euros, 40,000 euros against you online, à 40 000 euros, c'est toujours sur ordre à la tribune, à 40 000 euros, 42 000 euros avec vous, 45 000 euros, toujours sur ordre, 45,000 euros with a commission bid, do you want to bid online À 45 000 euros nous sommes, c'est contre vous, ce n'est plus votre enchère, 45,000 euros is not your bid online, I can sell it at 45,000 euros with a commission bid. I'm waiting just a few seconds for the internet at 45,000 euros. Last chance at 45,000 euros. I will sell it with a commission bid in Paris at 45,000 euros. Last chance, fair warning. Adjugé 45 000 euros au paddle 64. And next, we have this colorful painting by Kis van Dongen, Mimosa, painted in the 1950s. And for this work, I'm going to start the bidding at 95,000 euros. At 95,000 euros, I'm starting the bidding. At 95, 100,000 euros. À 100 000 euros, nous sommes déjà. À 100 000 euros, 110 000 euros, 110. À 110 000 euros, nous sommes. À 110 000 euros, que dit-on okay. 120 000 euros avec vous, Jeanne. We are already at 120. Thank you, Jeanne. À 120 000 euros, nous sommes. 120,000 euros with Jeanne Calmont. À 120 000 euros, nous sommes. Avec vous, Jeanne, que dit-on au-delà de 120 000 euros À 120 000 euros. Voulez-vous 130, Mario À 120. 130 000 euros avec Guillaume Maleco, 130,000 euros with Guillaume Maleco still in Paris. Jeanne, do you want 140? À 130 000 euros, l'enchère est avec Guillaume. À 130 000 euros, nous sommes toujours avec Guillaume au téléphone depuis Paris. 130, the bid is in Paris with Guillaume Maleco. At 130, we are against you, Jeanne, against you, Mario. The bid is not in New York or in London. Are we all done? Thank you, Jeanne. So we are now with Guillaume Maleco, still at 130,000 euros. Mario, do you want to bid? 135,000, 135, 135,135,000 euros. Do you want 140, Guillaume? À 135,000, l'enchère est maintenant avec Mario Tavella, au téléphone à Paris. Non, vous vous arrêtez là. Merci en tout cas. Et nous restons donc à 135,000 euros avec vous, Mario. À 135,000 euros. Is there any bid in London or New York? I will sell it in Paris with Mario Tavella. Last chance. 
Et je vends donc à 135 000 euros avec vous, Mario. Adjugé au paddle 10 à 135 000 euros. Et nous enchaînons maintenant avec le lot 28, une composition de Raoul Dufy, resté depuis plus de 30 ans dans la même collection. Pour cette œuvre, nous débutons les enchères à 85 000 euros pour le lot 28. 85 000 euros. At 85, we are. 85 000 euros, nous sommes. 90 000 euros déjà. 95 000. 95 000 euros. À 95 000 euros, nous sommes. Contre vous, à 95 000 euros. 95 000 euros. For this beautiful painting. 100 000 euros. Merci, Guillaume. À 100 000 euros, nous sommes. 100 000 euros with Guillaume Maleco. 110 online. À 110 000 euros, c'est sur Internet et c'est contre vous. À 110 000 euros, nous sommes. Contre vous, Guillaume. 120 000. Merci. 120 against you. It's not your bid online, it's with a telephone bidder in Paris. À 120 000 euros, 130 000, 130 against you. À 130 000 euros, l'enchère est maintenant sur Internet contre vous. Do you want 140 À 130 000 euros, c'est sur Internet qu'est l'enchère. Guillaume, ce n'est plus votre enchère. 135. À 135 000 euros avec vous, Guillaume. 135 000 euros with Guillaume Maleco. 140 000 sur Internet. 140 000 euros with Internet. À 140 000 euros, nous sommes sur Internet. Est-ce que c'est bien vu À 140 000 euros. À 140 000 euros, nous sommes. Nous attendons juste que Internet revienne, car nous avons une toute petite panne de courant. Voilà, à 140 000 euros, l'enchère est sur Internet. Est-ce que c'est bien vu À 140 000 euros, et je vais être jugé. À 140 000 euros, 140 with the online bidder. I'm selling. Sold 140 000 euros, paddle 69. And we are now moving to the five last lots of the Paris auction before starting again the Van Gogh. Uh, These are five beautiful bronze sculptures by Rodin. Et nous arrivons donc aux cinq derniers lots de la vente parisienne qui sont cinq bronzes d'Auguste Rodin, juste avant de rouvrir le, 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 le lot 6. The first Rodin sculpture is lot 29, a beautiful example of le baiser, the kiss, one of the most iconic subjects by Rodin. It is a live cast version made by Barbedienne and we will start the bidding at 350,000 euros. À 300, 350 000 euros, nous débutons les enchères. À 350 000 euros, nous sommes. À 350 000 euros, nous commençons les enchères. À 300 000 50 000 euros. 380 000 euros, c'est sur Internet déjà. À 380 000 euros, l'enchère est sur Internet. And I can sell it at 380,000 euros. À 380 000 euros, sur Internet. À 380 000 euros, the bid is online at, 300, at 380,000 euros. It's not you in London. À 380 000 euros, je peux vendre sur Internet. C'est contre vous, Thomas. C'est contre vous à Paris. À 380 000 euros. 400 000 euros avec vous, madame. Merci beaucoup. 400,000 euros in the auction room in Paris. Thank you for your participation. À 400 000 euros, the bid is in the auction room in Paris. Thomas, do you want to bid? 400. À 400 000 euros, ce n'était pas votre enchère. It's not your bid, Thomas. It's in the auction room in Paris. 420. 420 000 euros. 420,000 euros with you, Thomas, in London. Madame, voulez-vous 450? 450 000 euros dans la salle à Paris. 450,000 euros against you, Thomas. It is in the auction room in Paris still. À 450 000 euros, l'enchère est en salle contre vous à Londres. À 450 000 euros, nous sommes. 470. 470. I did not hear very well. À 400, 470 000 euros, nous sommes à 470 000 euros. Is it correct? Yes. At 470 000 euros with Thomas, Thomas by Bowman. Voulez-vous 480, madame? 480 000 euros in the auction room in Paris. 480 000 euros against you. Do you want 500 to round up? À 480 000 euros, l'enchère est contre vous, Thomas. Elle est en salle à Paris. 480 000 euros, nous sommes. Non, vous vous arrêtez là. L'enchère est donc avec vous, madame, à 480 000 euros. Est-ce que c'est bien vu à Paris pour les téléphones It's not your bid in London. 500 000 euros sur Internet par notre enchérisseur qui revient. Back to the internet at 500,000 euros. 520,000, 520,000 euros in the auction room in Paris. It's not your bid online. À 520,000 euros, l'enchère est avec vous, madame, en salle à Paris. À 520,000 euros, nous sommes, que dit-on sur internet It's not your bid online. Do you want to bid 
à 520 000 euros, je somme, je peux vendre ici, à Paris, dans la salle, à 520 000 euros. Fair warning, 550. Contre vous, madame. 560 000 euros. 560 000 euros. À 560 000 euros, nous sommes. À 560 000 euros. Do you want to bid online À 560 000 euros, nous sommes. En salle, à Paris, 560,000 euros against you online. Last chance, do you want to bid I will sell it. 600 000 euros contre vous. 620 000, 620,000 euros. À 620 000 euros, nous sommes. À 620 000 euros, nous sommes contre vous sur Internet. 620,000 euros in the auction room in Paris. Do you want 650 online à 620 000 euros, nous sommes. Ce n'est plus votre enchère sur Internet. Je peux vendre en salle à Paris à 620 000 euros. 620 000 euros, 650 000 euros sur Internet. 650 against you, madame. Merci. 680 000 euros, nous sommes. 680 in the auction room in Paris. 680 000 euros. Do you want to bid online? Next one is 700. À 680 000 euros, nous sommes, que dit-on À 680 000 euros. À 680 000 euros Est-ce que c'est bien vu sur Internet It's not your bid online. At 680,000 euros, I can sell it in the auction room in Paris. 700 000 euros sur Internet. 720 000 euros dans la salle des ventes. 720 against you online. At 720,000 euros, it's against you online. À 720 000 euros, nous sommes. Est-ce que c'est bien vu C'est votre enchère, madame, devant moi, dans la salle, à 720 000 euros. It's not your bid online. I will sell it in Paris, in the auction room. Last chance, 750. 750. At 750,000 euros, with the online bidder. Do you want 780 780 000 euros dans la salle. 780,000 euros against you online. À 780 000 euros, nous sommes toujours dans la salle des ventes de Paris, Contre vous sur Internet, it's not your bid online. Next bid is 800. À 780 000 euros, nous sommes. Je peux adjuger. Last chance. The hammer will fall down soon. We are at 780,000 euros in Paris. I'm selling. Je vais vendre à 780 000 euros. Je ne vois plus de réaction sur Internet. Et j'adjuge donc à 780 000 euros. Last chance. À juger 780 000 euros. Merci beaucoup, madame. Au paddle, 85. Merci infiniment. Toujours de Rodin, nous vendons maintenant un autre sujet célèbre de l'artiste, l'éternel printemps. Il s'agit du lot 30. C'est également une fonte du vivant de l'artiste. Et pour ce bel exemplaire, nous débutons les enchères. À 65 000 euros, 65 000 euros, we start the bidding at 65 000 euros. And we are already at 70 000 euros, 75, 80 000 euros. Nous sommes déjà à 80 000 euros sur ordre. 80 000 euros with a commission bid, 85, 90 000 euros against you, Jeanne. À 90 000 euros, nous sommes sur ordre et je peux vendre à 90 000 euros. 95 000 euros, 100 000 euros avec moi. 100,000 euros with a commission bid against you, Jeanne. À 100 000 euros, nous sommes sur ordre et je peux vendre 110 000 euros. 110 with Jeanne Calmont. 110, 110, 120 online. 120 000 euros, c'est contre vous sur Internet, Jeanne. Do you want 130 à 120 000 euros, l'enchère est sur Internet. À 120 000 euros, nous sommes. À 120 000 125 000, 125 000 euros. À 125 000 euros, nous sommes. C'est contre vous sur Internet. Do you want 130 À 125 000 euros, nous sommes. 130 000. À 130 000, 130,000 euros. À 130 000 euros, c'est contre vous, Jeanne, toujours. Vous vous arrêtez là, merci beaucoup. À 130 000 euros, l'enchère est sur Internet. 130,000 euros. The bid is online. It's not new in London or in New York. Do you want to bid The bid is with an online bidder. Thank you, Thomas. So I will sell it to the online bidder at 130,000 100, by a new online bidder. À 140 000, 150 000 maintenant. 150,000 euros with a new bidder. À 150 000 euros, nous sommes. Est-ce que c'est bien vu À 150 000 euros, c'est une bataille d'enchères sur Internet. 150,000 euros now. Last chance. I'm selling. Online at 150,000 euros, last chance. Uh, 
sur le marteau à 160 000 euros par un nouvel enchérisseur en ligne. À 160 000 euros, nous sommes maintenant. À 160 000 euros, toujours sur Internet. À 160 000 euros, 170 000, 170. À 170 000 euros, nous sommes. 170 000 euros. À 170 000 euros, que dit-on À 170 000 euros, c'est toujours sur Internet. Je vous attends un petit peu pour que vous ayez le temps de surenchérir le cas échéant. À 170 000 euros. 170 000 euros. Are we all done on the, on the internet or in the auction rooms at 100, 180 000. 180 000 euros nous sommes, à 180 000 euros sur internet toujours, qui prend un petit peu de temps. À 180 000 euros nous sommes, 180 000 euros. Que dit-on sur internet Do you want 190 now We have several bidders on the web at 180 000 euros. Last chance, I will sell it. 190 000. Les enchères continuent à monter. We are now at 190 000 euros pour cet éternel printemps de Rodin. À 190 000 euros, est-ce que c'est bien vu À 190 000 euros, je peux vendre. À 190 000 euros, 190 000 euros. Next bid is 200. Are we all done À 190 000 euros, je vais bientôt vendre. À 190 000 euros, fair warning, I'm selling at 190 000 euros. Last chance, I'm selling now. Sold 190 000 euros au Paddle 41. De la même collection, nous passons maintenant au lot 31, euh, également de Rodin. Il s'agit d'une version du Fils Prodigue et je commence les enchères à 40 000 euros, 40 000 euros. Je commence à 40 000 euros, nous sommes à 40 000 euros. 42 000, 45 000 euros, nous sommes déjà à 45 000, 45, 48 000 euros. And 50 000 euros, 50 000 euros, we are. À 50 000 euros, nous sommes déjà à 50 000 euros, 55 000 sur Internet, 55 000 euros. With an online bidder, and I can sell it at 55, 60 000 euros, 60 000 euros with Thomas Boyd Woman. À 60 000 euros, c'est votre enchère, Thomas. Thomas Boyd Woman at 60,000 euros. Thomas bid. Do you want to bid online? We are at 60,000 euros with Thomas in London. It's not your bid online. At 60,000 euros, I can sell it. Last chance with the internet at 60,000 euros. Est-ce que c'est bien vu à 60 000 euros? Je vais vendre 65 online. 65 against you, Thomas. I'm sorry. Do you want 70? At 65, this is the internet. 70,000 euros. 70,000 euros with Thomas, Thomas Boyd Woman. Do you want 75 online? À 70 000 euros, nous sommes. Toujours avec vous, Thomas, à Londres, à 70 000 euros. It's not your bid online. I will sell it with Thomas in London. Last chance. 75 000, 75,000 euros against you. Do you want 80? <laughs> 80,000 euros, thank you. À 80 000 euros, nous sommes avec Thomas, still in London, at 80,000 euros. Next one is 85. Do you want to bid online? À 80 000 euros, nous sommes, c'est bien vu. À 80 000 euros, je peux vendre. À 80 000 euros, last chance, at 80,000 euros. I'm selling at 80,000 euros with you, Thomas. Fair warning, at 80,000 euros. À juger 80 000 au paddle 20. Merci beaucoup. La sculpture suivante est le lot 32, la main de Dieu, une interprétation fascinante de la création et un exemple remarquable de l'extraordinaire talent de, de Rodin à sculpter les mains. Et nous allons commencer les enchères à 65 000 euros et nous sommes déjà à 70 000 euros, 75 000 euros, 80 000 euros sur ordre et nous sommes à 80 000 euros, 80 000 euros with commission bid. À 80 000 euros, 85 000 euros, nous sommes 90 000 euros sur ordre. À 90 000 euros, nous sommes with my commission bid. À 90 000 euros, it's my commission bid in Paris. 95,000 euros with Fergus in London. Fergus bid at 95, 100, 100, 110 with several commission bid. At 110 with commission bid. It's against you, Fergus. Yeah. 120 with Fergus in London. Thank you. 120,000 euros with Fergus in London. It's not my bid, it's your bid, Fergus. At 120 we are in London with Fergus. What is the next bid now? 130 with an online bidder sur internet à 130 000 euros contre vous, Fergus. 130 is against you, Fergus. It's online. At 130 we are with an online bidder. Do you want 140? Are you sure? We are now at 130 with an online bidder. It's not your bid anymore. Thank you, Fergus. At 130 we are with an online bidder. Are we all done at 130,000 euros? No regrets? I'm waiting for Aurélie. At 130, do you want to bid? 
à 130 000 euros nous sommes, 135 000 euros nous sommes, à 135 000 euros par un téléphone à Paris, 135 000 euros with Aurélie Massou on the phone, à 135 000 euros nous sommes, do you want 140 online À 135 000 euros, est-ce que c'est bien vu À 135 000 euros, it's not anymore your bid, 140. 140 online, à 140 000 euros c'est sur internet. Aurélie, que faites-vous Do you want to bid At 140 we are It's not anymore you bid yes. At 140. It's online. Do you want to bid, Aurélie At 140, 145. À 145 000 euros, nous sommes avec Aurélie Massou. 145 against you online. Next bid is 150. Do you want to bid À 145 000 euros, nous sommes. À 145 000 euros. It's not anymore you bid online. You need to place an additional bid if you want to work. And the next one is 150. We are still with Aurélie Massou on the phone, and I will sell it with Aurélie in Paris at 145,000 euros. À 145 000 euros, nous sommes, et je vends à 145 000 euros. Last chance, I'm selling. Sold 145,000 euros. 145 000 au 71, merci. Et maintenant, nous passons au lot 33. Le, de Rodin, toujours grand torse de l'homme qui tombe, et for this exceptional and impressive sculpture, I will start the bidding at 400,000 euros. À 400 000 euros, nous débutons les enchères. À 400 000 euros, nous débutons. À 400 000 euros, nous sommes 450 000 euros, nous sommes déjà. À 450 000 euros, 500 000 euros. À 500 000 euros, que dit-on À 500 000 euros, nous sommes 500,000 euros. À 500 000 euros, que dit-on Au-delà de 500 000 euros. À 500 000 euros, nous sommes. Que fait-on à 500 000 euros, à 500 000 euros, à 500 000 euros, 550 000 euros avec Thomas Boyd Bowman, à 550 000 euros, 520 000 euros avec vous Thomas, 520 000 euros avec Thomas, à 520 000 euros nous sommes, à 520 000 euros nous sommes, à 520 000 euros que dit-on au-delà de 520 000 euros, à 520 000 euros nous sommes, que fait-on à 550 000 euros avec Alejandra Rossetti. 5-5 with Alejandra in New York. Thank you, Alejandra. At 550,000 euros, the bid is with you, Alejandra. At 5-5, we have Thomas, do you want to bid? 580. À 580 000 euros with Thomas, my woman. 580 against you, Ale. Do you, do you want six? 5-8, I have with Thomas in London. À 580 000 euros, l'enchère est maintenant à Londres, with Thomas. 600 000 euros, merci. 600,000 euros with Alejandra Rossetti in New York. At 600, we are in New York with Ale. Alejandra. 620. 620, with Thomas Boyd Bowman. 620 against you, Alejandra. Do you want 650? No? Thanks for your bid. We are with Thomas at 620,000 euros. À 620 000 euros, nous sommes avec Thomas. Que dit-on à Paris est-ce que c'est bien vu À 620 000 euros. No more bid in New York or in Hong Kong. Last chance. We are at 620,000 euros with Thomas. And I'm selling. Je vends à 620 000 euros si je n'ai pas d'autres réactions. I'm selling. No regret, Alejandra. À 620 000 euros, j'adjuge donc. Adjugé à 620 000 au lot numéro 20. Et nous allons maintenant rouvrir le lot 6. Nous allons maintenant ouvrir le lot 6 de la vente. Nous allons donc re redémarrer la vente du lot 6, le tableau de Van Gogh, euh, scène de rue à Montmartre que nous avons présenté tout à l'heure. Nous allons We will reopen lot 6 by Vincent Van Gogh, scène de rue à Montmartre. So please stay with us online. And I'm just waiting so that everybody is ready. And so we will So let me know when we can start. So we will reopen the lot six, uh, the painting by Vincent Van Gogh, Saint de Rue à Montmartre, painted in 8087. Un tableau exceptionnel donc qui a été exécuté en 1887 alors que Vincent Van Gogh vivait chez son frère Théo à Montmartre et nous, je crois que nous pouvons maintenant commencer les enchères et nous allons donc reprendre les enchères de ce lot au début. We will start again from the beginning for this lot at 4 million euros. And we start at 4 million, million. euros for this lot. 4 million 2, 4 million 5 with Liz, 4 million 8, 6 million with... 
Patty, I think. Six million with Liz. Six million euros with Liz Sterling. At six million, we are Seven. with you, Liz, Seven in New York. Thank you. Seven with Patty Wong. Seven million euros with Patty Wong. Thank you, Patty. At seven million, we are with Patty Wong. Seven, Seven million Alf five. With Felix. Thank you, Felix. Seven five with Felix in Hong Kong. At seven million five, we are in Hong Kong with Felix. Eight million, eight million with Patty. Eight million with you, Patty, in Hong Kong. Thank you. Eight million with Patty Wong in Hong Kong. At eight million, we are. 8 millions d'euros, nous sommes à Hong Kong avec Patty. Que dit-on au-delà de 8 millions d'euros À 8 millions, nous sommes avec vous, Patty. 8.5 with Nicholas Cho in Hong Kong. 8.5 with you, Nicholas. Thank you. 8.5 with, with Nicholas in Hong Kong. À 8 millions 500 000 euros, nous sommes. Et c'est Nicholas Cho qui tient l'enchère désormais. À 8 millions 500, 500 000. À 8 millions 500 000 euros, que dit-on au-delà de 8 millions 5 8 millions 5 with you, Nicholas. At 8 millions 5 with Nicholas Cho in Hong Kong. What is the next bid now? At 8 million five we are. The bid is in Hong Kong with Nicholas against you, Patty, against eight, you, Liz. 8,750, please. 8,750, à 8 millions 750 000 avec Sam Vallette à Londres. The bid is now in London with Sam Vallette at 8 million 750 thousand euros. 9 million. 9 million with Patty Wong. 9 million, thank you, Patty. 9 million is Patty's bid. At 9 million, nous sommes avec Patty Wong. At 9 million, nous sommes, que dit-on? 9.2. 9 million 200 000 euros. 9 million 2 with Sam Vallette. 9 million 2 is Sam's bid. 9 million 200 000 euros. L'enchère est avec vous, Sam. 9.4. 9.4 with Nicholas Show. 9.4 with you, Nicholas. Thank you. À 9 millions 400 000 euros, nous sommes avec Nicholas Show à Hong Kong. 9.6. 9.6 with Sam Vallette. 9.6. It is Sam's bid in London. À 9 millions 600 000 euros, l'enchère est maintenant avec Sam à Londres. 9.8 with Nicholas Show. 9.8 with Nicholas. Thank you, Nicholas. Nicolas' bid is 9.8. Sam, do you want to bid at 10? L'enchère est maintenant avec Nicolas Cho, depuis Hong Kong, à 9 800 000 euros. Que dit-on au-delà de 9 800 000 euros? At 9 800 000 euros with Nicolas in Hong Kong. At 9 800 000 euros. Ten million, thank you, Sam. At ten million euros, we are with Sam Vallette in London against you, Nicholas. At ten million, we are. At ten million. Ten point two. Ten point two. Ten point two with Nicholas. At ten million two hundred thousand euros, we are with Nicholas. Ten million two hundred thousand euros with Nicholas in Hong Kong. À 10 millions 200 000 euros, c'est maintenant Nicolas qui tient l'enchère. 10.4. 10.4. 10.4. millions 400 000 euros avec Sam Vallette à Londres. 10 millions 4 against you, Nicolas. À 10 millions 400 000 euros, l'enchère est maintenant avec Sam à Londres. Ten million four with Sam Vallette in London. 10.6. 10.6, thank you. Nicholas bid at 10 million six against you, Sam. At 10 million 600 000 euros, nous sommes à Hong Kong maintenant de retour avec Nicholas Cho. 10.7. Do you want to bid? 10.7. At 10 million 700 000 euros contre vous, Nicholas. 10 million seven now. At 10 million 700,000 euros, it's Sam's bid in London. It's not your bid, Nicholas. Do you want to bid? L'enchère est maintenant à Londres, toujours avec Sam Vallette, à 10 millions 700 000 euros pour ce tableau de Van Gogh représentant le moulin de la galette. 10.8, please. 10 million, 10 million 10 8, 8, thank you. À 10 millions 800 000 euros. C'est Nicolas qui reprend les enchères à 10 millions 800 000 euros. 10 million 8 with you, Nicolas, in Hong Kong. Ten 
10.9, please. 10.9, thank you. 10 million 900 000 euros with Sam Vallet. 10.9 against you, Nicholas. À 10 millions 900 000 euros, nous sommes de retour à Londres cette fois-ci. L'enchère n'est plus avec vous, Nicolas. À 10 millions 900 000 euros, nous sommes avec Sam Vallet. Eleven million. Eleven million. Thank you, Nicolas. Eleven million with Nicolas Cho in Hong Kong. À 11 millions d'euros, l'enchère est maintenant à Hong Kong, en Asie, et non plus avec vous, Sam, à Londres. À 11 millions, nous sommes. Que dit-on au-delà de 11 millions d'euros? It's Nicolas bid at 11 million euros. 11.050, please. Are you sure, Sam? <laughs> Un million, you? 11 millions 50 000 euros. 11 millions 50 000 euros. Nous sommes donc à 1 000, 11 millions 50 000 euros. It's against you, Nicolas. Still discussing. Que faites-vous, Nicolas? Nous sommes à 11 millions 50 000 euros avec Sam Valette à Londres. 1 million, 1, thank you very much, Nicolas. 11, 11 millions, 11 millions 100 000 euros. 11 millions 100 000 euros, nous sommes. Sam. 50. <laughs> of course. 11 millions 150. À 11 millions 150 000 euros, nous sommes avec Sam Valette. Voulez-vous arrondir, Nicolas À 11 millions 150 000, c'est toujours vous, Sam, qui tenez l'enchère. Nous attendons la réponse de Nicolas. Depuis Hong Kong. À 11 millions 150 000 euros, nous sommes. À 11 millions 150 000. Vous arrêtez là Do you want 11 to, Nicolas J'ai besoin d'une réponse. À 11 millions 150 000 euros, l'enchère est toujours à Londres. J'ai bien vu votre paddle, Sam. J'ai bien vu votre paddle. J'attends juste une réponse de Nicolas Cho depuis Hong Kong. Nicolas. Okay. Just give me a sign. Uh, 11 million 2. 11.2. Thank you very much. 11 million 2 against you, Sam. 11 million 200,000 euros. Je savais que ça valait le coup d'attendre. Is it a bid, Sam? 50. What else? 11 million to 150,000 euros. Thank you, Sam. À 11 millions 250 000 euros. Do you want 11 three, Nicholas? À 11 millions 250 000 euros, nous sommes toujours avec Sam Valette à Londres. Merci beaucoup. Nicolas, voulez-vous enchérir à 11 millions 300 000 euros Je vous laisse juste échanger avec votre client. 11 millions 250 000 euros, l'enchère est toujours à Londres. C'est une bataille entre Londres et Hong Kong maintenant. 
le marteau est sur le point de tomber avec un enchérisseur à Londres. Que dites-vous, Nicolas Vous arrêtez là Thanks so much for your bidding. So we stay with Sam Vallette. Ah, maybe a regret. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Just a few seconds of patience. Nous sommes donc à 1 000, 11 250 000 euros. Et nous attendons la réponse définitive de Nicolas. À 11 250 000 euros, je vais être jugé. Nicolas, c'est oui ou c'est non Is it a yes or a no I just need a sign. Is it a no OK, thank you very much. So we stay with Sam Vallette at 11... 11 250,000 euros, 11 250 000 euros, et je vais être jugé maintenant pour ce très beau tableau de Van Gogh à 11 250 000 euros, adjugé au paddle 51. Cette vente, cette vente est à présent terminée. Merci infiniment, messieurs, mesdames, de nous avoir suivis. Nous allons, faire, nous allons enchaîner en fait avec la vente Modern Renaissance Cross Category Sale et nous vous rappelons que si vous souhaitez y participer, vous devez vous connecter dès maintenant ou depuis votre application, votre ordinateur. Ladies and gentlemen, the auction has now ended. Thank you very much for your attention. We will now, have a sh we will now um, continuing, continue with Modern Renaissance Cross Category Sale. Should you wish to bid in the following auction online, we ask that you change to the link for that auction on our website and we look for to seeing you again in a few minutes. Thank you very much.
People are moving away from any kind of austerity. They want warmth, they want emotion. And Monk is the perfect artist for that. And if you think about how the screen was considered, it was like a joke, an absolute joke. And now the screen has become like a metaphor for the times that we live in. Right. And that's how seriously Monk is taken now. It's such a pleasure to be here today with you in the, in the studio and, and, and we're going to be filming and talking about your work and, and particularly your work in this wonderful exhibition of yours at the Royal Academy, Troy Siem in Edvard Munch, The Loneliness of the Soul. You know, we're going to be joined also by, by Simon, also in his very creative space in New York as well, who's our kind of resident Munch man. Really. Yes, he's, I know, he's, he's our man Munch. Literally our man Munch. And most particularly on the two pictures that we've got the privilege of selling in March, which come from this fantastic family, the Ollison family, who've got a long distinguished history collecting the artists. I was keen to start, Tracy, really by talking about your love of Edvard Munch and, and specifically how that started. I was a big David Bowie fan and a friend of mine told me that Lodger and Heroes were based on Egon Schiller paintings. So I went to the only bookshop in Cliftonville and they had a little art section and they had a section on Expressionism and I pulled it out and in this book was Edvard Munch. Right. And I thought, wow, this is amazing. And Monk become my favorite artist. And then I wrote my art thesis on Monk. It was called My Man Monk. Monk was such an instinctive painter. And when I look at things like this self-portrait, I don't just look at the image of the man himself, but I think that technique is incredible. He used all these degler colors, like bright pink, lime green. You know, it was amazing. And people were kind of like horrified by right. it. It's like, like punk rock, I said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's great yeah, analogy. Yeah. Well, I loved actually the punk rock comparison actually because Monk was just was incredibly kind of single-minded bloody-minded about you know doing exactly what 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 he wanted to do a real rebel a very kind of direct break the rules unmediated approach to expression yeah. exactly it had that kind of effect he was so radical and the amazing thing also I mean Simon you know I'd love to hear from you some more biographical detail about this it's very difficult to kind of really appreciate today just how innovative he really was the two pictures that we are selling in London later this month um, really give a very interesting kind of dialogue on that the self-portrait from 1926 he's 62 he's one of the most famous artists in the world He's holding his palette in a way that we might expect from Goya or Rembrandt even, reaching back into art history to present himself in this very forthright way. And I think when you look at a picture like the self-portrait of 1926, there's again a kind of ambivalence here. This is a very public-facing portrait of a professional artist at a moment when he's getting international recognition. I like this painting because I think you can actually see writing in it. He was such an avid writer. He wrote poetry, he wrote prose. When you look in the hills, you can almost see some kind of message. His poetry is just so beautiful and, and amazing. When did you first go and see great monk paintings in person? Well, first of all, Monk wasn't very well represented over the last sort of like 30 years because Monk was like a bit of a joke. And then right now, the right person to show is Monk because everybody needs real solace, everybody needs emotion. So I'm really happy for Monk as I'm very happy for me because I also think 20 or 30 years ago, I was a joke too. Right. And now I'm not. Now yeah. people are starting to understand what I was talking about. I think, Tracy, in, in your work, like in Monk's, we feel you in the brushstroke, in the materiality of the, of the paint. And if you look at a picture like Summer Day, it's almost as if the, the, the loaded brush, it, it's kind of a, a, a cipher for Monk himself. When I look at those two figures, the embrace figures, I actually see a kind of calming, very innocent kind of scene, but there's something much darker going You're on so as well. You're so naive, yeah. <laughs> This is a commission for a children's nursery. Max Linder in Lübeck in Germany commissions this. In fact, Munch was a very successful child portraitist in Germany, crazy as that sounds today. Linder decides that this is not really the most appropriate imagery for his, his kid's bedroom. Munch takes them back, and what he does at that point is adds these two spectral ghostly figures on the left, and that takes what is actually, on the surface of it, a very happy, joyful, sunny summer day, and adds a 
very different element, a sense of foreboding and anxiety that, that, that we associate with Munch from, from those years. How do you react to this, this picture, Tracy? Because it's got those two things, hasn't it? With the embrace, I've always thought that she'd had an abortion or a miscarriage, and then he was, he was comforting her. I've never right. thought it was anything else other than that. She's crying. She seems startled too, don't you think? Absolutely, Ollie, and I think Tracy's point is a very interesting one because, I, look, all of Monk is about Monk. Whether it's a, you know, explicitly a self-portrait, everything is about not what things look like, but the way it feels to be Edvard Monk in that moment. You don't need to paint yourself to make a self-portrait. You can use objects, colours to represent how you're feeling. And that's something I find in your work too, Tracy, right? You're kind of bouncing off the external world to figure out how you're feeling inside. You that's ab absolutely true, and I've always said that about my work, and people have always accused me of being narcissistic and this and that, and whatever, whereas I'm not. I'm just bearing witness to my feelings, and so I'm being really, really honest. It's like a cycle of things that go through me. It's like what Monk said, it's like the blood. It's as it flows through my heart, through my mind, and then it comes out through my fingers. I think one word that's at the very heart of, of both your work and, and Monk's is authenticity. It's not the work itself that, that it's about, it's that, you know, what he's going through in, in painting that, that picture. Do you get a similar feeling? Art should have a power and be real, like kind of vibrate. Before I start painting, when I know I'm really going to paint, the sort of power in me and the energy almost scares me. It frightens me. I know I could pick someone up and throw them across the other side of the room or whatever, you know. The first time I went to the Tate, remember, I love Edvard Monk, Egon Schiller, etc. I saw uh, Rothko's um, pink and yellow painting and I sat there and, and I looked at it and I burst out crying. I didn't like abstract painting. I didn't know who Rothko was. I had no idea what I was looking at but I felt it, it resonated with me. I could feel it vibrating to the point that it made me cry. And that's what we need in art. If we feel something, when yeah, we see it, it's got the power and it's got it has the a power. That's what Monk was interested in. That's what Monk was about. When you sat down to put The Loneliness of the Soul together several years ago, you've been working on this, this show, I think. Of course, nobody could have predicted that the doors would open at a time of, of global pandemic. The issues we've all been grappling with at home, anxiety and, and, and sickness, has meant that this show is an incredibly profound one on levels that, that nobody could have foreseen. Never has there been a more relevant exhibition in London, I don't think. I quite Thank agree, you. Simon. I quite agree. Thank you. As sad and disappointed I am about the show being closed and everything, you know, I understand totally why, but when I walked around on my own, because I'd been so ill with the cancer and everything, and I didn't think I was going to make it, I thought, well, at least I've got to see my show. <laughs> it was like, this is, I wasn't expecting this, so this is like all good, yeah. it's all positive, you know. It's a dream come true. Well, we hope lots of people see the show. Can you tell us just a brief word before we close about, about the mother sculpture you've been working on? I entered a competition for a large monumental sculpture to stand in front of the Munch Museum. I made a small maquette, and it was called The Mother, and it's it's actually my mother and she's facing out towards the field welcoming people in and at the same time she's protecting the Monk Museum she's looking after Monk. I think that that's a beautiful and, and very fitting subject that you've created at the opening of this wonderful new museum it's going to be the biggest single artist museum in the world I believe it's a big year for, for Edvard Munch and I know that down the line this self-portrait has been requested for a Munch portrait show at the National Gallery in London in 2025. So I think that the interest in Munch is just going to continue to, to grow and grow in the coming years. Yeah. Well, and as it is in, with you as well, Tracy, in your work as well. So thank you so much, Tracy. This has been absolutely riveting. It's been wonderful to spend time with you and equally in the hallowed space of yeah. your, your studio. And thank you very much indeed. Thank you. It's been brilliant. <laughs> thank you, Simon. Thanks, Tracy. I can't believe you're wearing your slippers because I took mine off just for you. <laughs> he called me to ask me what yeah, he should no, wear. Before I, I put my clothes on for you because I had my pajamas on. <laughs> Brilliant.
this captivating young sitter is the only known portrait left in private hands by innovative Renaissance artist Piero del Pollaiolo. But it is not only his fine features that set this extraordinarily rare masterpiece apart. The fresh-faced Florentine once hung alongside Sandro Botticelli's record-breaking portrait of a young man holding a roundel. The two remarkable Renaissance masterpieces taking pride of place in the library of Thomas Ralph Merton, the original Q of the British Secret Service. Thomas Ralph Merton was the first scientist ever employed by MI6. His field of study was spectroscopy, the study of how matter absorbs and emits light. And his inventions would be of immeasurable benefit to Britain's war effort. Merton's many discoveries included identifying a method of secret writing used by German agents, a new type of radar screen, a black velvet-like paint to make bombers less visible at night, and the use of nitrous oxide to boost the speed of fighters, which proved effective against the doodlebug flying bomb. The renowned scientist was also a distinguished collector, having developed a passion for the arts during his travels across Europe. No doubt inspired by his professional interest in the properties of colour, Merton acquired paintings notable for their pigments, brushwork and condition. The jewel in his crown was Botticelli's portrait of a young man holding a roundel, recently sold at Sotheby's for a record-breaking $92 million. It was one of two Florentine Renaissance portraits to hold pride of place in his library, alongside a work by Bartolomeo Montagna. As his granddaughter Susie Lewis recalls, the only three bits of wall that weren't covered in books had those three pictures on, which was pretty cool. So what was it that so captivated this discerning collector about Polaiolo's portrait? Perhaps it was the smooth-faced, fine features of this young person of high social standing. Perhaps the full face, gaze directed straight at the viewer and set against a sky of graduated blue in which delicate clouds float across the lighter areas or the interest in surface and texture evident throughout the picture and the great care taken to describe the sitter's hair and clothing, the rendering of the fabrics achieving a tactile quality through the use of oil as the medium. Piero del Pollaiolo and his brother Antonio were enormously talented and made significant innovations in many areas, including portraiture. Here, the frontal presentation and the choice of outward-looking pose transforms the image into an encounter. The effect is comparable to Mino da Fiesole's sculpted portrait of Piero de' Medici, one of the cornerstones of Italian Renaissance portraiture. As Merton's diaries reveal, his fascination with the arts of the Renaissance was entwined with a scientific way of seeing that he shared with the great artists of that revolutionary moment. His astute eye is reflected in this arresting life-size portrait, which captures a critical moment in the history of European art. With the majority of works by Polaiolo in international museum collections, and no comparable works by the artist having appeared at auction in recent times, this is an extraordinarily rare opportunity to acquire a portrait by this leading Renaissance innovator. Fautrier, Dubuffet, and Vos were all looking for ways that they could break the mold in painting after the war. They were all trying to subvert and interrogate preconceived notions of beauty in painting. The 
These four paintings really tell the story of post-war Paris. The liberation of France in 1944 was a very cathartic moment for artists across Europe. The French public was coming to terms with the atrocities of the war, and there was also a very hopeful sentiment for the future after years of destruction and anguish. The war had just ended when Dubuffet executed Le Cavalier au Diamant. Dubuffet was relatively unknown during the war, and it was only in 1945 that he was discovered by the gallerist René Durin. Le Cavalier au Diamant is one of the first times that Dubuffet began exploring portraiture on a deeper level. Here we see a embracing dancing couple who are joyful and relieved after these terrible years of war. This woman is beautifully dressed. She has a beautiful diamond ring and diamond earrings, which Dubuffet conveys via mirror shards and gold pigment. His choice of composition speaks to the post-war economic boom in Paris and the bourgeoisie returning to normal life again. All three artists were associated with the gallerist René Drouin. He actually discovered these artists and celebrated and championed different outsider art. The two works by Fautre in this collection are executed between 1943 and 1945, and these works are part of Fautre's Otage series, which he began uh, while he was staying at a psychiatric hospital on the outskirts of Paris. He was arrested as part of the resistance movement, and he takes his own trauma from this wartime period and translates them to canvas. For Fautrier, the tension between abstraction and figuration was really the only way to answer the questions prompted by the war and his own experiences. Vols studied at the Berlin Bauhaus and he moved to Paris in 1933 at the age of 19. Vols's work is highly gestural. He uses a range of media, including paint and sand. His style of abstraction is very visceral. On the surface of La Turquoise, you see Vols using the wrong end of the brush. He's applying the paint freely and quickly with his fingers, and he's scratching the surface of the canvas. So this is a very violent form of abstraction that is evocative of the war. Together, these paintings have remained in the same private European collection for over 70 years, and they were acquired at a time when these artists were relatively unknown. They're images of hope and despair, of triumph and trauma. Together, these paintings exemplify artists coming to terms with the incalculable void left behind by the war, but also how they could move on.
A good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to Sotheby's London. Thank you for your patience whilst we finish today's Parisian sale. And from wherever you are, we welcome you to Sotheby's globally here. My name is Oliver Barker, and I will be your auctioneer for Modern Renaissance across category sale, the second of the live stream auctions we're holding in Europe today, following the wonderful sale of Art Impressionniste Moderne that was just concluded in Paris a short while ago. Our next major auction will bring together works by some of the most uh, trailblazing artists who were practicing across more than 500 years of art history, but are all united by the cultural change and renewal that they generated throughout their groundbreaking art. I'm once again taken to the rostrum at Sotheby's here in New Bond Street, and I will be fielding bids in real time via the screens in front of me from both our online bidders around the world and from my colleagues here in London, as well as those in Paris, New York, and Hong Kong. Hanging behind my colleagues in Asia are four important works that will grace our modern contemporary art evening sales in Hong Kong on the 18th and 19th of April. The Toijin Oji Udutola, the Lin Yang Mian, and Yoshitomo uh, Nara's The Exquisite Frog Girl. I'm also delighted to be wearing the top lot of another Hong Kong sale, the important watches auction on the 22nd of April, an extremely rare and previously unknown platinum Rolex Daytona with a Tiffany blue dial. Back to today's sale, and behind me, you will see Edvard Munch's Summer Day, one of two works by the artist that we are offering from the legendary Olsen collection. They will star alongside a host of other important works from Picasso's wartime portrait of Dora Maar to David Hockney's old master inspired landscape and the only known portrait by the Renaissance artist Piero del Poleolo, left in private hands. Wherever you may be, and whether you are participating or just watching, we are glad you are able to join us from the comfort and safety of your own homes. And if you are able to stay with us until the end of the auction, I'm very pleased to say, after the hammer falls on the final lot, we will be making a major announcement for our New York sales of contemporary art this coming May of a little scene masterwork by one of the true superstar artists of the 20th century. Just before we get into the auction, a few housekeeping notes. As your auctioneer, I may open the bidding on any lot by placing a bid on behalf of the seller. I may further bid on behalf of the seller up to the amount of the reserve by placing responsive or consecutive bids for a lot. Please note that there is a guarantee on lot number 144. There is also an irrevocable bid on lot number 123. And there is a guarantee and an irrevocable bid on lot numbers 105, 115, 117, 118, 119, 120, and 138. The following lots have been withdrawn from this evening's sale. Lot numbers 127, 129, and 136. And now we are going to begin with lot number 101, the wonderful Pablo Picasso, the portrait de Françoise, a spirited work on paper which is making its first ever appearance at auction, having changed hands only once since it was executed in 1948. And I'm going to start the bidding here at 50,000 pounds now, 50,000 pounds, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, 80,000. Now I have already 80,000, 90,000, Tom Edison, 100,000, it's my bid. 100,000, 120,000, 140,000 I have, it's my commission bid. Say 160, at 140,000, still my bidder. 160,000, it's with Martin Klosterfelder, 160,000 pounds. At 160, 180,000, thank you, Tom, it's a 180,000, it's your bidder, 180,000. 200,000 now, on the telephones there at 200,000 with uh, Amy, at 200,000, thank you, Amy Capalazzo. First of the bids from New York at 200,000, give me 20, Isabella, in London, at 200,000. 220,000, I'll take it from Nicholas Chowder in Hong Kong. Thank you, Nicholas, and welcome at 220,000. 240,000 is bid. Isabel Parkman now, 240,000. Give me 60, Yuki, please, with a new bidder. At 240,000, 260,000 online now. I took it online at 260,000. At 260,000, give me 80, please, Yuki. Or Isabel, 280,000. There it is, at Yuki Terassi here in Hong Kong at 280,000. And it's your bid, Yuki. You want to come back in again, Amy, at 280,000? 300,000. Helena Newman, welcome, Helena. Thank you for your bid. 300,000. And in a new place again at 300,000 for this fabulous story. 320,000. Against you, Helena, now. It's back in Hong Kong. The table tennis continues directly. 320,000. 40,000. Thank you, Nick Dimel. I took your bid at 350,000 pounds. There it is at 350. Your bid at 350,000, Nick. No, 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 no. The bid was already at. Uh, no, you, 340 is the next bid. 
three, I'll take 340 then from you, Yuki, at 340,000. Nick, you have to say 60. 340, it's Yuki's bidder at 340,000. 360 now with Helena Newman at 360. Give me 80 now as the next bid at 360,000 pounds. Still with Helena Newman at 360. 380 now is with Yuki at 380,000 pounds. Now, thank you, Yuki. And the next bid is going to be 400,000. 400,000. It's Helena again at 400,000. Thank you so much, Helena Newman. International Director of Iron Precious to Modern Art Department here. £400,000. Thank you, Helena. £420,000. Yuki, you're bidding there at £420,000. Yes. Thank you so much at £420,000. At £420,000. Next bid's going to be forty. At £420,000. Give me £440,000, please, Helena. At £420,000. It's against you now. It's Yuki's bid. £440,000. She's going on at £440,000. Thank you, Helena. It's your bid, yes, at £440,000. Thank you so much. At £440,000. At £460,000. It's with Alina Davy now. It's another new bidder at £460,000. And against you, Amy, in New York. Against you, Yuki. And at £460,000. Helena, are you going to say eighty? Yes, at £480,000. It's bid again. It's back with Helena Newman at £480,000. At £480,000. Thank you, Helena. And against you, Alina. £500,000 is bid now. Alina's bidder at 500,000. Strong bidding for this wonderful, wonderful work on paper. At 500,000 pounds, give me 20, please, Helena. At 500,000 pounds, 520,000. Thank you, Helena, at 520,000. Can we say 50, please, Alina, at 520,000 pounds? Give me 50. At 520,000 pounds. Still with Helena Newman at 520,000. And looking for 50,000, please. At 520,000 pounds. Still with Helena at 520,000. It's against you, Nick, and against you, Yuki, and against you, Amy, at 520,000 pounds. And I'm going to sell it at 520,000. First of this evening's lots in the modern Renaissance sale. At 520,000. Against you, Alina, now at 520. Are you bidding? At 520,000 pounds. At 520, the hammer is coming up. Are you out, Alina? Fair warning now. I'm going to sell it. It's Helena's bid. Starting now at 520,000. Thank you, Alina. Thank you Come back in bye. quickly. No problem at all. Thank you. Bye-bye. At 520,000 pounds and selling now, fair warning, at 520,000 pounds. Thank you, Helena. It's yours. Thank you so much. This is the first lot. And it's panel number 119. Congratulations, Helena. Thank you so much. Beautiful drawing there. Wonderful thing. And we move on, of course, to the 102, which is the, the wonderful series of 10 Unique portraits by George Kondo, property from American private collection, a gift of the artist. And I can start the bidding here at 380,000 pounds. So 380,000, 400,000, 420,000, 450,000, now 450,000, 450,000, now 480,000. It's Yuki's bid, and I will sell at 480,000 pounds. It's with Yuki Terassi on the telephone, heading up our contemporary department, 500,000 in a new place. It's with Sam Bellet now. In London at 500,000. 520,000 against you now, Sam. At 520,000. Gregoire, are you coming in here, sir? At 520, 550 is Gregoire's bid. All three of you there at 520,000 pounds. 550 now with Yuki. Thank you so much. At 550,000. At 500, I'm so sorry. It was, it was 550 with you. It's 580 now with Yuki. Exactly. It's 580,000. Next bid's going to be 600,000 pounds now. Give me 600, Greg. It's with Yuki at 580,000. 600,000 with Sam Ballet. Thank you, Sam. It's 600,000 pounds now. It's Sam's bid. 620 is bid. Another bid from Yuki at 620,000 pounds. At 620,000 pounds. And against you, Sam, here, and it's against you, Gregoire. At 620,000 pounds. Give me 50, please. At 620,000 pounds. At 620. 630? 630,000. Thank you, Sam. At 630 now. I'll take it at 630,000. And I'll take 40 from you, Yuki. 640,000. Thank you. At 640,000 pounds. Not yours now, Sam. It's 640. It's on this side of the globe with Hong Kong. 650 now is bid. Thank you, Greg. At 650,000. It's your bid, sir. At 650. It's back with our American bidder. 650. He's saying 60 now, Yuki. Say one more. 660,000. There it is. At 660,000 pounds. 660. And against you both here, the two Frenchmen here, one in London, one in New York, 660,000. You're out, Gregoire? At 660,000. 670,000. Thank you, Sam. It's your bid at 670. 670,000. 670,000 pounds. There it is, 670. 680 now is bid. It's back with Yuki at 680,000. I see it here. Thank you, Yuki, at 680. And the next bid's going to be 690, Sam. 
Bidding. Still with Yuki. 690 is bid. He's going on at 690,000. Gives you Nicholas 2 in Hong Kong at 690,000. Any more at 690,000. 700,000 now. It's back with Yuki again at 700,000. At 700,000. Here it is on Yuki's telephone at 700,000 pounds. On Sotheby's.com, it's 700,000 pounds. 710,000. Give me 20. At 710. 720,000. Say one more, Sam. From Hong Kong. At 720. 730,000 is bid. With a new bidder. Okay, so Yoni's bidder. Thank you, Yoni. Yeah. Welcome to the party. 730,000. Give me 40, Sam. It's a new bidder here in Hong Kong. Yoni's bidder at 730,000. Thank you, Yoni. It's your bid now. 740,000. Messi Sam at 740,000 pounds. And it's against you both in Hong Kong at the moment. It's 740,000 pounds. 750,000. It's back with Yoni again at 750,000 pounds. There it is. Thank you. At 750. Just in front of those wonderful highlights of the Hong Kong season coming up in uh, the 18th and 19th of April. 760,000 is Yuki's bid. Thank you, Yuki. And ahead of you, Sam, at 760. Next bid, 70, please. Unless you want to give me 80. 770. Gregoire Beale is back in again. Merci, Greg. 770,000. And looking for 80, please, from you. At seven hundred seventy thousand pounds, with Gregoire Biu, seven hundred eighty thousand. I took it ahead here. It's Sam's bid. Eight hundred thousand is Yuki's bidder straight away. Thank you, Yuki. At eight hundred thousand pounds. Fifty. Eight hundred thousand. Eight hundred fifty thousand. Yoni's bid at eight hundred fifty thousand pounds. Thank you. Anyone want to give me eight hundred eighty? It's at eight hundred fifty thousand. Yoni's bidder here at eight hundred fifty thousand on your telephone in Hong Kong at eight hundred fifty thousand pounds. At 8.50. It's against you, Sam, it's against you, Greg, and it's against you, Yuki. It's Yoni's bidder here at 850,000 pounds. And I'm going to sell it at 850,000. At 850,000, you out? Bidding. 880,000. It's in another new place. In London again, 880. At 880,000. You're only against you this time. At 880, we have a new bidder. Give me 900,000. 900,000 pounds. At 900,000 pounds. It's back with Yoni and her bidder now in Hong Kong at 900,000 pounds. Give me a bid. Next bid's going to be 920. At 900,000 pounds. It's Yoni's bidder. 940. 920. We need to keep the camera on that bidder, please. What was the bid? 920. No, it's against you at 900,000 here. At 900,000 pounds, do you want to say 20? Correct, 920,000, thank you very much. At 920,000, and against you, Yoni, it's here in London. At 920,000, I need 40 from you, please. At 920,000, here it is, in London at 920,000. At 920,000, Nicole's bidder here in London at 920. Thank you, Nicole, for your bids at 920,000. 940,000. It's back with Yoni. Nicole, what are you going to say? At 940,000. Will you give me 60? At 940,000 pounds. Give me 60. At 940,000. 950. 950,000. Thank you. 950. Yoni, do you want to say 60? At 950,000 pounds. Say one more. It's here, it's Nicole Spitter in London at 950,000. I'm looking for 60 from you, please, in Hong Kong. 60. 960,000. Yoni Spitter again, you heard it here at 960,000. Thank you, Yoni. And next bit's going to be 70. Nicole, are you going to say 70, please, at 960,000 pounds? At 960,000, here it is, it's on this telephone in Hong Kong, and I have to sell now. At 960,000 pounds, we'll be going on. Fair warning now. 970,000. They're carrying on at 970. Yoni, want to say 80? Here it is, 970. Nicole Spitter in London. Thank you so much. 980,000 is bid. One million. One million pounds. Thank you. At one million pounds. 
John Eastbitter at £1 million, sir. There it is, from Hong Kong again, to George Kondo at £1 million. Still with Yoni, with your bidder here at £1 million. One Nicole, can you give me £1 million? One? Very clever. Make it good. At £1 million, here on the telephone and selling one million. to Hong Kong. Are you bidding at £1 million? Have to hurry you now. Fair warning. Yeah. And the hammer is coming up. I'm going to sell it. Last chance now at £1 million. Here it goes for £1 million. Are you out? Yeah. Show me a sign of life quickly. I need to know now, please. Nicole, are we going or are we not? Okay, the hammer is coming down. Last chance. Three, two, one. Here it is. £1 million. So thank you very much indeed. So sorry it was too late. I made it very, very clear. It was just after the hammer. It's paddle number 130. Uh, 30. I, we gave plenty of fair warning. Thank you so much, Yoni, to your bidder as well. Congratulations. And we're moving on. Lot number 103 is the luminous Mitdem H, the painting by Paul Clay from 1916, from the uh, time of his first commercial and critical success. Coming here, the Spirit of Colour, property from a private collection in Germany. And I'm going to start the bidding here at £320,000. 320000 340000 360000 380000 now. 400000 is Claudia Dweck's bidder at 400000 Against you, Yuki, at 400000 Nick, are you bidding 420000 At 420000 No longer with you, Claudia, at four twenty. It's with Nick Damel from our Zurich office, but in Paris this evening. At 420000 440000 is back with Claudia Dweck here in London, from Milan, but in London, at £440,000. 460000 at 460,000 is Nick Dimel at 460,000. He's giving me 80. 480,000 is with Nicholas Chow now in Hong Kong at 480. At 480,000 pounds. At 480,000. 500,000. The conversion board is not keeping up, but it is at 500,000 pounds now with Nick Dimel. No, it's 500,000 pounds. No, it's not in the book. At 500,000 pounds. At 500,000 still with Nick now at 500,000. At 500,000 still with Nick Dimel. Give me 550,000. 550,000. 550. Can we get the conversion board up to scratch? At 550 now, please. At 550, there we go. Thank you. Nicholas Chow at 550,000 pounds. Uh, Nicholas's bid here at 550,000. Still with you, Nick, and against you, Claudia, and against you, Nick. With Nicholas Chow at 550,000 pounds. At 550,000. It's against you both. Nick, are we going to go on? At 550. At 550,000. Is that a bid, Nick? You want to say 60? Five, seven, yeah, five, six. 560,000. Thank you, Nick. At 560,000. Next bid's going to be 570,000. Uh, 70. 570,000. You heard it there, Nicholas Chow, with 570,000 pounds. Thank you, Nicholas, at 570,000. Still against you, Claudio, and it's against you, Nick, here in Paris still, at 570,000. Next bid's 80. At 570,000. At five hundred and seventy thousand pounds. Okay. Still with Nick. Here it is. We're selling it. No. Is that a bid, Nick? We're we letting it go to Nicholas Chow. At five hundred and seventy thousand pounds. He's out. I'm selling it to Nicholas Chow. Fair warning now. The hammer is up, right. and selling for five hundred and seventy thousand pounds. Thank you, Nicholas. There it goes. Paddle number one hundred and thirty-nine. Thank you. For 170,000, uh, sorry, 570,000. Thank you. And lot number 104, ladies and gentlemen, I've been looking forward to this wonderful moment. The Arshal Gorky, the Garden in Suchi, painted in the early 1940s and inspired by childhood memories of the artist's father's garden in his native Armenia. Having remained in the same collection since the 1970s, this is the most important work by Gorky to have come to auction in decades. This extraordinary painting from 1940-41 from a private European collection, very widely uh, exhibited, very widely illustrated on the books, all the major monographs on the artist's works, this fabulous, wonderful work. And uh, it, from this family collection that's been there for multiple, multiple years. So uh, very excited to be offering this here at Sotheby's. And we want to start the bidding here at £1,700,000. So £1,700,000, £1,800,000, £1,900,000. Thank you, Julian. £2 million now, £2 million. Uh, £2 million with Julian Dawes now. £2,200,000 is with Julian Dawes. There it is, at £2,200,000. Thank you, Julian. It's your bid, at £2,200,000. 
at two million two hundred thousand and selling with Julian Dawes at two million two, two million three hundred thousand. Thank you, Victoria. Two million three hundred thousand in a new place at two million three hundred thousand. So your bid, Victoria. Two million three hundred thousand. Two million three hundred thousand. Amy, you're going to come in. Two million four hundred thousand with Amy Capalazzo now in New York at two million four hundred thousand. Two million five hundred thousand with Fergus Duff now in a new place at two million five hundred thousand. At two million five hundred thousand, still with you for two million six hundred thousand with Amy. With your bidder in America at 2,600,000. Thank you, Amy, at 2,600,000. And against you in London here and against you, Julia, 2,700,000. Victoria's back. Thank you, Victoria. 2,700,000 pounds now. At 2,700,000. Your bid at 2,700,000. 2,800,000. You heard it. At 2,800,000. Thank you, Amy. That encourageable smile there. Thank you so much. At 2,800,000. 2,900,000. Thank you, Victoria. 2,900,000 now is bid. Give me three at 2,900,000. Still, three million pounds. Add three million pounds now. Victoria, you want to say two with three million pounds here? Add three million pounds. One. Three million one hundred thousand. Back with Victoria again at three million one hundred thousand. And against you, Amy, now. Bidding. Three million two hundred thousand. Going on. Ladies bidders. Battle of the lady bidders at three million two hundred thousand. Add Sotheby's at three million two hundred thousand. Three million three hundred thousand. Thank you, Victoria. Three million three. Still here. Bidding. Three million four hundred thousand. There was another bid there. I didn't see it. Three million four hundred thousand. Where's the bid? Four. Three million four. Barmy. Barmy's bid at three million. You saying five, sir? Yes. Three million five hundred thousand is bid with Barmy. In another new place at three million five hundred thousand. Thank you, Barmy. Three five. It's your bid at three million five. Bidding. Three million six hundred thousand is back with Amy. Three million six. Thank you, Amy. At three million six hundred thousand. Three million, three million seven hundred thousand. Thank you, Victoria. I took it ahead of you there. Ladies first, Barmy. Three million, six, three million eight hundred thousand. Thank you. At three million eight. And against the both of you, three million nine hundred thousand. Thank you, Victoria. Three nine. Against Bidding. you, Barmy. Three four million pounds now. Thank you, Amy. Four million. For one. Four million one hundred thousand. Oh, Back with Barmy again at four million one hundred thousand. Bidding. Four million two hundred thousand now. At four two. At four million two hundred thousand. Looking for three. At four million two. Four million three now. Thank you, Victoria. Four million three hundred thousand. Four million three hundred thousand. Victoria's bidder here. Victoria Campo Franco. Bidding. Four million four hundred thousand. Thank you, Amy. At four four now. Against you, Victoria, this time. Four million five hundred thousand. Barmy's bidder at four five. At four million five hundred thousand. Thank you, Barmy. Bidding. Four million six hundred thousand. Amy again at four million six. Here, four million six hundred thousand. In the New York office at four million six hundred thousand pounds. And looking for four seven. Bidding. Four million seven hundred thousand. I thought it might be there. Thank you, Victoria. Four million seven hundred thousand. Bidding. Four million eight hundred thousand. Thank you, Amy. Took it here, four million eight hundred thousand. It's your bid at four eight. Let's go on. At four million eight hundred thousand. Give me nine, please. At four million eight hundred thousand. Amy's bidder now at four eight. Say one more, please. At four million eight hundred thousand. At four million eight hundred thousand. Amy's bidder at four eight. Try another one. Four nine. Four million nine hundred thousand. It's Barmy's bid now. Four nine. <laughs> Bidding. Five million pounds. Thank you, Amy. At five. Barmy, will you give me two, please? At five million pounds. It's at five million pounds now. At five million. Five one. Five million one hundred thousand. At Bidding. five million. Five million two hundred thousand. Thank you, Amy. It's at five million two hundred thousand. It's your bid at five million two hundred thousand pounds. There it is, with Amy Capalazzo in New York at five million two hundred thousand. It's against you in Paris and against you in Hong Kong. It's here at five million two hundred thousand. Five three. Five million three hundred thousand. Okay. Thank you so much, Barmy. Five million three hundred thousand. Five four. Five million four hundred thousand is bid. It's Amy's bid now. Five four. Five five. Five million five hundred thousand. At five five. Bidding. Five million six hundred thousand. Five seven. Five million seven hundred thousand. Bidding. 
Five million eight hundred thousand. Five nine. Five million nine hundred thousand. At five nine. Five million. At five million nine. Try Hitting. one more. Six million pounds. Thank you. At six million pounds. Thank you, Amy. It's at six, six one. million. Six million one hundred thousand. At six one. Still with Barmy at six million one hundred thousand. Your bid, sir, at six million one hundred thousand. Bidding. Six million two hundred thousand is bid now. With Amy Cavalazzo again at six million two hundred thousand. Six three. Six million three hundred thousand. At six three. At six million three. Bidding. Six million four hundred thousand. Are you out, Victoria? Six five. Six million five hundred thousand. Just checking at six million five. James, you're coming in at six million five. Oh. Bidding. Six million six hundred thousand. Six six. Six seven. Six million seven hundred thousand. At six seven now. At six million seven hundred thousand, Amy. Let me give you one more. At six million seven hundred thousand pounds. Try Hitting. one. Six million eight hundred thousand. Six nine. Six million nine hundred thousand. Buy me again at six million nine hundred thousand pounds. At six million nine. Bidding. Seven million Bidding. pounds. Thank you, Amy. Seven yeah. million. I have your bid. It's seven, seven million. One. Seven million one hundred thousand. At seven million one. Bidding. Seven million two hundred thousand. Seven three. Seven million three hundred thousand. That's seven million three hundred thousand pounds. Seven million three. Still there. It's seven million three hundred thousand pounds against you now. Let me give me one more. At seven million three. At seven million three hundred thousand pounds. Are we going to go on? This fabulous picture here at seven million three. Widely considered to be the definitive version of the Garden in Sochi series. I'm sure you know that, Amy. At seven million, seven million three. At seven million three hundred thousand pounds. Are you out, Amy? Yeah. Thank you to your bidder at seven million three. Thank you so much. Warm appreciation. And Bami, it's okay. your bid. And I'm selling it here. James, it's against you here at seven million three hundred thousand pounds. Thank you, Bami. It's yours. Congratulations. That's panel number 181. Thank you very much indeed. And thank you, Bami. Thank you to all of our bidders. Thank you, Victoria, as well. And we move on, the uh, wonderful Quadrat Square by Vasily Kandinsky from the same collection as the previous lot, of course. Wonderful, wonderful taste, the private European collector. Also unseen since the 1970s and painted at the heart of the artist Bauhaus years. The fabulous penny from 1927. Um, I'm going to start the bidding here at 850,000 pounds. At 850,000, 900,000, 950,000, now 950,000, 1 million pounds. At 1 million pounds now. One million and fifty thousand. Thank you, Helena. I took it here. One million and fifty thousand. Your bid and selling at one million and fifty thousand pounds. At one million and fifty thousand. With Helena Newman here, one million and fifty thousand. At one million and fifty thousand pounds. Still yours, Helena. At one million and fifty thousand. At one million and fifty thousand. Against you, James. At one million and fifty thousand. It's still with Helena. One million one hundred thousand. With James Sevier now. And against you, Helena. One million one hundred thousand. I'll take fifty. 
at 1,100,000. Still with James Sevier, 1,100,000. Thank you, James. At 1,100,000. Hell no, we're going on. At 1,000,000. Say one more. At 1,100,000. Oh, oh. Still with James Sevier. It's here in London. 1,100,000. 1,150,000. Thank you, Helena, at 1,150,000 now. Against you, James, at 1,150,000. 1,200,000 is bid. At 1,200,000. James is bidder at 1,200,000. And against you, Helena, at 1,200,000 pounds. At 1,200,000, with James Sevier here on the telephone in London, and against you, Helena, also in London here, showing the true diversity of the Sotheby's culture here. Global bidding today at Sotheby's, 1,250,000. It's Helena's bid now, James, against you here, 1,250,000. And looking for three. <coughs> at 1,250,000 pounds. Bid, please. 1,300,000. At one three. Helena, can you say 50? At 1,300,000 pounds. At 1,300,000, you're out. It's yours, James. It's against you in Asia. It's against you in Paris at one million three hundred thousand pounds. I'm going to sell it this time. Fair warning to you all. It's James Sevier's bid as paddle number two hundred and two, and selling last chance at one million three hundred thousand pounds. Thank you, James. It's paddle number two zero two, and one million three hundred thousand seals it. Thank you so much. And now we turn to an exquisite example of Alexander Calder's celebrated corpus of standing mobiles, the Moss No. 1, which once belonged in the collection of the American architect Paul Lester Wiener and his wife, the artist Ingeborg ten Heef. This wonderful work here uh, from a series, the next one, Moss 2, being in the uh, SF Moment collection, the fabled collection there, this fabulous, fabulous thing, incised, of course, with the artist's initials, as you're seeing here on our screens. And I'm going to start the bidding here. At 1,300,000, 1,300,000, 1,400,000, 1,500,000 now, at 1,500,000 pounds, 1,500,000. At 1,500,000 pounds, at 1,500,000, 1,600,000, at 1,600,000. Any more? At 1,600,000 pounds, at 1,600,000, at 1,600,000. Any more? 1,600,000 pounds. At 1,600,000, 1,700,000 now, 1,700,000. And against you, Ash Kenner, 1,700,000. Looking for a bid here, 1,700,000 pounds. Any more, 1,700,000. Fair warning now, it's against you, AB, 1,700,000. Last chance here, at 1,700,000. You're coming in, Simon, at 1,700,000. Fair warning, last chance, at 1,700,000 pounds. It's a pass at 1,700,000. And we move on to lot number 107, is the seminal example of Yves Tanguy's mature surrealist style, the enigmatic landscape La Lumière de l'Ombre, painted, of course, in 1939, coming to Sotheby's from a private American collection. And uh, I'm going to start the, uh, the bidding here at one million pounds, at one million pounds, one million one hundred thousand, one million two hundred thousand, now one million two hundred thousand, one million three hundred thousand, and one million three hundred thousand pounds, one million four hundred thousand, Simon's bid. Thank you, Simon Short. I'm taking your bid at one million four hundred thousand, selling it here, one million four hundred thousand with you. At one million four, one million five hundred thousand to the new place. Sam Ballet now, one million five hundred thousand, Messi Sam. At one million five hundred thousand, against you now, Simon. At one million five hundred thousand. With Sam Ballet here in London at one million five hundred thousand pounds. At one million five. Still with you, Sam, at one million five hundred thousand. Simon, are we gonna go on at one million five hundred thousand? At one million five hundred thousand. Any more? One five. It's against you, Simon. It's with Sam Ballet, manning our telephones here in London at one million five hundred thousand pounds. And against you, Mario, in Paris. And I want to sell it here at one million five hundred thousand. Fair warning now, last chance, at one million five hundred thousand pounds. Thank you, Sam. That's panel number 180. Thank you so much. And lot number 108 is the extremely rare, hugely important canvas by Bayman Mohassis, the Minotaura sulla riva del mare, painted in 1977. This powerful work has never been on the market nor exhibited publicly, and tonight becomes the first work by the Iranian modernist to be offered in an evening cell. Very fitting tribute here, painting from 1977. Some interest here, and I can start the bidding already 
at 220,000, 250,000, 280,000 now, at 280, 300,000, at 300,000, 320,000 now, at 320,000, 350,000 I have, it's with the commission bid, 380,000 here, thank you Ashkan, it's at 380, I'm out now, it's your bid at 380,000 pounds. And selling, and it's against you David at 380,000. <laughs> It's still here at 380. It's against you, Patty. 400,000 is bid with Patty Wong in Hong Kong. 420,000 is back with Ashkan at 420,000. The man responsible for bringing this treasure to market at 420,000. There he is, Ashkan, at 420,000. Patty, give me 50. Still with Ashkan here at 420,000. 450,000 in a new place with Alex Branchick at 450,000. Thank you, Alex. It's your bid now at 450,000. Looking for 80 now. At 450,000, still with Alex Branching now, 450,000. Against you, Patty, it's against you, Ashkan, it's against you, David, across the globe, at 450,000 pounds. I'm going to sell it at 450,000. I need 80 from you, Ashkan. 480,000 is bid, thank you, sir, 480. The next bid's going to be 500,000. Against you, Alex, at 480,000. Give me five. At 480,000, still with Ashkan, against you, Patty, 500,000. Thank you, Alex, at five. At 500,000 pounds now. Still with Alex Branchick at five hundred thousand pounds. Next bid's going to be twenty. At five hundred thousand pounds with Alex Branchick and selling against then, you, Ashkin, five hundred and twenty thousand. Thank you, Ashkin, at five twenty. Not yours, Patty, at five hundred and twenty thousand. Needing fifty from you, Alex, at five hundred and twenty thousand. It's Ashkin's bidder, five fifty. Thank you, Alex, at five hundred and fifty thousand pounds. At five hundred and fifty thousand. At 550,000. Against you, Ashkan, at 550. 580,000. At 580,000 pounds. At 580,000 pounds. Thank you. At 580,000 pounds. At 580,000. Any more now? It's Alex's bid. At 580,000. 600,000. There he is. 600,000 pounds. Still with Alex Branchick at 600,000. Ashkan, give me 20. At 600,000 pounds, 620,000. At 620. Ashkan's bidder at 620,000. I need 50 from you, Alex, at 600, 650. Thank you, sir, at 650,000 pounds. Back with Alex Branching now, 650,000 on the back row there at 650,000. All the bidding in London at the moment at 650,000 here. For the Bami Mohasses at 650,000 and breaking the record for the artists here at 650,000 pounds. 680,000, thank you, at 680. Don't let it go, Ashkan, at 680,000 pounds. 700,000 now, but you're gonna have to try again, I'm afraid, at 700,000, give me 20. 700,000 now. At 700,000. Give me 20. At 700,000, it's Alex's bidder. And I'm going to sell it. At 700,000 pounds. It's against you, Ashkan. I need 20, please, sir. It's 700,000 pounds. Still with Alex. It's 700,000. 750. 750. Yep, I'll take it. 750,000. Do you want to give me 800, Alex? It's 750,000 pounds. It's Ashkan's bidder at 750 now. With a knockout blow, it's 750,000. 780, please. 780,000. Add 780,000. It's an exciting moment. The first Iranian master, modernist master in an evening cell. I don't think it's going to be the last either. It's 780,000. At 780,000 pounds. Still with Alex. Are you out, Ashkan? Give me 800. At 780. There it is, with Alex Branchick at 780,000. Looking for one more, please. 800,000. You know what happens next, Alex? Looking for 20 now at 800,000 pounds. At 800,000 pounds. Any more at 800,000? 20, please. 820,000. Thank you. At 820,000 pounds. Back with Alex Branchick again at 820,000. Needing 50 now from you, Ashkan. At 820. At 820,000. Any more at 820,000 pounds. At 820 and selling, Ashkan, are you out? Fair enough.
Fair warning to you, and thank you so much for your bidder. I'm going to sell it now. World record price at Sotheby's for the artist for £820,000. Thank you, Alex. Panel number 174 for £820,000. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And lot number 109, we have an extraordinarily rare Renaissance portrait by Piero del Polaiulo, which was previously in the collection of the original Q of MI6, Thomas Merton. Portrait of a youth, the only known portrait by the artist left in private hands, which once hung beside the record-breaking Botticelli that we sold here at Sotheby's in New York in January. And I'm going to start the bidding here at £3,500,000. At £3,500,000. £3,500,000 now. Three million five. Three million six hundred thousand. At three million six hundred thousand. Three million six. At three million six hundred thousand. Three million seven hundred thousand. At three seven. Three million seven hundred thousand. Three million eight hundred thousand. It's with Alex at three million eight hundred thousand pounds. Your bid, Alex. Three million eight hundred thousand. At three million eight hundred thousand. At three million eight hundred thousand pounds. At three million eight hundred thousand, gonna three million eight. At three million eight hundred thousand, gonna sell at three million eight hundred thousand. It's your bid, and selling Alex at three million eight hundred thousand now. At three million eight hundred thousand pounds. At three million eight hundred thousand. It's your bid. At three million eight hundred thousand, gonna sell it here at three million eight hundred thousand pounds, Alex. Your bid at three million eight. At three million eight hundred thousand pounds, selling at Sotheby's at three million eight hundred thousand. For the Poleulu, here it is at three million eight hundred thousand. Thank you, Alex. It's your bid, and selling. Fair warning now, at three million eight hundred thousand. Last chance now, at three million eight hundred thousand pounds. Thank you, Alex. It's panel number one hundred and seventy-seven. At three million eight hundred thousand pounds. And we move on to. Uh, the first of four seldom seen and rare paintings by Jean de Buffet, Jean Fautré and Voltz, which all provide a snapshot of the art world of post-war Paris and hail from the same European private collection. We begin, of course, with Fautré's Cordotage from the artist's Breakthrough Hostages series, painted secretly during World War II in France, occupied France. This fabulous work, widely exhibited here, of course, with wonderful provenance from Gallery René Drouin in Paris from this extraordinary group very distinguished group from a European collection, and we thank them for working with Sotheby's. And I'm going to start the bidding here on the Cordotage at 400,000 so pounds, at 400,000, 420,000 pounds, at 420,000, 450,000 now, 450,000 pounds, 480,000 now, at 480,000 pounds, at 480,000 pounds now, at 480,000 pounds now, at 480,000 pounds, 500,000 pounds. Thank you very much indeed. With Olivier Forward, £500,000. To start us off at £500,000 now. And against you, Greg, at £500,000. £550,000 now. With Helen and Newman at £550,000 now. In London again and against you, Olivier, here in Paris at £550,000. Still with Helen here at £550,000. £600,000. I took it ahead of you here at £600,000 now. With Olivier Forward, £600,000. Looking for fifty now at £600,000. At 600,000. With Olivier Foucault. 10, please. Six, 10. 10. Six, well, it's at 600,000. 600, yeah, 610,000. Thank you, Gregoire. At 610,000 pounds. With Gregoire Billot, at 610,000. Six. Six, is that 50? Yes, yeah, 650,000. Thank you. And thank you, your bidder. At 650,000. Olivier, I'd like to take 700,000 from you. 700,000 pounds there. Thank you so much. At 700,000. It's with Olivier again at 700,000. 720,000, thank you. With Helen as bidder at 720,000, give me 50, please. It's 720,000 pounds. 750,000 now to pick with Olivier. Next bid's going to be 80, at 750,000 pounds. Still with Olivier Faux, 780,000 now. With Helen and Newman again at 780,000 pounds. And looking for 800,000. 800,000 pounds. Thank you, Olivier, at 800,000. Next bid's 20, at 800,000. 820,000, there it is, at 820. And again, I'm looking for 50,000. 820,000 is with Helen and Newman here. 850,000 is bid again with Olivier at 850,000 pounds. 850. At 850,000 pounds. Back with Olivier at 850. At 850,000 pounds. Give me 80. 
at £850,000. Still with Olivier's bidder at 850000 At 850 870000 Thank you, Helena, at 870000 At 870000 Do you want to say nine, Olivier? At 870000 What's the bid? At £870,000. With Helena Newman at 870000 900000 is bid. Thank you. At 900000 920,000. It's back with Helena again at 920,000 pounds. I need 50 from you, Olivier. At 920,000 pounds. Here it is, Helena Newman's bid at 920,000. And looking for 950,000. At 920. At 920,000. Thank you, Helena. It's your bid now at 920,000. 950,000. At 950,000. Say one more. 970,000. Thank you again at 970. You're bidding Olivier. It's with Helena at 970. Let's make it around 1 million. At 970,000 pounds with Helena at 970. Here it is at 970,000 pounds. Helena Newman's bidder at 970,000. Say one more at 970,000. At 970,000 pounds. Helena's bidder at 970. This fabulous coup d'etage at £970,000. Saying one more, at £970,000, here it is, at £970,000. One million pounds. New bidder with Martin Klosterfeller at one million pounds. Thank you, Martin, at one one. Sorry, at one. Helena, will you give me 50? At one million pounds. With Martin Klosterfeller in a new place, at one million pounds. At one million pounds now. It's Martin's bidder at one million. At one million pounds. One million thirty-five thousand. One million and thirty-five thousand pounds. Thank you. At one million and thirty-five thousand. Let's try and make the next bid one million and fifty thousand. One million and forty, please. No, I'm not going to take that. Next bid's going to be one million and fifty thousand. One million and thirty-five thousand pounds. Let's say fifty, please. One million and fifty, please. Thank you so much. Thank you, bidder. At one million and fifty thousand pounds. At one million and fifty thousand. Looking for one million and seventy thousand now. One million seventy five thousand. One million seventy five, thank you. I'll take it. At one million and seventy five thousand pounds. At one million and seventy five thousand. Looking for one million one hundred thousand from either of you here. Either Martin or Olivier, it's at a million and seventy five thousand pounds. Can you give me one million one, please? One one please. One million one hundred thousand is bid. Thank you, Martin. At one million one hundred thousand. And looking for twenty five from either of you. At one million one hundred thousand. At one million one hundred and twenty-five thousand. Helena's bid at one million one hundred and twenty-five thousand. I need one million one hundred and fifty thousand. At one million one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. Helena's bid at one million one hundred and twenty-five thousand. Bid. One million one hundred and fifty thousand. At one million one hundred and fifty thousand. Seventy-five is the next bid at one million one hundred and fifty thousand pounds. At one million one hundred and fifty thousand. One million one hundred and seventy-five thousand pounds. Thank you, Helena. At one million one hundred and seventy-five thousand. At one million one seventy-five. There it is. One million one hundred and seventy-five thousand. Helena Newman's bid here in London at one million one hundred and seventy-five thousand pounds. And looking for one million one hundred uh, two hundred thousand. At one million one hundred and seventy-five thousand. One million two hundred thousand pounds. At one million two. Twenty-five. One million two hundred twenty-five. Thank you, Helena. Helena Newman's bidder here at one million two hundred twenty-five thousand. And fifty. One million two hundred fifty thousand. Seventy-five. One million two hundred seventy-five thousand. Martin, say three. One million three hundred thousand. At one million three. One million three hundred twenty-five thousand. Bid. One million three hundred fifty thousand. Seventy-five. One million three hundred seventy-five thousand. One four, please. One million four hundred thousand. Twenty-five. One million four hundred twenty-five thousand. 
At one million four hundred seventy five thousand pounds. One million four hundred seventy five thousand. It's a wonderful quarter touch. One of only two by the artist from this extraordinary series. One million five hundred thousand. Twenty five. One million five hundred twenty five thousand. And fifty. One million five hundred and fifty thousand. One million five hundred seventy five thousand. One six, please. One million six hundred thousand. Twenty five. One million six hundred and twenty five thousand. At one million six hundred and twenty five thousand pounds. It's here at one million six hundred and twenty five thousand pounds. Martin, it's against you here. It's Helena's bidder at one million six hundred and twenty five. One million six hundred and fifty thousand. Seventy five. One million six hundred and seventy five thousand. Bid, please. One million seven hundred thousand. One million seven hundred twenty-five thousand. Thank you, Helena. One million seven hundred twenty-five thousand. Here it is. One million seven hundred twenty-five thousand. You bidding? Bid. One million seven hundred fifty thousand. One million seven fifty. Here it is, one million seven hundred and fifty thousand, one million seven hundred and seventy five thousand. One million seven hundred and seventy five thousand. One eight, please. One million eight hundred thousand. Spartan's bidder again at one million eight hundred thousand. One million eight hundred and twenty five thousand. Give me fifty. One million eight hundred and twenty five thousand pounds. Here it is. At one million eight twenty five. Helena's bidder, once more, at one million eight hundred and twenty five thousand pounds. Bid one million eight hundred and fifty thousand. Bidding one million eight hundred and seventy five thousand. At one million eight hundred and seventy five thousand pounds. Martin, what are we going to do? At one million eight hundred seventy-five. Bid one million nine. One million nine. At one million nine. Bid it. One million nine hundred twenty-five thousand. Bid one million nine hundred fifty thousand. Bidding one million nine hundred seventy-five thousand. Martin. Say one more. At one million nine hundred seventy-five thousand. Two million, please. Two million pounds. At two million pounds here for the four three, the quarter touch, the first of the two, and then we have the de buffet and the vols to follow at two million pounds. At two million pounds now, Helen. Should we try fifty? At two million pounds. It's Martin Klosterfelder's bidder here still at two million pounds now at the moment. Here at Sotheby's at two million pounds. Twenty-five. Two million and twenty-five thousand. At two million and twenty-five thousand pounds. Two million and twenty-five thousand. Two million. Two million and fifty, please. Two million and fifty thousand. Thank you, Martin. We heard you clearly. At two million and fifty thousand. 
I don't know, 2 million and 50,000. Yeah. You can say one more, you're going to say 75. Yes, 2 million and 75,000 pounds here. Back with Helena's bidder again at 2 million and 75,000. Thank you, Helena. To your bidder at the moment at 2 million and 75,000 pounds. Against you, Martin, at 2 million and 75,000 pounds. Say one more at 2 million and 75,000. 2 million 100, please. 2 million 100,000. Martin Klosterfelder's bid at 2 million 100,000. At 2 million, 1, 2 million 125,000. Thank you, Helena, again at 2 million 125. At 2 million 125. Martin. Bid. 2 million 150,000. 2 million 150,000. Yes. 2 million 175,000. It's all with Martin and Helena now, still at 2 million 175, unless anybody else is coming in here. Paris, you want to come in? Olivier, at 2 million 175,000. Bid. 2 million 200,000. At 2 2. At 2 million 200,000 pounds. Still with Martin. 2 million 225,000. At 2 million 225,000 pounds. <laughs> Martin Klosterfelder, say one more, please, sir. At 2 million, 225,000. With Helena Newman here, global head of Impressions to Modern Art at Sotheby's, European chairman at 2 million, 50, please. 2 million and 50,000, 250,000. 2 million, 250,000. Martin Klosterfelder, spitter here, head of European private sales at Sotheby's at 2 million, 250,000. 2 million, 250. 2,275,000. Thank you, Helena. It's your bid again at 2,275,000. At 2,275,000. Bid. 2,300,000. 2,325,000. I got it. That's it. 2,325,000. And I'm looking for two million four hundred thousand pounds now. It's the next bid. Two million three hundred twenty-five thousand. At two million three hundred twenty-five thousand pounds. It's Helen and Newman's bid at two million three hundred twenty-five thousand pounds. And it's not with you, Martin, at two million three twenty-five. Three million three two million three hundred and fifty, please. <laughs> two million three hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Thank you, Martin. At two million three hundred and fifty thousand. It's back with you again now at 2,350,000. At 2,350,000. Martin. I'm looking for 75 Hanalev from you at 2,350,000 pounds. Greg, are you going to bid at 2,350,000? Coming in, sir. At 2,350,000 pounds. Any more? At 2,350,000 pounds. At 2,350,000 pounds. Still with Martin here at 2,350,000. It's against you, Helena, 2,350,000. I'll take 60 at this point. Want to try 60? That's Helena, 2,360,000. Thank you. At 2,360. And the same goes for you, Martin. I'll take 70 from you. 70, please. Two million three hundred seventy thousand. Helen, let's try eighty. A two million three hundred seventy thousand pounds. I'm looking for eighty from you. Try one more. You might have to wait a long time for the next opportunity to buy one of these. At two million three hundred seventy thousand pounds. Are you out? 2,370,000. 2,380,000 pounds. Thank you. At 2,380,000. 2,380,000. Give me 90. At 2,380,000. It's Helena's bidder here. I'm going to sell it. At two, two million three hundred ninety thousand. Four hundred. Two million four hundred thousand. Thank you, Helena. Two million four hundred thousand pounds. 
at 2 million 4. 2 million 400,000 pounds. Helen Newman's bidder here at 2 million 400,000. It's real thought going into this now at 2 million 400,000. Against you, Martin, it's Helena's bid here at 2 million 4. And 5,000 on top? 2 million 405,000. Try 10, Helena. At 2,405,000 pounds. 405,000 pounds. Against you here. Looking for 10, please. At 2,405,000. 2,410,000. Yeah. pounds. Thank you so much. At 2,410,000. At 2,410,000. And 15, please. 2,415,000. Hang on, let's try another one at 2,415,000. Try one more at 2,415,000. No? At 2,415,000. 2,415,000. 415, it's Martin's bidder. Are we selling it here? At 2,415,000. For the Fautrier, the Cordotage, from this extraordinary collection, yeah. 2,420,000 2, pounds. Two million four hundred twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five, please. Two million four hundred twenty-five thousand. At two million four twenty-five. Again, Helena, it's back with Martin again. At two million four hundred twenty-five thousand pounds. Going to have to hurry you now. At two million four hundred twenty-five. Do you want to say thirty? At two million four hundred twenty-five thousand. Two million four hundred thirty thousand pounds. Thirty-five, please. Two million four hundred thirty-five thousand. At two million four hundred and thirty-five thousand. Helena, at two million four hundred and thirty-five thousand. This is it now. The hammer's going to have to come down. Very last chance. Give me forty, please. This wonderful, exquisite rare work. At two million, two million four hundred forty thousand in time, of course. At two million four hundred forty thousand. N five, please. Two million four hundred forty-five thousand. Fascinating battle extraordinarily determined bidders, bidders who understand absolute great quality here at 2,445,000. Do you want to try 50 at 2,445,000? This fabulously rare, great, great object that will distinguish provenance at 2,445,000 pounds. Helena, let's make it a rounder number at 2,445,000. Say one more at two million four hundred and forty five thousand pounds. No, you sure? At two million four hundred and forty five thousand pounds. The hammer is up. Very final time. It's your last warning, Helena. Gonna have to sell this exquisite object at two million four hundred and forty five thousand. Wanna say Yes. Is that a bid? Yes. Two million four hundred and fifty thousand. 55, please. 2,550,000 now. <laughs> no. At 2,550,000. There it is. And selling. Fair warning now. Last chance. It's Martin's bidder. Thank you so much. And Helena, thank you very much indeed to your bidder. And selling for 2,550,000 pounds. Last chance, Helena. No. Thank you, Martin. Congratulations. Can I see your panel number, please? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And Helena, thank you to your bidder as well. Many congratulations. Thank you so much. And we move straight on to lot number 111. Of course, the second offering in today's sale from the exceptionally rare Otage series by Foutre. This time the Tête d'Otage numero 15, painted around 1944 and debuted in his first ever solo exhibition at the René Drouin Gallery and a very, very distinguished provenance since then. And I'm going to start the bidding here at... At 250,000, 280,000, 300,000, now 300,000, 320,000, now 320, who give me 50? At 320,000 pounds. At 320,000. 350,000, thank you, Olivier. 350,000, Barmy is saying 80. 380,000, Barmy is better, 400,000. Back with Olivier again at 400,000 pounds. And against you, Barmy, at 400,000, 420,000, 450 now, thank you. Will you say 80, Barmy? It's 450 in Paris with Olivier. 450, it's your bid. Give me 80 is the next bid, please, Barmy, at 450,000 pounds. 
at £450,000. Great, give me 80. Still with you, Olivier, in Paris at 450000 No, I want to take 80, please. At 450000 give me give me 80. 480 is from bid with Gregoire. 500000 with Olivier, bid. thank you. Next bid's going to be... Five, no, next bid, it's already at 500 here. It's with Olivier forward, 500000 Next bid's going to be 20. At £500,000 here, and it's against you, Greg, and against you, Barmy. It's with Olivier at £500,000. Give me 20, please, at £500,000 now. At 500000 Gregoire, give me 20, 520000 here it is with Gregoire Biot at 520,000. Frenchman in New York at 520,000. 550,000 with Martin, thank you. 40, please. No, next bid's 50. Can we say 50? At 500, okay, 40, I'll take from you. At 540,000, yeah. next bid's going to be 60 at 540,000. At 540,000 now, it's with Martin Klosterfelder at 540,000 pounds. I want to say 60, please. At 540,000, it's against you, Gregoire. And still here with Martin at 540,000 pounds now. At 540,000 pounds. At 540,000. It's Martin Klosterfelder spit and it's against you, Olivier, at 540, 560,000. Back with Olivier Fou now at 560,000 pounds. It's against you, Martin. It's against you, Barmé. It's against you, Gregoire. It's here in Paris. Our French sales room at 560,000. Of course, had the wonderful and precise modern, wonderfully taken by Aurelie earlier this afternoon at 560,000. Wonderful auctioneering. Would you take 70, sir? 570,000 is bid with Martin at 570,000 pounds. At 570, it's back with Martin again at 570 here. In London, at 570,000. Olivia, give me 80, please, at 570. At 570,000 pounds, with Martin Klosterfelder still, at 570, and against you, Barmy. At 570,000 pounds. At 570,000, still with Martin now. And against you, Olivier. It's against you in London here, apart from Martin, the winning bidder at the moment, at 570. Bami, you coming in again at £570,000. I want to sell at £570,000. It's your bid, Martin. Still with you at £570,000. Helena, at £580,000 now. £600,000. £600, with Helena, that, say £20,000, Olivier. £620,000 with Olivier. It's at £600,000 with Helena. £620,000 with you now. Next bid's can, can we try fifty, dollars Helena? It's at £620,000 with Olivier full. At £620,000 now. Say one more. At £620,000 with Olivier full here. It's £620,000. At 620, 650,000. Thank you, Helena. At 650,000 pounds. At 650,000. Give me 80, please, Olivier. At 650,000. At 650,000 pounds. There it is. At 650. At 650,000. With Helena Newman. At 650,000 pounds. Helena's bidder. At 650. I'm looking for 80 now from you, Olivier. In Paris. At 650. At 650,000 pounds. I'm going to sell to Helena's bidder. It's against you in New York, against you in Paris. The hammer is up. Olivier, 680,000. Olivier's bid in Paris, it's 680,000. 700,000, please. 700,000. Thank you. It's back with Helena again at 700,000. At 700,000 pounds now. 700,000. Helena's bid at 700,000. Give me 20, please, Martin. It's 700,000. Olivier? 720, please. 720,000. Ahead of you there. Almost exactly the same time, but Martin, fractionally ahead of you, Olivier. 740. 740 with Helena now. Thank you. Next bid's going to be 60. It's 740,000 pounds. Thank you, Helena. It's 740 now. It's 760,000. It's Olivier's bidder again at 760,000. That's 760. Helena, will you try 80,000? At 760,000 pounds. With Olivier's bidder, thank you, it's yours, Olivier, it's 760. At 760,000 in Paris here. With Olivier Fou, it's 760,000 pounds. And against you, Helena, it's 760 this time. At 760,000 pounds. It's Olivier's bidder at 760. Are we selling? At 700, 780,000. At 780. Helena again at 780,000 pounds. I'm looking for 800,000 from you, Olivier, in Paris. At 780, there it is. It's Helena Newman's bidder again at 780,000 pounds. I'm looking for 800,000. At 780,000, it's bid. With Helena at 780,000. Olivier, are you out? At 780, I'm going to sell it. The hammer is going to start to come up at 780,000. 800, please. 800,000. Thank you, Martin. At 800,000 pounds. 
and off to Eight twenty. Eight hundred and twenty thousand. At eight hundred and twenty thousand pounds, Martin, are we going to go on? At eight hundred and twenty thousand pounds. Eight hundred and twenty thousand. Give me one more. At eight hundred and twenty thousand. At eight hundred and twenty thousand pounds, still with Helen and Newman there. At eight hundred and twenty thousand, there it is. Eight twenty. Give me another one at eight hundred and twenty thousand, please. Eight forty, please. Eight hundred and forty thousand. At eight hundred eight hundred and sixty thousand. At eight sixty. And looking for eight eighty. Eight hundred and sixty thousand pounds. Still with Helena at eight sixty. Here in London, the back row, right next to Martin Spitter, is eight hundred and sixty thousand pounds. Give me another one at eight hundred and sixty thousand pounds. Fair warning now at eight sixty. It's Helena Speed. Are you out, Martin? At 860,000. Against you, Olivier, and against you, Martin. It's still with Helena now at 860,000 pounds. Looking to sell at 860,000. Here it is at 860,000. 880,000. 880, please. 880,000. At 880,000. Will you take 890, please? From you, Helena, of course. 890,000. 890,000. 900, 900,000. 920,000. Was it 20? Yep, 920,000. 920. At 920,000s. At 920,000s. It's back with Helena again. No longer yours, Martin, at 920. You out? It's Helena Spitter here. I'm going to sell it against you, Olivier. Thank you, Martin, to your bidder and selling. Fair warning now at £920,000. Thank you, Helena. It's yours. Thank you very much indeed. Congratulations to your bidder. Thank you so much at 199 Thank you very much indeed to your bidder. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And thank you, Martin, as well, and Olivier. Which moves us on, of course, the Jean Dubuffet, the portrayal of two lovers in La Cavalier au Diamant, the dancing partner with diamonds from the very earliest years of this wonderful artist's career and entirely fresh to the market, exhibited, of course, in the extraordinary exhibition of René Dubois, the Microbulus exhibition. Here it is, widely exhibited in America, retrospectives on Dubuffet and, of course, in France. Fabulous, fabulous painting here, incised and equally with these wonderful pieces of mirror for the mirror for the engagement ring and the uh, the earrings and i want to start the bidding here at two million one hundred thousand pounds at two million one hundred thousand two million two hundred thousand two million three hundred thousand now at two million three hundred thousand two million four hundred thousand at two million four hundred thousand pounds at two million four hundred thousand at two million four hundred thousand pounds at two million four hundred thousand two million five hundred thousand with james sevier to begin at two million five hundred thousand thank you james at two million five at two million five hundred thousand pounds, two million six hundred thousand is bid with Sam Vallette now. Two million seven hundred thousand. It's back with James again at two million seven hundred thousand. And I need eight from you, please, Sam, at two million seven hundred thousand pounds. Still with James Sevier, two million eight hundred thousand. It's back with Sam again at two million eight hundred thousand. Two million nine hundred thousand. With James Sevier at two million nine hundred thousand pounds. At two million nine hundred thousand now. With James Sevier here at two million nine hundred thousand. Three million pounds. Thank you, sir. At three million pounds, still with Sam. It's all in London here. Sam Bellet, Monsieur Sam Bellet against you, James. Three million one hundred thousand. It's James's bidder. Can somebody relay that bid? Three million two hundred thousand. Thank you. I'll take two from you. At three million two hundred thousand. Can you give me four, please, Sam? At three million two hundred thousand. It's here. It's James Sevier's bidder at three million two hundred thousand pounds. At three million two hundred thousand pounds. At three million two. At three million two hundred thousand pounds. Three four. Three million four hundred thousand. Thank you, Sam. At three million four hundred thousand pounds. At three four. Three million six hundred thousand. Uh, James is bitter again at three million six hundred thousand. At three million six hundred thousand. Bidding. Three million eight hundred thousand. At three eight. Four million pounds. Thank you. At four million pounds. At four million pounds. James is four million two hundred thousand. Four million two. 
Four million two hundred thousand. Four four. Give me four, James. Okay. At four million two hundred thousand. Four four, please. Four million four hundred thousand is bid. Thank you, sir. At four million four. At four million four hundred thousand. Bidding. Four million six. At four million six hundred thousand. Six fifty, please. Four million six hundred and fifty thousand. At four million six hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Four million seven hundred thousand. Thank you, Sam. At four million seven hundred thousand now. No. Coming in, Amy. At four million seven hundred thousand. Give me fifty. At four million seven hundred thousand pounds. There it is. At four million seven hundred thousand. Say one more. Four seven. Five million, please. Five million pounds. At five million pounds. Thank you, James. Five million. It's your bid now at five million pounds. Sam, will you give me one more? Can we say five million two hundred thousand? One hundred. Five million one hundred thousand. I took it here. Five million one hundred thousand. Samuel Vellet. Thank you, Sam. At five million one hundred thousand. Give me two, James. At five million one hundred thousand. It's back with Samuel. Sam Vellet. At five one. Still there in London at five million one hundred thousand. On the second row, James on the front at 5,100,000. Give me two. Again, an extremely important picture. It's been a long time we've had a picture of this importance by Dubuffet at 5,100,000. And fresh to market at 5,100,000. Wonderfully fresh masterpiece here, 5,100,000 pounds. James. Please hold. Please hold at 5,100,000. Give me two at 5,100,000 now. Still with Sam at five million one hundred thousand pounds. At five million one. Still with you at five million one hundred thousand. Please. Five million two hundred thousand. Thank you, James. At five two. At five million two. Try three. At five point two million pounds. James is better at five million two hundred thousand. Sam, I'm going to say three. At five million two hundred thousand. Thank you, James. At five million two, there it is. At five two. Your bid at five million two hundred thousand pounds. It's with James Sevier. At five million two hundred thousand pounds. You out, Sam? At five million two. Thank you very much indeed, sir. It's James's bid and selling. Fair warning now. At five million two hundred thousand pounds. Paddle 183 at 5 million two. Thank you, James. Merci beaucoup, Sam. Thank you so much. And we move on, to, obviously, to the last of the four works held in the same collection for over 70 years. La Tourquoise by the artist commonly known as Vols, a masterpiece of European abstraction, painted in 1946. Again, incredibly rare object. Very few pictures come to the market by Vols. And I'm going to start the bidding here. At 700,000, 750,000, 800,000, 850,000, now at 850,000, 900,000 with Claudia Dwecker, at 900,000 with Claudia, and selling at 900,000 pounds. To you, Claudia, at 900,000 pounds. I have a selling bid at 900,000 pounds to finish this wonderful group of four works at 900,000 pounds with Claudia Dweck at 900,000 pounds against you, Gregoire, in New York at 900,000. I can sell for 900,000 pounds. And against you, Olivier Faux, in Paris, at 900,000 pounds, I'm going to sell it here. At 900,000, fair warning, the hammer is up. Last chance for 900,000 pounds. It's paddle number 195 for 900,000 pounds. And I want to say a particular thank you to our consigner, who I know is watching. Thank you very much indeed for entrusting us with these fabulous works and wonderful, wonderful prices. And we move on, of course, ladies and gentlemen, to one of the star lots of our sale. Edvard Munch's masterful self-portrait of 1926 from the famous Olsen collection, the greatest private collection of works by Munch in the world. And making its auction debut, this is the first major self-portrait by Munch to come to the market in the last 15 years. And I'm going to start the bidding at £2,900,000. At £2,900,000. £3 million now. At £3 million. £3 million. £3 million. At three million one hundred thousand, three million two hundred thousand, three million two, at three million two hundred thousand, three million three hundred thousand, three three, at three million three hundred thousand pounds, 
at three million three hundred thousand pounds. Any more at three million three hundred thousand. At three million three hundred thousand. Want to come in? Three million three. Come in here at three million three hundred thousand. You never know. Three million three hundred thousand pounds. At three million three hundred thousand. Simon, give me a bit. Three million three hundred thousand pounds. At three million three hundred thousand pounds. Any more at three three. At three million three hundred. Sure. Three million four hundred thousand with Amy Capalazzo. Very smart bid. Three million four hundred thousand. Thank you, Amy. At three million four hundred thousand. At three million four hundred thousand. There it is. And selling at three million four hundred thousand pounds. It's so your bid, Amy, at three million four hundred thousand. I can sell it here at three million four hundred thousand. Three million five hundred thousand. In another place at three million five hundred thousand pounds. With Simon Shaw, our resident Mr. Monk, at three million five hundred thousand pounds. And not yours this time, Amy, at three million five hundred thousand pounds. Want to say try one more? At three million five hundred thousand pounds, it's selling here. It's Simon's bidder at three million five hundred thousand pounds against you in London here at three million five hundred thousand pounds, and selling to Simon against you, Amy here at three million five hundred thousand. Give me six at three million five hundred. Three point five five. Three million five hundred and fifty thousand. Thank you, Amy. At three million five hundred and fifty thousand. Three million five fifty. There it is, at three million five hundred and fifty thousand. Simon, give me six, mm. please. At three million five fifty, three million six hundred thousand is bid now. It's against you, Amy, this time at three million six hundred thousand. <coughs> three million six. And against you, Amy, this time, give me fifty, please. At three million six hundred thousand, this wonderful portrait. At three million six hundred thousand. Here it is, at three million six hundred thousand pounds. This wonderful thing, at three million six. And of course, it's been requested, I should have added, it's been requested for an exhibition at the National Portrait Gallery. Wonderful historical show still to come. This great picture will feature in that. Of course, this summer marks the opening of the wonderful Munch Museum in Oslo. This fabulous artist, Norwegian export to the world at 3,600,000. Amy? At 3,600,000. I'm selling it to you, Simon. Last chance at 3,600,000 pounds. Last chance and selling to you. Thank you very much indeed. It's paddle number 178. Three million six. And Amy, thank you to your bidder as well. And we move up, obviously, to the next star lot from the same distinguished collection, Edvard Munch's brilliant and haunting The Embrace on the Beach from the Linda Fries, painted in 1904, which was last sold at Sotheby's in 2016. At the time, made a record price for the artist. Of course, broken now again by Sotheby's in New York for the wonderful screen work that we've sold. And I'm going to start the bidding here at seven million pounds, seven million, seven million five hundred thousand, eight million pounds, now at eight million pounds, eight million five hundred thousand, now at eight million five hundred thousand, nine million pounds now with Helena Newman at nine million pounds. Thank you, Helena, at nine million pounds now. And I can sell at nine million pounds with Helena Newman at nine million pounds now. Your bid at nine million pounds. Thank you so much at nine million pounds. With Helena still at nine million pounds now at nine million pounds. And against you there, Hugo, at nine million pounds. Nine million five hundred thousand, it's bid with Julian. So nine million five, give me 10, please. At nine million five here, give me 10 million, Hong Kong. At nine million five hundred thousand, with Julian Gascoigne in London here, it's at nine million five hundred thousand. Give me 10, please. At nine million five hundred thousand here, it's your bid in London again. At nine million five hundred thousand. Yoni, give me one more, please. At nine million five hundred thousand pounds. It's here at nine million five hundred thousand pounds. And looking for 10 from you, please, at 9,500,000 pounds. At 9,500,000, give me another one. At 9,500,000 pounds. Julian's bidder at 9,500,000 pounds. 9,700,000, with Amy Capalazzo here at 9,700,000. Against you, Julian, at 9,700,000. 10 million pounds now. Thank you, Julian, at 10 million pounds here. At 10 million pounds. At 10 million, still with Julian, I'm looking for one more at 10 million pounds. I'll take 10,250,000, Yoni, from you at 10 million pounds here. Give me 250,000, please, at 10 million pounds. Say one more, Yoni. This fabulous painting here. Point two. 10 million 200,000. Thank you, Amy, at 10 million 200,000. And against you, Julian, now at 10 million 200,000 pounds. 10 million 500,000. Thank you, Julian, at 10 million 500,000. Next bid's going to be 10 million seven. At 10 million 500,000 pounds. There it is. It's Julian's bidder at 10 million 500,000. Still with you, Julian. It's against you, Yoni, now in Hong Kong. At 10 million 500,000. Give me one more at 10 million 500,000 pounds. 
at 10 million 500 thousand looking for one more it's julian gascoigne's bidder thank you julian to your bid at 10 million 500 thousand give me another one please at 10 million 500 thousand pounds here it is at 10 million 500 thousand 10 point seven. 10 million 700 thousand thank 10 you amy 10 million 700 thousand and against you julian give me one more please Seven million 11 pounds. million pounds now thank you julian 11 million pounds is with you here at 11 million pounds now at 11 million yoni come in here at 11 million pounds please amy it's not yours at 11 million want to give me two at 11 million pounds julian spinner again at 11 million pounds and looking for two from you please at 11 million pounds at 11 million pounds still with julian 10 11 million 200 thousand is bid it's yoni's bidder in a new place at 11 million 200 thousand pounds 11 million 500 thousand it's back with julian again at 11 million 500 thousand at 11 million 500 thousand thank you julian against you yoni give me 11 million eight please at 11 million 500 thousand looking to you for one more bid at 11 million 500 thousand give me eight please at 11 million 500 thousand it's back with julian spitter here in london at 11 million 500 thousand at 11 million 500 thousand say one more at 11 million 500 thousand pounds julian spitter against you amy till at 11 million five at 11 million 500 thousand back with julian against you amy it's against you yoni you want to bid at 11 million five give me eight amy at 11 million 500 thousand pounds and uh, julian's bidder here at the moment 11 million 500 thousand i can see you thinking about this at 11 million 500 thousand pounds yoni give me eight please at 11 million 500 thousand pounds say one more at 11 million 500 thousand or you amy at 11 million five at 11 million 500 thousand amy what have we got try one more at 11 11 million, 11 million 700 thousand thank you at 11 million seven 12, please, 12 million pounds now at 12. at 12 million pounds back with julian it's against you yoni there in hong kong at 12 million pounds at 12 million pounds julian's bitter at 12. want to try two 12 million pounds here it's a wonderful wonderful thing amy want to try two and 12 million 100 thousand thank you yoni it's back with hong kong again for the second time no you're not bidding yoni let's be clear <clears throat> julian maybe yours again at 12 million yoni are we bidding it yes is that a bid <clears throat> yes 12 million 100 thousand it's yoni's bidder then at 12 million one <clears throat> julian 12 million two hundred thousand at 12 million two hundred thousand pounds 12 two amy want to try three at 12 million two hundred thousand pounds it's back with julian i think where it all began at 12 million two hundred thousand here it is in london it's against you in new york and against you in hong kong are we going to sell it at 12 million 200,000 amy we're out now yoni how about you at 12 million two <clears throat> give me another one at 12 million 200,000 at 12.2 million pounds looking for 12 million for 300,000 the bid is currently at 12 million two say one more it's tantalizing picture here reconfirming sotheby's as the house for edvard munk at 12 million 200,000 in sales in New York and London and joined by bidders in Asia as well at 12 million 200 thousand pounds I'm going to sell it now it's Julian's bidder the hammer is coming up fair warning to you all Yoni are you out can you give me a sign please at 12 million 200 12 million 300 thousand sorry what was the bid 12 million 300 thousand is bid 12 million 40 12 million 400 thousand now again is bid Yoni, can you say five at 12 million 400 thousand 
come this far. Let's make it a round number at 12,400,000. 12, 12,4. 12, 12,400,000. It's back with Julian. Thank you for your patience. 12,500,000. 12, Yes, 12,500,000. 12 million 600,000. 12 million 12 million 600,000. <clears throat> Try seven. Here it is, a 12 million 600,000. 12 million 700,000. 12 million 700. 12 million seven. Take 13 million, please, sir. 13 million pounds, thank you. It's a great bid at 13 million pounds. Yoni, I'd like to say 13,200,000, please. Just to be fair to our other bid here, 13 million. It, I want two from you, please. At 13 million, 200, at 13 million, give me 200,000, please. At 13 million, please tell your bidder. At 13 million, let's try 13,200,000. At 13 million pounds, Julian's bidder here, at 13 million. You saying one more? Quickly. At 13 million One, pounds, three, 13 million 200,000. Julian. Want to say four? At 13 million two. Looking for four, please. At 13 million 200,000, you need spitter. In the Hong Kong office here, it's Sotheby's there. At 13 million two, of course, who'll be holding their sales shortly in April, the 18th and 19th, these wonderful objects behind them in their studio. At 13 million 200,000, give me four. At 13 million 200,000 pounds here. Fair warning now, Julian. At 13, two, the hammer is up. We have to hurry. At 13. Four, please, sir. 13 million four. At 13 million four. 13,400,000. Yoni. Yoni have 500,000. 13,500,000. Next bit's going to be six now, Julian. 13,500,000 pounds. At 13,500,000 pounds. At 13,5. You out, sir? 13,500,000. Julian, thank you so much. Very last chance. You're out, sir. Thank you, Amy, to your bidder as well. And selling here at Sotheby's Hong Kong at 13,500,000. Yoni, it's yours. So, thank you very uh, With the hammer, with the hammer, very clearly with the hammer at 13,600,000. I took at the bid with the hammer, Yoni, at 13,600,000. Clearly in my sight line there. Yoni, it's not your bid. It is with Julian here. He bid with the hammer. Of course, auctioneer's discretion, I saw it very clearly, at 13,600,000. Julian's bid, at 13,600,000. Give me seven. Still with Julian here at 13,600,000 pounds now. 13,600,000. I need 13,700 from you. It was with the hammer, that is the auctioneer's discretion. I made it very clear, at 13,600,000 pounds. There it is, Julian Spitter at 13,600,000. Of course, at 13,600,000 pounds. Yoni, explain that to your client, please. 13,600,000, the auction etiquette, 13,600,000 pounds. I need seven from you, please. Is that a bid? Yes? Are we bidding, Yoni? 13,700,000 pounds. 13,700. Yep. I have your bid now. Thank you so much, Yoni, and thank you to your client. Please thank them. 13,800,000. Julian, thank you again. 13,800,000. And thank you to your bid, sir. 13,800,000. Give me nine. Please. At 13,800,000. Julian's bidder at 13,800,000. Here at 13,800,000. Yoni, give me nine, please. At 13,800,000. Million. million. Is that 14 million? 14 million pounds. 14 million pounds now. 
14 million. Julian, is that it? Is the white flag coming up this time? <clears throat> 14 million. And the hammer is raised the very last time. This fabulous painting here. Again, wonderful painting coming back and making a superb price here at Sotheby's at 14 million. I'm selling it to you, Yoni. Thank you so much. Thank you, Julian. It's your bid. Thank you, Yoni. Thank you very much indeed. It's paddle number 175. Congratulations. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Amy, to your bidder as well. And lot number 116 is next. Is the fabulous work here by uh, Matthew Wong, The River. And I'm going to be starting the bidding here from 2018. I'm going to start the bidding here at 200,000 pounds. So 220,000, 250,000, now 250,000, 280,000, at 280,000, 300,000, at 300,000, at 300,000, at 300,000. Your bid, Hugo, and I can sell at 300,000 pounds now. At 300,000 pounds, at 300,000. At 300,000 pounds, 320,000, at 320,000, 320,000. Max is bid at 320,000. At 320,000, ahead here, at 320,000. The screen at 320,000 now. Max is bid at 320,000 now. At 320,000, give me 50, please, at 320,000. At 320,000 now. At 320,000, still with Max, give me 50, Hugo, at 320,000. Here it is with Max Moore, and I'm going to sell it at 320,000. Fair warning, Ooh. Max is bidder and selling, last chance, at 320,000 pounds. Hugo, we bidding? Fair warning, at 320,000 pounds. Thank you, Max. 320, it's panel number 101. We have it again. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jen. It's all set. Thank you very much indeed. Very kind. And now we move to the, uh, David Hockney's Tall Dutch Trees. After Hobbema, the useful knowledge from 2017, where we see the contemporary master reprise a work by the Dutch artist of the Golden Age, Meinhard Hobbema, which Hockney first saw wandering through London's National Gallery aged 18. Waiting until his 80s to paint it, this shaped canvas also featured on the cover of the New Yorker magazine in 2018. And I'm going to start the bidding here, property from an important private collection at 5,800,000, 5,900,000, now 5,900,000, 6 million pounds. At six million, six million one hundred thousand. At six million one. Bidding. Six million two hundred thousand. With Courtney Kramers, thank you, Courtney. Welcome from our New York office. It's six million two hundred thousand. In a wonderful pink fuchsia coat, very spring-like. Thank you, Courtney. At six million two hundred thousand. It's your bid. At six million two hundred thousand, I can sell. At six million two hundred thousand. Still with Courtney and selling at six million two hundred thousand pounds. It's your bid at six million two hundred thousand for the Hockney. At 6-2, last chance, and selling at £6,200,000. Thank you. Courtney, it's yours. Paddle 112. And lot number 118, the fabulous Auerbach, Frank Auerbach's JYM seated, Juliet Yardley Mills, an exquisite depiction, one of the artist's most celebrated and recognised sitters, and of course, a painting which features on the very front cover of his catalogue resume, esteemed journal, wonderful, wonderful book, a uh, piece of um, obviously fantastic expertise on the artist. This is it, the cover from a uh, private collection in Europe from 1996, extraordinarily strong picture. And I'm going to start the bidding here at 360,000, 370,000, 380,000, 390,000, now 400,000 I have. With the commission bidder at 400,000 pounds now. At 400,000 pounds. 425,000. Thank you, Tom. At 425,000. At 425,000. Who's next? At 425,000 pounds. At 425,000. At 425,000 pounds. 450,000. Took it there. 450,000 with Ashcan's bidder at 450,000. At 450,000 now. At 450,000. 475,000. Thank you, Isabel. At 475,000. Next bid's going to be 500,000. At 475,000 pounds now. At four hundred and seventy-five thousand pounds. Back with Isabel again at four hundred and seventy-five thousand pounds. Five hundred thousand. Thank you, Ashcan, at five hundred thousand. Five hundred and twenty-five thousand. You bidding uh, Stefano, yes, at five hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds now. Five hundred and twenty-five. Ashcan, give me fifty. At five hundred and twenty-five thousand here with Stefano in the Paris Sarah. Five hundred and fifty thousand. Thank you here, Isabella. Five hundred and fifty thousand. At five hundred and fifty thousand. Thank you so much, Isabel. at five hundred and fifty thousand against you, Stefano, at five hundred and fifty thousand pounds. At 550,000. There it is, at 550. James, come in at 550,000 pounds. At 550,000. 575,000. It's back with Ashkan again at 575,000 pounds. 600,000. Isabel's bid at 600,000. And against you, Ashkan, this time it's 600,000 pounds. 
at 600,000 pounds. Now, give me 25. At 600,000 pounds. 625,000. Against you, Tom, at 625,000. 650,000. Thank you, Isa, at 650,000 pounds. 650. At 650,000. 675, please. 675's in a new place now with James Sevier. 670, 700,000. Back with Isabel again at 700,000 pounds. At 700,000. Thank you, Wizard. At 700,000. 725, please. 725 is bid now. Thank you, James. Is yours now? At 725,000. I'm looking for 50 now, Wizard. At 725,000 pounds. James Sevier is bidder at 725,000. I need 50, please, Wizard, from you. That's 725,000. Fair warning, Georgina, it's against you two. At 725,000 pounds. With James Sevier and selling against you, Ashcan now. It's 725. If you had enough, it's 725. We're going to have to sell it now. Last chance is a give me 50. At 725,000 pounds. Last chance for 725,000 pounds. Thank you very much indeed. Sold. It's paddle number 183. Congratulations. Wonderful, wonderful painting. And we move on, of course, the Albert Erlen M's arm from an important private European collection. And I want to start here at 700,000 pounds. 700, 750,000, 800 now at 800,000, 850,000. At 850,000 pounds. 900,000. Thank you, Martin, at 900,000. It's your bid, sir, at 900,000 pounds. Martin Klosterfelder, at 900,000. I can sell at 900,000 pounds. To you, at 900,000 pounds. And against you, Victoria, at 900,000 pounds. At 900,000 pounds here. It's Martin's bidder at 900,000 pounds. At 900,000 pounds. At 900,000. It's Martin's bidder at 900,000 pounds. Against you, Victoria, at 900,000. Tell your bidder I'll come and install it myself. At 900,000. It would look great in his house at 900,000 pounds. Still with Martin, 900,000. Give it one shot, Victoria. Tell him it's a good one at 900,000 pounds. At 900,000. Fair warning now, it's Martin's bidder and against you, Victoria. Have to hurry you now. Last chance at 900,000, you out. Victoria, try one. From you, I'll take 10. No, last chance then, and selling to Martin, fair warning, at 900,000 pounds. Thank you, Martin, it's yours. <coughs> Panel number 158, thank you, sir. <coughs> and of course, we have the wonderful Pablo Picasso, the Famacies d'Ors and Fauteuil, a striking example of the artist's wartime portraiture depicting Picasso's lover and muse the surrealist photographer Dora Maar, this imposing, wonderful portrait from an important private collection, 1941. In fact, the 3rd of November, 1941, at the height of the occupation in Paris. Very powerful portrait. And I'm going to start the bidding here at 5,800,000, 5,900,000, 6 million pounds now. It's 6 million, 6 million, 100,000. At 6 million, 100,000 pounds. 6 million, 200,000 is your bid, Felix. And selling at 6 million, 200,000 pounds now. It's Felix Kwok here, head of our Chinese painting cell. Coming up in April as well, the wonderful Richard Lin you're selling as well. Thank you, Felix, at £6,200,000, amongst a group of other great treasures in your sale at £6,200,000. It's your bid, sir. And against you, Fergus, in London at £6,200,000. Give me three. At £6,200,000. Felix is bidder. And against you, Julian, in New York as well at £6,200,000. At £6,200,000. Give me one more at £6,200,000. It's against you both and against you, Alex Bell, as well, at six million two hundred thousand pounds. You want to bid at six million two, six million three hundred thousand with Fergus Stuff now. And against you, Felix, at six million three hundred thousand. Say one more, sir, at six million three. At six million three, are you out? At six million three hundred thousand. Here it is. Fergus Duff, at six million three, you're out, sir. Thank you. At six million three, six million four hundred thousand is bid. Again in London, six million four hundred thousand. Nicole Spitter at six million four hundred thousand. And against you, Fergus, is 6,400,000 now. 6,4. Give me five. At 6,400,000. Against you, Fergus, at 6,400,000. Against you now, sir, at 6,400,000 pounds. Say five. At 6,400,000. Looking for five, please. It's 6,400,000. Need five from you, Fergus. At 6,400,000 pounds. Say one more. 6,500,000 is bid. 
And against you, Nicole, this time at 6,500,000. Looking for six, please. At 6,500,000. Million six. six million Please. six hundred thousand. It's in a new place with Patty Wong, Chairman of Sotheby's Asia. Thank you, Patty. It's your bid at six million six hundred thousand. In a new place at six million six. Six million six. And against you, Julian, too, in New York at six million six hundred thousand. Here it is at six million six hundred thousand. Thank you so much. At six six. Patty's bidder at six million six hundred thousand. Six million seven hundred thousand. Six seven. Six six million eight. Patty's bitter again at six eight. Six million eight. Fergus, six million nine. At six nine. Seven million. Fergus, can we try two? It's at seven million pounds now. It's with Patty Wong in Hong Kong, chairman of Sotheby's Asia here. It's seven million pounds. There it is at seven million pounds and selling, Fergus. Fair warning now. At seven million pounds, seven million one hundred thousand. Seven one, Fergus is better at seven million one. Nicole, are you coming in here? At seven one, no. It's here with Fergus against you, Patty. You want to say two? At seven million one hundred thousand, still with Fergus now. At seven million one hundred thousand, I want to go on at seven million one hundred thousand. Here it is, at seven one. Say one more. No. At seven million one hundred thousand, I'm selling it here. Seven two. Seven million two. I took Patty first. You were exactly the same time. Patty's screen there, one of the great advantages of this uh, multi-screen format. I can see you all your bids immediately at 7,200,000. Nicole, it's not your bid, it's with Patty Wong. Her bid at 7,2. 7,3 now with Fergus. 7,003,000. 7 Thank you, Fergus, at 7,003,000. At 7,300,000. Patty or Nicole, please come back at seven million three hundred thousand pounds. Any more? Seven three. At seven million three, I'm going to sell it this time. Seven million three hundred thousand pounds. Seven four. Seven million four hundred thousand. Nicole, I take you finally. Thank you for your patience. At seven million four hundred thousand. Please thank your bidder, of course, as well. At seven million four hundred thousand pounds. It's worth the wait. This wonderful picture. This wartime 1941 Picasso. Good. 7,500,000. Again, Patty, ahead of you here. I saw it first with Fergus. Eagle eyes on Fergus and, of course, you. Give me six, please. It's 7,500,000 pounds. There it is. It's Fergus's bid. It's 7,500,000. At 7,500,000 pounds with Fergus Duff. It's 7,500,000. 7,600,000. 7, 7, 7, 7, no, it's here. It's Nicole's bid. It's 7,600,000. I need 7,700,000 7 from you, Patty. Give me seven. At 7,600,000 here, Nicole Spitter in London, against you, Ferguson, against you, Patty. Give me seven. Seven, seven ahead of you again, I'm afraid, sorry. Ferguson Spit again at 7,700,000. Just before you, 7,700,000. Patty, give me eight. I'll wait for your bid at 7,700,000. Say eight. 7,800,000. There it is. Patty's bid at 7,800,000. Thank you, Patty. At seven, eight. And needing nine now from London. Seven million eight. Seven million eight hundred thousand. Thank you, Patty. Seven million eight. There it is. It's seven million nine. Right now it's perfect. That's seven million nine hundred thousand pounds. Seven million nine. Try eight, please. That's seven million nine hundred thousand. Looking for eight from you, Patsy. It's here in London at seven million nine hundred thousand pounds. I need eight, please. Seven nine. Eight million pounds. Well, Patty's bid there. Patty Wong in Asia at eight million pounds. And against you, Fergus. And against you, Nicole, in London. Fergus Osaki's out at eight million pounds. Thank you, Fergus, to your bidder at eight million. 
Nicole, are we out? At eight million pounds, I'm selling it here. Patty Wong's bidder in Asia, of course, at eight million pounds. Fair warning and selling. Nicole, are we out this time? Last chance and selling. It's yours, Patty. Thank you very much indeed. Paddle number 136. Thank you. And thank you also, our colleagues in Hong Kong. We realize it's very late for you now. Thank you so much. And lot number 121, of course, is the second of our old master paintings in today's cell, the portrait of a woman painted in the early 1520s by Giulio Romano, a disciple of Raphael's. And I'm going to start the bidding here at 260,000, 270,000, 280,000 now at 280,000, 290,000, at 290, 300,000 with Alex Bell at 300,000 pounds. Your bid, Alex. And I can sell at 300,000 pounds. Your bid, Alex, at 300,000 pounds. Fair warning, I'm going to sell at 300,000 pounds to you, selling Alex Bell at 300,000 pounds. Thank you, Alex. Paddle number 177. And lot number 122 is the, uh, the Banksy, the original concept for the Belly legal poster after Demi Moore executed in 2006, this wonderful, unique work, showing on the screens for you at home. And I'll start here at 1,600,000, 1,700,000, 1,800,000, now 1,800,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000 pounds, at 1,900,000 pounds, at 1,900,000, at 1,900,000, 2 million pounds now. Gregoire Bio's bidder at 2 million pounds. It's heading to Gregoire at 2 million pounds, against to Yuki at 2 million, give me two, please. There we are. At 2 million pounds now. Still with Gregoire and against to Yuki, looking for 2,200,000 from you, please, at 2 million pounds. At two million pounds now. Still with Gregoire Beale, two million two hundred thousand. Thank you, Yuki, at two million two hundred thousand. And against you now, I need four, please, Gregoire, at two million two hundred thousand. It's Yuki's bidder in Hong Kong, at two million two hundred thousand pounds. At two million two hundred thousand pounds. There it is, at two million two hundred thousand. At two million two hundred thousand. Needing four from you, at two million two hundred thousand. Great, say one more. At two million two hundred thousand pounds. At two two. At two million two hundred thousand pounds now. It's against you, Greg. It's against you, Patty and Nicole. At two million two hundred thousand. Yoni, are you coming in at all? At two million two hundred thousand. Contre vous, Gregoire. At two million two. Say one more, sir. At two million two. Selling now. Fair warning. Thank you, Yuki. At two million two hundred thousand pounds. Thank you. It's paddle line 193. And lot number 123 is the incredibly rare to market carving of a female torso by the British artist Frank Dobson, listed in the artist's catalogue resume as once having belonged to the wonderful sculptor Alberto Giacometti, and last offered over 30 years ago when it made the record price for the artist at the time, property of an important American collection. And I'm going to start the bidding here at 120,000, 140,000, 160,000, 180,000 now. 180,000, 200,000 with Tom Edison here in London at 200,000. Selling to you, Tom, at 200,000 pounds here. 240,000. Thank you. It's Francis Christie's bidder, head of our modern British department at 240,000. At 240,000, 260,000. Alex Crystal here in a new place at 260,000. Thank you, Alex. 280,000. It's back with Francis again at 280,000. And against you now, Alex, 300,000 is bid. Back with Alex Crystal again at 300,000 pounds. Give me 20, 320,000. Thank you, Francis, it's yours again. Next bid, 350, 350,000. It's back with Alex Crystal again at 350,000 pounds. At 350,000 pounds. Give me 80. At 350,000. At 350,000 pounds. Still with Alex Crystal and against you here, Francis, against you, Tom. At 350,000 pounds. At 350,000. Oh, someone else gone 380 I took from uh, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. At 380,000 pounds. Next bid's going to be 400. 400,000. Here it is with Alex Crystal. At 400,000 pounds. Say 20. At 400,000 pounds. Back with Alex Crystal again at 400,000. Thank you, Alex. 420,000. Back with Nicole again at 420,000 pounds. With Nicole, 450,000. Thank you very much indeed. At 450,000. Back with Alex again at 450,000. 480,000 is bid. At 480. Bidding? 500,000 pounds. Thank you, Alex, at 500,000. At 500,000 pounds. 520,000. Thank you, Nicole, at 520,000. At 520, 550,000 now. 
520,000, 550, I should say, 550, 580,000. Thank you, Nicole, 580,000, 600,000 ounce, back with Alex Crystal, showing the power of British art in this international context at 620,000. Thank you, Nicole, at 620,000, 650,000, 650, 680,000, at 680, 700,000. Thank you, Alex, at 700,000, 720,000. And 50. 750. Bid. 780,000. Bidding. 800,000. Bid. 820,000. 850,000. 880,000. 900,000. Thank you, Alex. 900,000. 920,000. 950,000. 980,000. 1 million pounds. 1 million and 50,000. One one. One million one hundred thousand. One one. One one five. One million one hundred and fifty thousand. One two. One million two hundred thousand. One two five. One million two hundred and fifty thousand. One two seventy. One million two hundred seventy-five thousand. I'll take even okay. bid. One million two seventy-five. The next bid's yeah. going to be one million three. Yeah. It's an American-style bid, Brad Bentofter, wouldn't you say? One three. One million three hundred thousand. Yeah. At one million three hundred thousand. Alex, give me twenty-five. One three twenty-five. One million three hundred twenty-five. We've had a few this evening, actually. It's one million three hundred twenty-five. One three five. One million three hundred and fifty thousand. One three seven five. One million three hundred and seventy. Oh God, it's complicated. This one million three hundred and seventy-five thousand. One four. One million four. That's easier. I can do that one. And one million four hundred thousand. One four twenty-five. One million four hundred twenty-five thousand. One four twenty-five. It's so always somebody who gets on the more awkward one, four, number. Five. Uh, one million four hundred and fifty thousand. One million four hundred seventy-five thousand. Thank you, Alex. Five. One five. One million five hundred thousand. It's more like it. One five twenty-five. One million five hundred twenty-five thousand. You're going on at one million five hundred twenty-five thousand pounds. Looking for one million five hundred fifty thousand. Give me one million five hundred fifty. Nicole, you've been such a consistent bidder this evening. Thank you. At one million five hundred twenty-five. One million five hundred fifty thousand. Alex. One five seventy-five. One million five hundred seventy-five thousand. This wonderful, voluptuous, curvaceous sculpture, fabulous thing, very sensuous. At one million, one million six hundred thousand pounds. For the Dobson, at one million six. One six twenty-five. One million six twenty-five. At one million six hundred twenty-five thousand. One million six hundred twenty-five thousand. Give me fifty. At one million six hundred twenty-five thousand pounds. At one million six hundred and twenty five thousand. Any more? One million six hundred and twenty five thousand. One six five. One million six hundred and fifty thousand. One six seventy five. One million six hundred and seventy five thousand. And one million six hundred and seventy five thousand. 
Another one? Uh, 1,675,000. Yeah. Give me one more. 1,675,000 pounds. Say one more, please. 1,675,000. Nicole, are we bidding? 1,675,000. You out? And selling here and shattering the artist's world record prize for Frank Dobson at 1,675,000 pounds. To you, Alex Crystal. <laughs> Sold. Panel number 217. Thank you so much. Thank you. And lot number 124, of course, is the Edgar Degas, the Danseuse, uh, the position quatrième devant sur la jambe gauche, première étude. And I'm going to start the bidding here at 210,000, 220,000, 230,000 out, 230,000, 240,000, at 240,000 pounds. At 240,000 pounds. Any more? 240. At 260,000. It's bid online at 260,000 pounds. Your bid, 280,000, Fergus, against you online now. It's Fergus Duff in London at 280,000 pounds. 300,000 is bid online. 320,000 with Fergus again. Here it is, 320,000. Next bid's gonna be 350 online. Thank you, sir, or madam. 350, give me 380. Thank you, Fergus. At 380,000, it's back at Sotheby's here in New Bond Street. The bid at 400,000. Online again at 400,000. 420,000 with Fergus Duff at 420,000. Against you at home at 420,000. Give me 50, please, at 420,000 pounds. At 420,000, with Fergus Duff here at 420. 450,000, with Alina Davy in a new place. 480,000, with Fergus, he's going on at 480,000. Give me five, please. At 480,000, Alex Crystal, want to come in? 500,000, with uh, Alex Crystal now. 500,000, give me 50, please. 550,000. 550,000, Fergus bid at 550,000. Next bid's going to be 80, 550,000 pounds. 580,000, thank you, Alex, at 580,000. Next bid, 600. At 580,000 pounds, 600,000. Thank you, Fergus, at 600,000. At 600,000 pounds. 620,000. Thank you, Alex, at 620,000. Give me 50. At 620,000. 40. Is that a bit? It's 40. 640,000. Thank you, Fergus, at 640,000. Looking for 60 now. At 640, 660,000. Thank you, Alex. It's 660. It's your bid now. At 660,000. Any more? 660. 80. You say 80? 80. 680,000 is bid. Thank you, sir. At 680,000. There it is. At 680, 700,000. It's with Alex again at 700,000 pounds. 20. 720,000. It's Fergus's bid. It's 720. At 720,000 pounds. Try 50. 740? 750. Give me 50. Yep, 750, thank you. And next one's gonna be 780. Alex Crystal Spitter at 750, 780,000. Thank you, Fergus, at 780,000. And looking for eight, please, 800,000. Thank you, Alex, at 800,000 pounds. At 800,000. 20. 820,000. From Fergus, you heard it here, at 820,000 pounds. 820. Try 50. No, okay. at 820,000, Fergus's bid. I'm going to sell it, Fergus, this time at 820,000 pounds. Thank you, Fergus. 172. And lot number 125 is the Oscar Schlemmer. The, the group of young men in grey, the oil and temper from 1928. And we'll start here at 610,000, 620,000, 630,000 out, 630,000, 640,000, at 640,000 pounds. At 640,000 pounds, 650,000. Nick Dimel at 650,000. It's your bid, sir. At 650,000. In Paris, at 650,000 and selling at 650,000 with you, Nick. Fair warning now, at 650,000 against you, Alex Crystal. At 650,000, I'm going to have to sell here now. At 650, Alex, are you out? Fair warning now, selling to Nick in Paris for 650,000 pounds. Thank you. Panel number 27. And lot number 127 is being withdrawn, so we move straight on to lot number 28, 128, the De Buffet, formerly in the collection of EJ Power, of course, distinguished collector from 1956, the Botanique au Petit Spectacle, and I'm starting the bidding here at 300,000, 350,000, 400,000 out, 400,000, 450,000, at 450,000 pounds, 450. 
at 450,000 pounds, at 450, at 450,000 pounds. Fair warning now, last chance. Fair warning at 450,000. Not sold at 450. And lot number 129 is also withdrawn, so we move on to the first of the uh, Warhols, the Miss painting, the wonderful multiple here from 1981, or unique painting titled Miss Multiple. From 1981, I'm going to start the bidding here at 1,500,000, 1,600,000, 1,700,000, now 1,700,000, 1,800,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 1,900,000, 
at 550,000. I took it ahead of you in London at 550,000. It's on the back row there at 550. I need 600 from you, Liz, please. The bid is in London at 550,000 pounds. On the back row there at 550,000. Jessica's bidder from our wonderful print department, great print expert, Jessica Marks at 550, responsible for the Banksy sales at Sotheby's. Ladies and gentlemen, please look out for those. 600,000 is bid online now, Liz, against you. Have to give me 50 here. I need a proper increment at 600,000. Jessica at 650,000. There she is, Miss Banksy at 650,000. At 650,000, responsible for that fabulous sale of the Warhol Endangered Species series, breaking the record for Warhol prints at Sotheby's in London last week at 650,000. Thank you, Jessica. Your bid at 650,000. Next bid's going to be 700,000. At 650,000. 670? 670,000. Took you less there at 670. You're in. At 670,000. 700,000 now. Online again at 700,000 pounds. At 700,000 pounds. Give me 50, please. At 700,000 pounds. 750,000. Thank you, Jessica. At 750,000. And try 800 online, please. At 750,000 pounds. At 750,000. Still with the Jessica again. Back with Miss Banksy at 750,000. It's her bid on the back row of Sotheby's. And against you, Courtney. It's against you, Liz. Against you, Emma. And online. And selling at selling. Sotheby's for 750,000 pounds. With the hammer, 800,000. Online bid with the hammer at 800,000 pounds. Jessica, can you trade 50 now? At 800,000 pounds, the bid online at 800,000 pounds. 850,000, thank you very much. They're back at 850,000. Back at Sotheby's now and against you online. I need 900,000 for you more online, please. At 850,000, Jessica's bid at 850,000 pounds. Still with Jessica here, 850,000 pounds, give me nine. At 850,000, fair warning now, Jessica's bidder, are you out online? Because I'm 900,000 pounds, thank you. 900,000 pounds now. Let's go on, Jessica, this great, great print. 900,000. At 900,000 pounds, give me 50. At 900,000 pounds. Say one more. At 900,000 pounds now. No? Sure? At 900,000 pounds, it's online at Sotheby's.com, future of bidding. And against you, Jessica, very last chance, fair warning, at £900,000. There it is to you at home. Thank you very much indeed at 900000 And it's panel number 19. And lot number 134 is the next to the walls, property of a distinguished private European collection, the wonderful depiction of the equally influential German contemporary Joseph Beuys, of course, uh, celebrating his centenary this year. Highly important, in fact, the two most highly revered artists of the latter part of the 20th century. A towering grid this time of repeated silkscreen negatives, repeated 64 times of this artistic genius. Um, of course, exhibited in 1986 at the Anthony Doffer Gallery in London in the same collection ever since. And I'm going to start the uh, bidding here at 400,000, 450,000, 500,000, now 500,000, 550,000, at 550,000, 600,000 I have with the commission bid at 600,000, 650,000. Thank you, Barmy. At 650,000 pounds. It's your bid, sir, at 650,000. Any more at 650,000 pounds? 700,000 now against you at 700,000. Give me 50. With Isabel Parkman at 700,000 now, it's your bid, Isabel, at 700,000 pounds. Say 50, please, Barmy, at 700,000. One more, please, for this fabulous painting here. Iconic image at 700,000. 750,000, yeah, 750,000. 720,000, 720,000. Say 50, is it? At 720,000 pounds. At 720, 750,000. At 750, 750,000. Say one more, Barmy. At 750,000, 750, 770,000, 770. I'd like to take uh, 800 now, Isabel, please, from you. At 770,000 pounds. At 770,000. Give me one more. At 770. At 770,000 pounds. At 770,000 pounds. 800,000 pounds. Thank you. At 800,000 pounds. 800,000. At 800,000. 820,000 now. At 820,000, Barmay Spitter again at 820,000, looking for 50 here from you, Isabel, at 820,000. Try 50. 820,000, Barmay Spitter at 820,000 pounds. 
820. 850, please. 850,000. There it is, at 850,000. Thank you, Isabella. 850,000. Try 80 now, Bami, please. At 850,000. 870. 870,000. At 870. And leading nine now from you, is it? At 870,000 pounds is Barmay's bidder. With you, Barmay, I'm going to sell it here. At 870,000 against you, Isabel. This fabulous museum quality picture. And selling, fair warning, Barmay's bidder. Thank you. At 870,000 pounds. Sold. Paddle 189 for 870,000. And lot number 135 is the, uh, the Twombly, the work on paper from 1971. And 300,000 starts at 300,000, 320,000 out, 320,000, 340,000 out, 340,000 pounds. At 340,000 pounds, 340. At 340,000, any more, at 340,000 pounds. Fair warning, last chance, at 340,000 pounds. So pass at 340. Lot number 136 is withdrawn, so we move on to lot number 137. The Gilbert and George here, the uh, Dark Shadow, first exhibited in Nigel Greenwood Gallery, the original dealer, of course, for uh, Gilbert and George here in London. And I'm going to start the bidding here at, um, at 310,000, 320,000, 330,000, now 330, 340,000, at 340,000 pounds. At 340,000 pounds. 340. At 340,000, against you, Hugo, 340,000, give me a bid, at 340. At 340,000 pounds. This wonderful work. In its Good. original seals, 350 now with Hugo and selling where, sir? At 350,000 against you, Julian, at 350,000 pounds. It's selling here in London, 350,000. It's Hugo's bidder and it's against you, Julian Dawes. I'm going to sell at 350,000. Fair warning, Julian, you're bidding. Last chance at 350,000 pounds. Thank you so much. Panel number 138. And lot number 138, The Incredible Journey, by Damien Hurst, of course, featured in the wonderful, beautiful Inside My Head Forever sale here at Sotheby's, groundbreaking sale in 2008, figured there and uh, sold now by the person, the collector who acquired it then at the time. And I'm going to start the bidding at 300,000, 350,000, 400,000, now 400,000, 450,000. 500,000 with Victoria Campo Franco in London here at 500,000 pounds and selling to you, Victoria, at 500,000 pounds. Any more at 500,000 pounds. At 500,000 pounds. Against you, Alex Branchick, at 500,000. I'm going to sell it. Last chance. Fair warning. At 500,000 pounds. Thank you, Victoria. 160. At 500,000. And of course, we move on to the Damien Hirst kaleidoscopic butterfly, the human voice, a mesmerizing example of his butterfly grid paintings from the collection, of course, of the Belvedere uh, Restaurant, Holland Park. Fabulous picture, fabulous restaurant as well. Here it is, wonderful work. Really one of the finest ones we've seen. Fantastic picture from 2006. And we're going to start the bidding here at 460,000 pounds. So 460,000, 470,000 now, at 470,000, 480,000 pounds, at 480,000, 480. 480,000, 490,000 pounds now, 490,000 pounds. At 490,000 pounds. At 490,000 pounds now. 500,000 pounds. Gregoire Bio's bidder at 500,000 pounds. Thank you, Greg, at 500,000 pounds. It's your bid at 500,000 pounds and selling at 500,000 pounds now. To Gregoire Bio at 500,000 pounds. At 500,000 pounds. Any more? 500,000. At 500,000 pounds. Not yours, Alex, at 500,000 pounds. At 500,000. Want a bid? It's at 500,000. I can sell it here. It's with Greg and I can sell. Last chance here. Fair warning to you all and selling at 500,000 pounds. Thank you, Greg, at 500,000. It's panel 151. Lot number 140 is the Gormley, the grip number two. Uh, the sculpture here, and I'm going to start the bidding at um, 160,000, 170,000, 180,000, 190,000, 200,000. I have already with a commission bid at 200,000 and selling 220,000. Yuki, I'm out. It's your bid now at 220,000 pounds. At 220,000, Yuki's telephone bid at 220,000 pounds. 
and selling at 220,000 to you, Yuki. 220,000 against you, Ashcan, at 220,000. Needing 40 from you, please. At 220,000. I'm selling it here. It's Yuki's bidder. <laughs> 220,000. You bidding Ashcan at 220. At 220,000 pounds. Fair warning and selling. It's Yuki's bidder at 220,000 pounds. Thank you, Yuki. 220. 132. And lot number 141 is the, the Louise Bourgeois. The architecture and memory works from a private collection. The Mamelle from 1991. Showing on the screens. There it is at home, this imposing sculpture. And I'm going to start the bidding here at 360,000 pounds. 360,000, 370,000 now. 370,000, 380,000. At 380,000, 390,000. At 390,000 pounds. 390. At 390,000 pounds. At 390, any more? Fair warning now. At 390, last chance for 390,000 pounds. It's a pass at 390. And lot number 142 follows the wonderful La Juan Miro, the uh, the Famille Toiseau, 1967. Five bit of sculpture here. And I'm going to start the bidding at 800,000 pounds. At 800,000, 850,000, 900,000 now at 900,000, 950,000. At 950,000 pounds. At 950,000 pounds. 950. At 950,000. Fair warning. Last chance. At 950,000 pounds. It's a pass at 950. And the Andreas Gursky, the Singapore boss. It's the following lot, number 143 from 1997. And I'll start the bidding here at 160,000, 170,000, 180,000 now, 180,000, 190,000. And against you, Nicholas Chow, at 190,000 pounds. Give me 200,000, please, sir. At 190,000 pounds. At 190. At 190,000. At 190,000 pounds. Say one more, 190. At 190,000 pounds. Against you here, 190. At 190,000, fair warning. Looking for one more, at 190,000. At 190,000, against you, Nicholas. At 190, give me 200,000, sir. At 190,000, fair warning. You're going to go on, at 190. At 190,000, last chance, at one, 200,000. Thank you, Nicholas. 200, at 200,000, on your telephone, at 200,000 pounds. And selling here to you at 200,000 pounds, sir. There it is, £200,000 to Nicholas Charles Bitter. Last chance for £200,000. Thank you. It's panel number 108. And lot number 144 is the Pablo Picasso, the rare complete set of 24 silver plates by Pablo Picasso, each carrying an individual myth mythological motif, including a striking profile of the artist's last love, Jacqueline Rock. This fabulous grouping here, wonderful rare opportunity to acquire the set. And I'm going to start the bidding here at, um, at 900,000 pounds, at 900,000, 950,000, at 950,000 pounds, 950, at 950,000 pounds, 1 million pounds now, at 1 million pounds, 1 million, at 1 million pounds, any more, 1 million pounds, at 1 million pounds, at 1 million pounds, 1 million 100,000, at 1 million 100,000, thank you, 1 million 100,000, give me another one, at 1 million 100,000. At 1,100,000. At 1,100,000. Thank you so much. 1,100,000. Say one more there. 1,100,000 pounds. At 1,100,000. At 1,100,000. Gets you first. At 1,100,000. At 1,100,000. At 1,100,000 pounds. Give me 50. At 1,100,000 pounds. At 1,100,000, say 50. At 1,100,000 pounds, 1,150,000. It's a bid, 1,150,000. Thank you, Thomas, at 1,150,000. It's your bid at 1,150,000. You're saying 1,2, okay. Thomas. Yes, 1,2, 1,200,000. Your bid, 1,200,000. Thomas's bid, 1,200,000 against you, Fergus. At 1,200,000. Give me three. At 1,200,000. Still with Thomas Boyd Bowman at 1,200,000 pounds. And selling. 
at 1,200,000 pounds. Fair warning, last chance at 1,200,000 and selling. To you, Thomas, thank you, 1,200,000. It's paddle number one, two, three. Makes things easy, thank you. And lot number 145 is the, uh, the Paul Clay, the picture of a garden from 1920. And I'm starting the bidding here at 200,000 pounds. At 200,000, 210,000, at 220,000 now, at 220,000, 230,000, at 230,000 pounds. At 230, 240,000. Victoria's bidder at 240,000 pounds. Thank you, Victoria, at 240,000. Still with you, at 240,000 pounds. At 240,000. Here it is, 240,000. Ladies bid, Victoria Campo Franco. At 240,000, selling to you, Victoria. Thank you so much. Fair warning and selling at 240,000 pounds. That's yours. Paddle number 212. Thank you very much for 240,000. And we move on. Fabulous work here. Obviously, the, the Frantischek Kupka, the wonderful Czech artist, fantastic object here. Painted in 1922 to 23, a highly important picture from a distinguished European collection. Wonderful, wonderful picture and certain amount of interest here. And I want to start the bidding here at 1,100,000, 1,200,000, 1,300,000, now 1,300,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 1,400,000, 
4.7? 4 million 700,000. 4 million 800,000. 4.9? 4 million 900,000. 5 million pounds. Would you like to say 5 million 100,000? Say one. Five one. Five million one hundred thousand. Thank you, Tessa. Five one. Five million two hundred thousand. Five three. Five million three hundred thousand. Five million four hundred thousand. Five and a half million. Five million five hundred thousand. Five million six hundred thousand. Five million seven hundred thousand. Five million eight hundred thousand. Five nine. Five million nine hundred thousand. Six million pounds. One. Six million one hundred thousand. Six million two hundred thousand. Six million three hundred thousand. Six three. Mr. Branchik, are you coming in again? Can we try six point three five, sir. Of course, six million three hundred and fifty thousand. Thank you, Hugo. Six million four hundred thousand. Thank you, Tessa. Six four. We'll take fifty again from you, Hugo. Six four it is. At six million four hundred thousand. Tessa's bitter, you're out, sir. Thank you anyway. And to your bidder, Alex, thank you so much. It's six million four and selling. Last chance is Tessa's bidder and winning bid at six million four hundred thousand pounds. Thank you so much. Panel number 125, six million four. And leads us on to lot number 147, the, uh, the finding gap. And I can start the bidding here at 210,000, 220,000, 230,000 now, 240,000 pounds at 240,000. 250,000 with Alex Crystal. Thank you, Alex, at 250,000, it's your bid. I can sell at 250,000 pounds, fair warning, it's your bid at 250,000 pounds. Thank you, Alex, it's panel number 185. And lot number 148, of course, is the wonderful The Finger Malari here by uh, George Barslitz. The flugel, the finger painting wing, depicting perhaps the most significant symbolic motif of the artist's career, the eagle. And I'm going to start the bidding here at, um, at 700,000, 750,000, 800,000, now at 800,000, 850,000, and 850,000 pounds. At 850,000 pounds. 850. At 850,000 pounds. At 850,000. It's not yours, Nick. You want to come in? 850,000. 900,000, thank you, Hugo, it's your bid, 900,000 pounds. It's Hugo's bidder and selling here at 900,000, not yours, Nick, at 900,000 pounds. At 900,000, selling in London to you, Hugo Cobb, on the back row there at 900,000. Fair warning, the hammer is up. And I'm going to sell. Nick, come in, please, at 900,000. Want to give me a bid? I'll take 20 from you, Nick. You sure? Nope. At 900,000, fair warning, and selling. Thank you, Hugo. 900,000, paddle uh, one. Three eight. Thank you so much. And lot number one forty nine is the the Immendorf, the partial construction uh, blockade. Here it is. With some interest, I can start the bidding at sixty thousand, seventy thousand, eighty thousand, ninety thousand. At ninety thousand pounds. At ninety thousand. Any more? Ninety thousand pounds. One hundred thousand. Thank you, Martin. At one hundred thousand. 
I can sell at 100,000. It's your bid, sir, 100,000 pounds. Bidding. 110 now. 110. Thank you, Lisa. 110. 120 with Nick Darmel in Paris at 120. Give me 30, Lisa. <coughs> at 120,000, here it is. Looking for 30, please, from you, Lisa. 130 I have online now, ahead of you both. Online at Sotheby's.com at 130,000 pounds. 140 now. It's back with Martin again. 140. He's saying 50, Nick, at 140,000 pounds. At 140. 150. It's Nick Dimel's bidder at 150. 160 is online. 160,000 pounds. It's back online again at 160. And against you, Lisa, against you, Nick. 170 with Martin Klosterfelder at 170,000 pounds. At 170. It gets you online at 170. Give me 180. At 170,000 pounds. 170,000. Fair warning. There it is. Going to sell it. Last chance. At 170,000 pounds. Thank you very much indeed. 170,000. Uh, can I see your paddle, please? Yep, Martin's yours. Paddle? There we go, 149, thank you, sir. And lot 150 is the penultimate, well, not quite, the next one's the penultimate lot. Here, the pair Kirkaby from 1978, and I want to start the bidding at 160,000 pounds. 160, 170, 180 now. 180,000 pounds, 190. And 190,000, 200,000 with Mr. Branchik of 200,000. 210,000. Emma Baker coming in, 220, it's with Alex at 220,000. <coughs> Alex is bidder. 230,000. Hugo Cobbs bid at 240 with uh, Alex. At 240,000 with Alex again. 240,000. Give me 50, Hugo. He's springing his bids up. Alex Branchick there at 240,000. Give me 50, please. At 240. Still with you, Alex. At 240,000 against you, Hugo. And selling at 240,000 pounds. Thank you, Alex. Your bid. Here it goes to you, sir. 178. Thank you, Mr. Branchik. And lot number 151, the Kiefer, is next. And the Seven Palaces. And we'll start the bidding here at 280,000, 300,000, 320,000, 350,000 I have, and I can sell at 350,000 pounds. My bid at 350,000. It's with the commission bid. Are you bidding, Simon, at 350,000? Still with me at 350,000 pounds. Give me 80 at 350,000 pounds. Still my bidder and selling with a commission bid. You want to come in here at 350,000 pounds. Simon, at 350,000, it's in the book with a commission bid. I can sell it at 350,000. Very last chance. Fair warning to you all and selling for 350,000 pounds. That's sold. That's paddle number 18 at 350,000. Lot number 152 is the very, very last lot before our highly exciting announcement that we have to make uh, about this glorious masterpiece painting. Extremely exciting tonight. Property from an important Italian private collection, the Rosemary Trockel from 1989. I'm going to start the bidding here at 260,000, 270,000 now, 270,000, 280,000 now, 280,000 pounds, at 280,000, 290,000, at 290,000 pounds. At 290, oh. pounds. Fair warning, at 290. Last lot at £290,000. Not sold, £290,000. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for joining us today for our back-to-back -back live stream auctions from London and then, of course, well, prior to that, in Paris. And now, before we close, I am delighted to be able to make a very special announcement for our next major series of auctions this May in New York. Ladies and gentlemen, Jean-Michel Basque's remarkable 1982 masterpiece versus Medici 
has been in the treasured and same distinguished private collection for over 30 years and has never before been seen in the open market until today. This early masterwork is Basque's ultimate reckoning with art history, an extraordinary canvas painted at the young age of just 22 in defiance against the artistic establishment. Specifically here, Basque tackles the leg legacy of the Medici dynasty, the great patrons of the Renaissance. And in doing so, Basque crowns himself the son of immigrants from Haiti and Puerto Rico as successor to the artistic legacy of the masters of the Italian Renaissance and boldly announces his arrival as a brilliant, young and precocious artist on the international stage. With an estimate of 35 to $50 million, we are pleased to once again offer an important 1982 work by the artist following his record-breaking untitled head sold here at Sotheby's four years ago for a record $110.5 million. So please do join us again for the auction on the 12th of May when we will also see the sale of one of the most important private collections to come to market for several years, the wonderful collection of the visionary philanthropist and legendary Texan, Mrs. John Marion. Thank you very much for joining us today. Good night and congratulations to all the bidders and thank you for all your participation. Goodbye.